A. It's Wait, not, there it is. Now live? we're definitely live. Uh, now uh, we're definitely live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was like recording locally, but it wasn't really saying how many bytes it had written and stuff. But now we're live for sure. What's Hello. going on, guys? Thank what you already, 173. 173. Does, it, does this seem like to you like these just keep going up and like you don't remember taking part of I'm them? I'm almost positive they keep going up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they keep going up and just go backwards. Like, sort of in a numerical fashion. Am I the only one that's noticed a pattern? That they... No. <laughs> it seems like they misunderstand me. It, 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 seems like they, it seems like every time we turn around, we're like 20 more episodes in. Oh, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed. I, I've like. You know, before the show, when we we're about to go live, like, wh like, what number is this? And then, oh, it's one seventy, whatever. Like, holy shit! Okay. All right. So I don't I, even remember the older episodes. I've been crashing this party for more than a year. This yeah. Is awesome. I know. My um. Oh, my agent was on vacation out skiing last week, so no sponsor. Mm. Womp womp. Womp womp. That's okay, okay though, because we got Joe fucking Lozon. Joe fucking Lozon. Hi, Joe. How's it going? How are you guys doing? <laughs> I haven't seen you since. Congratulations on uh, on baby Lozon. Oh, thank you. You're doing much better now, so we're happy yes, with that. That's awesome. Yeah, so I... I <laughs> there's a scene from The Office where Kevin, the heavy guy, is like, I kept a secret. I kept a secret. <laughs> I knew the entire time, and I didn't tell anybody. I kept a secret. That's kind of how I felt about baby Lozon. I don't, and, and, and even right now, I don't know how much you want to share, but you had a baby. Uh, we can talk about it. I mean, there's nothing that's too secret, I don't think. Okay. So, so you had a baby. He was born uh, January something. What's his birthday? Uh, so I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you the full timeline. Okay. So born uh, January twelfth. Uh, he came out wasn't breathing that well right off the bat. They See, that's to... something I haven't told anyone. He he came out okay. not breathing. Yeah, and um, and, and but they expected that. So when Katie, my uh, my fiance, when her uh, water broke, uh, there was meconium, which is basically baby poop. You know, the baby's not supposed to poop till it comes out. and um, But the baby pooped before before her water broke, so when her water broke, there was poop coming out. And so uh, so they were really worried he was going to breathe it in. So they had the NICU team uh, there so that they could help him breathe because they expected him to not breathe so well. And uh, so that's what happened. So came out, wasn't breathing so well, and, uh, you know, the, they got him breathing pretty quick. You know, but it was, like, it was like the longest, you know, 30 seconds or 20 seconds or whatever it is in my life. Um, got him breathing, and uh, he still wasn't breathing that great though. Uh, so they thought that he had the meconium, which is like um, it's like uh, it's poop, but it's like thick, tarry kind of poop. And uh, he wasn't breathing so well. So they did an X-ray. They thought he had fluid in his lungs, ended up being cancer. So, so uh, but he was premature. Uh, well, t no, technically, so he was 37 weeks right on the dot. So they were planning to induce Katie on, on that day, anyways, because. She had uh, it's called cholestasis. It basically, she was super itchy, and uh, and babies don't do so well uh, because of the meconium and other stuff. Uh, so they were planning to induce her later that day, but she just happened to go into labor on her own, like a champ, uh, <laughs> you know, that day. So uh, technically, he wasn't premature. But if he was born like a day sooner, he would have been considered premature. Okay, how much did he weigh? Uh, it was like six pounds, six ounces, or six pounds three ounces. Okay, yeah, on He's, the. He's, what do I want to say? Small side of normal, like. Yeah, he's definitely small, and Katie's really small. Katie's like just under five feet tall, uh, So we and he, you know, he was right on the verge of being premature. So we expect him to be on the smaller side. You know, we uh, we got his weight checked yesterday, and he was like eight pounds three ounces, which is still very very small. He's like way below the growth curve, but part of like, you know all the chemo and all this other stuff he had going on, uh, you know, put him all way behind. So, so he had so. cancer. Where was it, and what was it? So we had, uh, it's called neuroblastoma, which is like super bad uh, for kids. It's like the most common pediatric cancer because it's very, very rare for little kids to come out with cancer. Uh, but when they do, it's usually this neuroblastoma. Um, and there's only like 500 cases in the country each year. And uh, the, you know, so they, they figured out what was going on him. Like he was like five days old, uh, you know, and up until like a year or so, like it's a really good prognosis. Once you get like a year to year and a half, it drops from like, uh, you know, 85% survival down to like a 30% survival. So, uh, you know, so we're dealing with all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, they, they were they were super positive about everything right off the bat. You know, just like, you know, if he has cancer, you don't ever want to hear you have cancer, but if you have cancer, you want it to be this kind. Uh, because I guess uh, neuroblastoma is the only cancer that can go away on its own. 
So, um, you know, because they caught it so early, you know, they weren't they weren't freaking out about it. Like, you know, we studied this cancer so much because we want other cancers to be more like this cancer. So, uh, it's kind of a it's weird to say, but it's a favorable cancer. Now, out of the okay. gate, they were talking about chemo surgery and then chemo, right, as a way to treat it. Uh, yeah. Well, so they were talking chemo surgery and then maybe radiation. Okay. After. Uh, but he did so he did three cycles of chemo, and uh, they were super happy with all the progress he made. He went from it being like a third of his chest to you know little teeny sliver of tissue now, and uh, so much so they're not going to do any more chemo. Um, we go for one more test next week. Just to, there's a little bit of, of tissue, so they're not sure if it's scar tissue from you know damage the the tumor did, or if it's if it's still cancer cells. Or what? But it's so tiny that, like, you know, we definitely wouldn't do any, you know, we wouldn't do surgery, and they probably wouldn't do chemo either. So he's most likely done. And, and he, they decided that he responded so well to the chemo, they didn't do surgery at all. Yeah, right. Like they had us booked for a date in like May or something like that, and uh, and like you know, we definitely aren't going to need it. You know, I, I think they kept on the books until you know we went like a week and a half or two weeks ago, but then they canceled it all. So cool. And, and what? Awesome. They, and well, what about from here going forward? Any? Long-term effects? They talk about um, remission. Yep. So, uh, so I think technically he's not in remission yet. I think they, you know, they have to figure out this next test. And I think it takes a little while. I think it's like six months or, or something along those lines. It has to be a little bit longer before they consider it remission. Uh, and then one thing that sucks is uh, one of the drugs in this first cycle is called uh, carboplatin, and it damages hearing. So we got to kind of see what exactly is going on with there. Like we're kind of, it's you know, it's a, it's a baby, so it's tough to tell what's going on with his hearing. They can monitor like his brain activity and you know see that he doesn't like he doesn't hear really high frequencies all that well like so he's got like mild hearing loss uh, and they've tested him twice but they got they had got a really bad results the first time and then they got better results the second time and still that he has some hearing loss but they think it was more environmental than anything so just like you know the first time he was checked in the NICU where there's all kinds of noise and like that second time was in a sound booth. So they think that the sound booth is the more accurate one. And his, his hearing loss his, isn't as bad as they originally thought, but it's still a case of you know, he, he might need hearing aids. You know, it's kind of the, the big thing with him, you know, is we want him, you know, when he talks, you want him to sound a little bit more normal. You know, that's kind of our, our thing. So we will see. You know, it'll, it's, uh, you know I think it'll, it'll be a little while before we really know exactly, you know, the, the full extent of all that stuff. But, that's awesome, you know. man. And now he is, he's what, two and a half months old? Uh, yeah, uh, it'll be easy to 10 or 11 weeks, uh, tomorrow. So. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. Well, so congratulations, right. man. Yeah. Yeah. Little baby Joey uh, beat his first victim. Pretty cancer. scary. Like, he, um, he had like, uh, all the cancer was like, it was in like a spot. We thought it was pushing on his spinal column. It wasn't. It, it took up like pretty much all the space inside his spinal column. and It was pushing the cord all the way to the side. So when I first oh, heard wow. about the hearing stuff, I was, I was like, I was kind of bummed, you know, like I felt bad for him, you know, thinking, oh, he's going to need... I mean, hearing aids is gonna be this, it's gonna be that. You know, you always want your kid to have like the, you know, the best starting point because stuff's gonna happen, you know, in life. And uh, you know, but then they told us, you know, how close he was. Like we, you know, it was like we were really close to having like him in a wheelchair and you know, it damaging his spinal cord and, and all this other stuff. So, I guess the the hearing stuff isn't such a big deal. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. We'll take it. Awesome. That's awesome. Gonna have a baby Lozon. Yeah. Bigger soon. And he already killed cancer, so I mean. Yeah. Say for the his future. He's, a, he's already one and zero. One and zero. Jackie I, wants I, to see him in the gi. I don't know. Maybe that's. I love the gi. Go <laughs> a, a little big for him. I want. I want to. I want to. You know, do when he when it fits. Do you have it nearby? Uh, I told Sarah I can get it. Go get it. <laughs> it's great. So this I is know your what the audience. Him, Woody? What did you say? This is your present to him. Yeah. This is. This was uh, baby Joey's. What is it called? First birthday gift? Shower gift? Baby gift? I don't know. Christening? No, it wasn't related to that. I don't know. You get people gifts when they have babies, so this is what I cut. Bar mitzvah? <laughs> right, bar mitzvah. <laughs> he's not Jewish, and he's not. One of like those, right? Thirteen. Yeah, I don't know. I know They're I know, just I like. Yeah, 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 I think it's quinceanera, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Dang, that's way bigger than a newborn baby. Yeah, it's it, it three to six months. Yeah. So he needs a little time. Are there pants with it? There's supposed to be pants yeah, somewhere. Yeah, they're inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So he's still a white belt. <laughs> I mean, I, he killed cancer. That's got to be a worse thing. Get the stripe. Get the stripe. Get you a black sharpie. Go ahead and fix that. 
<laughs> Give me straight. So, so the question that everyone wants to know now, Joe, is: Are you going to come with us on the survival trip? I don't know. It's 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 t- it's tough to get away from the baby. It's a tough way to get from my gym. Uh, some other stuff that I don't really want to talk about. That I got to deal with. So I don't know. Uh, it's it's a possibility. You guys should pick a weekend and or a week, whatever you're gonna do, and then I'll I'll try and make it happen. So you're a definite maybe. I'm a I'm definitely a maybe. Yeah. Okay. I, All right. I like that. I'll take right. that. Who thinks Joe's gonna be good at survival? Um, I don't know. I think he's gonna be good at the physical aspects of survival. See, there's what where my... are the physical aspects. Here's though? the thing, right? Joe Lozon has a super high metabolism because his body sits there and churns food and turns it into muscle or something like an idiot. He uh, he has no body fat to keep him warm. He's not designed for life in the woods. You want to thrive in the woods? This is it, baby. This is woodsman perfection right here. Right? <laughs> when we come out of this thing, I am going to look like Joe Lozon. All the body fat will be gone. All the muscle will be there. Joe Lozon is, is going to look like like uh, olive oil or something, right? He's going to be all – like his muscle will have gone away. He has no protective body fat. It's – uh, yeah. I, I, I think I'd be okay. I'm, I'm, so I, I do have fast metabolism, but I'm also very good at dealing without food, without water. I've been on tons of hunting trips and things like that up to Vermont, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, granted, it's in a cabin, but still roughing it. I look uh, more like Les Stroud than you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look you look more like Bear, Bear Grylls than Les Stroud. Bear Grylls is fake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's fake. I just think he was on a show that didn't want to take risk. I'm not so sure that Woody has the perfect physique for survival, to be Ideal. honest. I think that if you had a cave and you put wings in that cave and you gave him enough water that he could just survive in there pretty much indefinitely. Um, that's pretty, Well, eventually my body would eat his whole self, but like technically... Yeah, like a year and a half. I, have the, I, I don't have to eat. Yeah, after a fucking century, Rip Van Winkle, <laughs> be fine. <laughs> All I need is water, and that's fine. But, you know, I I'm feel like the hunger could, pains just like everybody else, and, and that, that brings in constant. I bet you get over that after like 10 days. I bet you would be just like a grizzly bear. You'd it wake up in the that. spring... Because I, I went, I went over five days at your house. You eat some berries, and it'd be all good. No, I, I said ten days. You got to go ten days before it stops hurting, maybe. Like a grizzly bear, I like Wait, that. Like a grizzly bear. He could hibernate oh, all it, winter. It, it, um, well, it hurts more beginning of it. Like, um, if if you go on like a fast or anything, it hurts more the first one or two days. Um, by the third day, the pain goes away, but it comes back around the fifth or sixth day. I don't get hunger pains really. I, I I've gotten hungry before. I've went two days without food, but yeah, you know well, what that does something... is, your, is your stomach turns like it. It's like someone like taking like your stomach and like twisting it. I've I've had that before, but I, you know I've well, never gone a long time without food. I, I don't know, like it, maybe a lot of people watching have, but even if I like I to me like twelve or sixteen hours is a long time without food, and I've done that, but I've never gone twelve hours without food without knowing where my next meal was coming from. It was always like, oh, yeah, once water skiing's over, we're all raiding Red Lobster. Yeah, yeah right? right? You know, well, so maybe I went all day without initial, food. That initial hunger is the worst part. After you get over that, like, uh, you know, like, after that, it's a lot easier. It's really easy, actually. Yeah, it, your, your body gets into a point where it starts to burn the fat, and then it stops with the hunger pains for a while. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be an issue. I think I am going to kill so many fucking squirrels and so <laughs> many fucking wabbits. That we're, we're just gonna a, be we're gonna have we're, a gonna line. Have, we're gonna be smoking meat. That's what I expect. And any of those naysayers out there who don't think that that's gonna be the case just don't know what the fuck they're uh, talking about. And they need to put up or shut up. Go on your own survival trip, asshole. Let's see how you do out there. <laughs> well, I'm going out there with a gun and a knife, and we're gonna would, kill animals and we're gonna eat them. And I we're wish gonna... I could say that, man. I would. I feel like if I were to say, "Hey, go on your own survival trip, asshole," they'd be like, "What are you, such an arrogant cockbag?" Right? But Kyle says that it's funny. But I kind of feel the same way. Like, oh, you. You know what? Do you think that me bringing chapstick ruins the essence of a survival trip? Like, I'm why on gotta have chap lips? Kyle. What's I'm, that? I'm on, yeah. I'm on Alpha Team with Kyle. I'm just, I'm calling. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have the buddy system. You do have to have the buddy system, and, and as of right now, Joe is the only <laughs> other licensed hunter. Yeah. I mean, so why are they on the same team? That's bullshit. <laughs> But I don't need you guys. I'll get licensed Woody, hunting Woody, and I can Woody, share Woody, too. Woody, other people have to scavenge. I, I'm telling you, I, I can shoot straight. 
I can shoot straight. <laughs> you got to get a license first. Yeah, that I can do. What I can pass a course to. I'm we'll see. Awesome we'll see it. if you can if you can fit in this one day course into your busy schedule. I know you've got a, a tight one, so it could be hard to find a whole day. Who do you know that's better at time management than Georgia? me? Excuse me? Who, wings? Who's, oh, Wings. How did you pass a course in Georgia? I, I passed a hunter safety course when I was like 13. Oh. Oh, so it's not native to like North Carolina? It's just it, if it, you can it, prove it, that you... It is, but there's reciprocal agreements, so you get exactly. it one's good everywhere. Yeah, so you have to have this hunter safety course, which is like a one or two day class. It, you know, it's several hours long. You guys are holding this license over me. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I got, okay, I okay. got, I'm certified at like half a dozen different ranges. So I got we're going to be carry. I'll get a hunting license too. I make it happen. All right. So we're going to be armed as fuck. We're going in and <laughs> yes. we're just going to shoot the fucking wilderness to death. Like that scene from Predator. Yes, exactly. there will be a shot like that. We're gonna do that. I'll bring a fucking bump fire stock so that it makes the twenty two rifles full auto. <laughs> we'll go to town in those woods. I and I, you know, I don't know. Like, I, so I've gone the other way. I'm not sure. Like, I was talking to Kyle privately, and, and I, I think he's okay with sharing this. Have you seen any squirrels outside? Yes, I actually. I, I went out today. Totally could feed us. I'll tell you what. I could go in my backyard. And you get you gave me three hours in like the early part of the day. I could feed the four of us no problem. Each of us would have three or four That's squirrels. That's fine. Because I am equally confident that I can get a fucking fire you don't want to get close to, and water. I will get you all the heat and water you need. If you can get the food, we're gonna be living like kings. What what, yeah. what are the requirements on what we can bring and what we can't bring? Yes, that's my next point yeah. of business. So. All right, so we began this thing with me kind of joking around about, like, we should just have, like, one match and a knife and, like, a credit card and some string, and nobody wanted to do that. That is really stupid. So we decided that we were going to bring some things. Mm -hmm. And so, like, in my kit, the things that I would like to bring that are a little bit above and beyond, I want to bring a space a space blanket. Not so I can put it on myself. I'm going to use it as a fire reflector to uh, to send more heat into our shelter. I don't think that's cheating too much. I'm going to bring baby wipes because there's no reason my asshole should hurt. That's not part of survival. I'm going to bring a bar of soap so I can wash my face so my skin doesn't break out. That doesn't seem like it's part of survival. Um, and I would like to bring some fishing line and a couple of hooks. Let me make a suggestion. Why don't we set a dollar value on stuff we can bring? Like in, in like a low dollar value. Like you can bring thirty dollars worth of stuff. Or I don't agree with that. No, no. You no. can bring some shifty stuff for thirty dollars. I brought like a hundred dollar water filter already. That shit's coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the other thing. Like, like we've decided that you know we're not bringing water and food on this trip. If that's not hardcore enough for you, I want to see somebody else go out with no food and water. That's what I want to see. We should not have a water filter. No food wa or shelter. We're not what? bringing shelter. No either. water filter is no shelter. That's gonna happen. That's a must. That's not yeah. negotiable. Why is that not a must? Because we don't want to die. Because in five days you Boil can water. dehydrate. Boil water. But boil water is such a pain in the ass. I want to bring a water filter. I've always yeah, had water filters like a... on these things. Plus, every all the water you drink is gonna be hot. You guys are such pussies. Dude, oh my I don't God. think you're not e We'll see if you even come, Captain Talkity Talk. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, we're pussies. Yeah, yeah you're going to be in Massachusetts doing nothing. Yeah. Paying You'll taxes be drinking or boiled something. water in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> see if you come. I have a water filter right here. I, it actually arrived in the mail today. Do you guys want me to demo it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm pumped for this. All right. So let me see if I can uh, arrange the camera. It's brand so new. So while you're putting this together, wings, what are some things that you would like to bring? I know we said Vaseline. I don't think that's above and beyond. Just to, uh, That's no different than, like, foot powder, you know, to make sure you're not getting blisters. It's just to keep his legs from rubbing. See, I was going to cheat. I bought, this, I bought this fire striker, and this fire striker in the end of it, it actually comes off. You, you like got some cotton and some Vaseline in there? No, I was going to stick a fishing line and a hook and a sinker in there. Well, that's that was one of the things I'd like to bring is some fishing <laughs> line and 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 uh, and a hook. So you need, you need a sinker and a floater too. What we have, what what we have here on on one side. Sorry to interrupt you. Is uh, it's it was clean water and I grabbed soil, topsoil from like I don't know. My wife has like pots on a deck with plants that she's neglected, and um, uh, and I asked for dog shit. Yeah, he asked for dog <laughs> shit, but I was going to actually drink this stuff, and I didn't want to. And 
I would drink the dog shit water. Oh, I mean, sure, what Woody, Woody, but like, what like, like, are we going to take? Kyle like fish on, in. you talk about it, but you don't have to deliver? Is that the, is I, that don't, what you I don't have a water filter handy. handy <laughs> yeah, so. right? I would have drank dog shit. See, that's what you I do. Not. Woody, now you bring dog shit with you, and when you show up, <laughs> day one, you're like, all right, Kyle, here we exactly, go. Exactly, exactly. All right, all right. Get, so, some, get some white dog shit, too. <laughs> all right, so that's that. And I think what I need to, if you were curious about this... There's- I ran it in the kitchen sink because you have to get this stuff out. There's, um, there's like a dial here on whether you want fast flow or like good filtering. They call good it filtering. longer life. So I'm going with longer life because it's so freaking dirty. And, uh, and then you screw this on. How long does one of those filters last? Like, something like 200 like gallons or something like that. And I bought a Nalgene bottle that I can't seem to spot right now. Nalgene bottles should be the only bottles allowed. Yeah, they're the best. <laughs> Does Andy still use Nalgene, his? I don't really understand why Nalgene bottles are like the superior bottle. Like, what what does it do that's different? It has oh milliliters on the Oh my god, we've covered this like ten times. Can we just roll with it? I don't remember it. <laughs> I can cover it next. Hold on, we're doing a water filter demo here. We so, like them. What's yeah. interesting about this Nalgene bottle is I got the wide mouth, which actually isn't my preference, but since it screws on so nice, I'm trying to Ooh. screw it on. I put it on crooked. You got yourself a little chemistry contraption there. There we go. Now You're making it would screw on water. And it would come <laughs> out. But for the purposes of this demo, we're going to use the other bowl. Uh, the way that this works is there's a float on here. And uh, if it were a deep thing, I'd slide this float up and it would like sink in and get below the surface like that. Yeah. But since this is a bowl, it's, it's going to float real high like that. And I like it. It's a hand pump. I was worried you're gonna push a button. It was gonna go, eh, and I was gonna feel like, yeah, it's a little much. But the, I like, I like that it's a crank. This is how this works. Yeah, it's a crank, and it's clever because it apparently it cranks on the upward and the downward stroke. Yeah. Hmm. So, Fancy. Damn, that is some clean water you got there. It wow. is. It's and actually it's a tiny bit cloudy, probably from the ceramic filter. And this is our limitless water. All you gotta do is find a pond. I'll tell you how it tastes. Did that dies bunch. immediately. <laughs> Actually, it tastes like tap water. I expected the taste just very slightly of dirt, but it does not. Woody, how confident are you in this cycling out toxins? Oh, um, the stats are, like, super good. Like, yeah. according to the stats, okay. like, it... Okay. it Put, put your money where your mouth. Uh, put your money where your mouth is. Oh my God! Go, go, go bleach. Go piss in the bowl. <laughs> go in the bowl. Dude, that would like Kevin Costner in Waterworld. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 you don't have to drink it, but I'd like to see how it would filter piss. I, I, um, I don't. He does have to drink it. Wait, wait, we're gonna have to drink water out of that filter, though, Wing. Yeah, we're gonna put our. That's a hundred dollar guys. Let's put, not. No, 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 no. Came with other filters. They did not. It just came with a one. I don't want to put Woody's pee into something we all drink out of <laughs> next month. No, like this is not a joke, man. Like, oh, I'm Kyle, you pussy! This. What the hell? What's wrong with that? <laughs> Be a man. Like, if he had another one, if that company was cool enough and smart enough to send us all one or two, then yeah, yeah we could filter some pee. You guys but they notice it. there is a tiny bit of dirt in this, but it's from the the hose that I put from one yeah. to the other. It's not yeah. from. It didn't get through the filter. Yeah, it, are Nothing those filters not one. replaceable? Like it's just like it's one and done? Or no, no, they're replaceable, but they're not that cheap. Ah. Like the filter was seventy five bucks. I think the replacement filters are in the thirties or something. Like it's, it's not something you just piss away as a party trick. Well, I yeah. mean, maybe on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Anything for the fans. But actually, I, I want to get rid of this water. But anyway, um, seems like a safety hazard now. Right, right. It's like a computer here. I'm gonna throw it out the window. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, God, if there's someone standing beneath that window. <laughs> I think he's on the first floor, though. No, he's not. Somebody's just outside. Yeah, this magic, it wouldn't be cool if they got in, like, a fight because they poured water on him. Okay, so we were talking about the things that you would want to bring um, that are a little above and beyond but are still manly. So what are those wings? Uh, me, I, I'm, I'm gonna be bringing a pot. I'm gonna bring some type of you uh, machete. Your pot. Goodness gracious! We need something to cook out of. I, I would like see if we've got like a metal thing to cook in. 
then we'll get like the grease and the the oils coming out of the animal, and we can kind it kind of pan fries. Yeah, yeah, but here, hold on a second. You did not hear what what I, I don't think Kyle, you were here before we went live. What what Wings wants the what kind of pot he wants to bring? What kind of pot do you want to bring, Wings? I was gonna bring a cast iron pot. All right, so those are heavy, but they make some like aluminum and titanium ones that are great. I, well, I don't picture us carrying the pot around after the initial trek. My goodness, Wings. It, it, weight <laughs> matters. Weight matters a ton. And, and I recognize you in a special situation because how do you nicely say you, you carry a spare tire? But that maybe, I, I don't know, dude. A 40 pound pack sucks to carry around. And I understand it, that, but like my, my, my initial thinking was we're going to make a camp and the pot's going to stay at the camp. I'm not going to carry it around the entire trip. Well, of course, but I don't know. That's a lot I, of weight. That is car camping, what you're doing right there. Bringing a cast iron pot, like a Dutch oven or something like that. Well, not cast a Dutch oven. That's no, 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 the cast iron pot, the reason that is is because I can skip the cast iron pot on top of the damn fire if I need to, and it won't hurt it. I'm not opposed to wings carrying extra weight. Like, <laughs> I'm not, I think we need some sort of vessel to cook in, because if we don't, then you have two options. If there's slate or some other flat rocks nearby, you can cook off of hot rocks. Um, or you can basically roast it over the fire like you see in cartoons, and that doesn't taste very good. It really dries the meat out. It's better if you have a surface. Huh. I've always cooked in um, like a tiny little, like the top of a thermos cup size thing. What happens if we actually get a rabbit, though, Woody? I'll stick a stick through it and cook it. Yeah, yes. I, I'm picturing I, I want a pot big enough to stick a whole goddamn rabbit in. A rabbit stew is is pretty appetizing. I'm gonna bring some basic seasoning too. <laughs> I love Dude. garlic salt, little oregano on there. Dude, that, <laughs> and, and anyone who says shit about that, you know, every fucking mountain <laughs> man from Davy Crockett to Daniel Boone had a pinch of salt on him somewhere, or they'd have shot them in the head. I, I, I'm looking like this. If you already got the damn rabbit, it doesn't matter what he tastes like. You got the damn rabbit. If you if you were in like. If you were in like dire straits and you had to eat them without the fucking seasoning, you could do it. But it maybe, I've, I've heard a thousand people act like I'm the biggest pussy they've ever met, right? It's not fair. Like <laughs> I'm the one pulling back on stuff. Here's what here's here's the list we came up with. Is seasoning wrong? It, or, or are you guys telling me no seasoning? I can't bring. I, any like, I like the idea for seasoning. Actually, I don't mind seasoning too much. I, I bring it <laughs> when I go camping, and uh, and it doesn't weigh anything. But let's see, a knife. Right? We'll probably all have redundant knives, but whatever. Magnesium, some sort of magnesium flint type fire starting thing. A rifle. Ammo. I have no idea how much ammo to bring. Um, all of it. <laughs> apparently, Jordy has a medical needs, so there, like, there has to be hypoglycemic sugar stuff going on. Camera equipment. Walking stick that doubles as a tripod. No one will fuss about that. A basic bedroll. This is a huge comfort. But I didn't fight it at all. That sounds so nice. And uh, it was the fr because I know like I'm looking at it more like I think like a like a mountain man survival trip. I'm imagining like you're Davy Crockett and you're just walking through the Appalachians and this is kind of the shit that you've got. You don't have anything fancy because walking through the woods is your job, but you've got some basic shit that you would take with you, like you know knife and flint. And some salt and something to wipe your ass with, and a yeah. bedroll. We're, we're not people that just got lost. We're not like people. Oh, we went to take pictures and we got There's lost. There's a little bit of that mixed in there too, because we have no fucking food or water. But still, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that to me. There's no food. There's water will be easy, uh, and there's no um, shelter. It's huge. Like, and I will say this: like, like we're gonna hike into the wilderness. Uh, I, I talked to a forest ranger up there today about this place. He says it's a very nice area. Lots of he said there's lots of ground squirrel up there this time of the year. I don't know what the difference between a ground. I guess those are like chipmunks. I'll eat a chipmunk. Anyway, um, how about they're going to try to eat us, like coyotes? That's what you're for. Uh, coyotes aren't aggressive. If there's any, I don't know if there's big cats up there. Maybe black bear, but black bear scare easy. I don't think there's any danger. Of I'm that not at all I'm, worried. Um, not scared at all. So basic bed roll is a huge comfort, but I'm not fighting it because I I would love to. N you know, I just don't want insects crawling in my pants and stuff. It, it seems like a, separating from the ground is a really good idea. Yeah, it's it's literally like it rolls up. You know, you you, you always saw the cowboys with one on the back of their uh, their yeah. horse. It's just a, it's just a tarp that's rolled up basically and it's spongy. A large pot, Nalgene bottles. That's a must. A metal cup. That was my large pot substitute. They almost I don't know if we need it. Bug wipes. Uh, you know what? what? That's another creature comfort, right? And I see Joe, Mr. I might be able to come, telling me it's not tough enough. 
But every time I watch these guys do it, um, I watch that new Boston guy do it. I watched Alone in the Wild, that two-hour one that Wings sent. Wings, remember that? Yeah. These guys got torn to pieces by bugs. Bugs destroyed them. And Wings, are you okay? You look upset. No, I'm fine. Oh, I must have read you wrong. Um, uh, th but these guys got torn to pieces by insects. And I'm like, man, it, uh, that to me is right with Kyle's sore butthole. Like, really? Do I have to have a, like, I can't bring wet wipes? Is that part of the surviving experience to you where my butt has to hurt? I, 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 are, we, are we going out to the woods to live or are we going to live in your backyard, Woody? <sighs> oh, my God. You better come, <laughs> Captain Trash Talk. I don't think Joe realized what mosquitoes actually feel like living in Boston. And, stuff. and the other thing is, I just want to point out, we could have just lied to you guys and just not shown when we applied bug spray. We're trying to be upfront about this. We're going to bring some sort of bug deterrent. Joe, no, man. they're gonna have a camera crew. I live in be swamp. Like at a Radisson. Swamp mosquitoes will get your, to get under your skin within the hour of being out there. Yeah, man. I went down to Florida one time to hunt wild pigs, and we we're basically walking through like really, really thick vegetation and undergrowth with with semi-automatic rifles, and we were stalking these wild pigs. And the mosquitoes literally just ran us out of the forest. They were just buzzing around your head, and they were they were they were getting your eye they were getting your eyes like like yeah. uh, such a nuisance like it, it's terrible yeah and that's 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 what I don't want to have it so bug wipes or some sort of bug you know uh, liquid or something like that a small shovel that's for burying your poo that's actually just good manners that's you know whatever uh, wet wipes uh, water filter I guess that's not optional anymore since uh, oh oh you know what it was I um I did research online and they said that the water at this place should be filtered so. That's a yeah. thing. Yeah, I'm bringing a uh, I'm bringing a hatchet. It's uh it's got a, a small saw in the handle of it cuz we're going to so We're not going to be digging a latrine cuz I had, I pictured myself digging like a, a latrine to piss and shit in and then cover it up. I, That's how you I'm do just it. not going to I don't think we're going to be pooping too often to be honest. If if if, if well, we get well, what are you talking about? You're going to kill all the animals in the forest. <laughs> I plan on being eaten, you know, at least 3 times a day. I don't think my I think my body's gonna burn up all that squirrel energy and nothing. What you do wings is you eat a lot of cheese before you leave. <laughs> so I guess that's what the astronaut. Like, like, we'll we'll all be out. starving. We'll all be starving and like like me and Woody are like remarking like yeah I haven't taken a shit in three days and and we see Wing Wing's like oh I got diarrhea again. We're like <laughs> what is he eating? He snuck food. <laughs> so uh, I'm more likely to constipate than get diarrhea. Um, Good to know. We got, what do we have here? Uh, the rope, the compass. Well, maybe we can get rid of the map. I had an idea. Instead of a map, we could mark the ground, right? Like, I want to put RSK or something I'm not, in I'm stones. Not down for that. I'm, I'm going to that change to GPS. Nope. Nope. Not happening. What? You guys are going to get out there, and we're going to get lost. And then nope. I won't be mad as shit at you. Navigation skills, my friend. I have hiked many times into the woods, several miles, climbed I, I, trees. And I recently watched the Blair Witch Project again, and their ass got lost because they lost the map. I hope somebody tries to fuck with us in those woods. I, I hope. Too. I <laughs> am <laughs> hoping for the worst case scenario. I typed it the other day to these guys. I was like, I want it to fucking snow. I want it to fucking rain. I want somebody to fuck with us. I want bears to attack. They, they were, we mentioned yeah, deodorant. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, but but deodorant attracts bears. I was like, does anyone have an issue with a possible bear encounter? Because I'm hoping for one. And everybody's like, yeah, all right. I don't, I don't, like, I'm looking at it this way. I, mean, I don't know if you guys watched the Boston New TV thing yet, but he goes, after like day three, he's like, you know, people say you're afraid of animals when you're out here. No, I want an animal to fuck with me so I can eat him. <laughs> yeah, I would love for a bear to roll up in our camp, our, our camp and quote unquote, <clears throat> come right at us. Oh, man. <laughs> it's yeah, coming we, right for us. We won't have to worry about food for the rest of the trip. Um, fishing line. Are we gonna bring a fishing line and a hook? I already bought it. Okay. I okay. brought. I bought a little pack of treble hooks and uh, a, a really cheap, uh, like ten or twelve pound test line, like a like a. I, I'll tell you one thing. I want to try. I want to try spear fishing on this trip. That's that's not a viable option. We could with the twenty twos. You can shoot fish though. Can you? Why is it not a viable I saw option MythBusters. Yet. Those bullets don't go through the water very well. If you're, you're in shallow though. water, you, you just aim about three or four inches low. Hmm. Why isn't spear fishing a viable option? Because you're not a spear fisherman, and neither am I. I understand that, but it'd be something fun to do because there's going to be a lot of time of the day we're going to be doing nothing. Have you uh, seen but... Castaway Wings? Because it took him a long time to figure that shit yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I've seen, seen the new Boston TV, which was real, and he is able to spear fish within a week. Where? When? What, what environment? The Not Adirondacks, no... I think. Adirondacks. We're, we're, yeah. we're going to be dealing with like an inland river here. I, I don't think it's a viable option at all. Yeah, Wings. My issue is. Um... 
I thought the, we had like a stream. Like I pictured Appalachian having streams. I picture it creeks, right? Where if it gets thigh deep, you found a good one. And I'm not sure the fish will get that big. So do you know how to make those Indian uh, fish traps where you basically make like a, like a, like a big uh, W shape with sticks that, you're dri- that you drive into the, uh, the water and the fish have to follow the shape of that W and they basically get confused and locked into an area where you can spear them or catch them or... Yeah, I, was, I, I was sort of thinking maybe like a like a pit, like you build like a little area to corral them, then you open it up, and then when they swim in, you close it behind them. Um, well, what I just described is kind of that, but you don't have to close it because they swim through kind of an intricate, um, like zigzag shape, and then fish aren't, you know, they they it's a maze to them that they, they can't get right back out. So you just club them. I think this I, is the fish's plans for uh, building like a fish trap and. Right. Well, you got to be a little vicious here, Joe. We're going to have to kill animals. It's I used to make. Uh, he said I'm, fine. I'm fine with killing animals. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm but... not, don't worry about that. I'm just saying it's ambitious to think you're gonna have that much time to set this trap and hope it it's works. It's really easy. So, so hang on. Let me let me try to link you to the the kind of trap I'm talking about. It's, I just it's think much... it's a like guess and check. Like, like I don't want to. I got everything. I got it pictured like this. We're going to have fire and water down pat within like the first two hours of getting getting to the camp. Ah, oh, okay. And then after that, it's all shelter and food. That's all is it going to be. I think the first night, fire, water, and shelter is pretty much all we're going to get done. Because it'll take I us w- hours to I'll walk kill in. Some. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to have my gun out when we walk in, and I'm going to do my, my... My plan is to hopefully kill something. I, I, like hope, that. That, I hope that we show up... It might be Woody or Joe. <laughs> and, Matter to Kyle, he'd go yeah, I, I was gonna like, I was gonna like kill a squirrel and put it out there, and once Kyle gets hungry, I was gonna shoot him. Oh, <laughs> I still think you guys week. should have an ultimate safety line. I what think ultimate that? safety lines are for sissies. What is an so, ultimate safety like line? Like a GPS or a cell phone or something. That, that I think a GPS would be good. Lefty, I've gone of an camping ultimate... many, many times, and I get lost most of the time. Still here. I'm gonna say this. Jack we... tells us a different story, my friend. Can, can, I always can we at least back. have a GPS just not turned on until like a, like emergency cases? I, I I mean, if the lifeline's there but you never use it, it's it is as though the the lifeline was never there in the first place. I don't think no. it's unreasonable to be. No, like, it's not. No, it's in not. A severe case if shit hits the fan. Because what I want to do, do intentional. I want to do. Lefty, I want to get lost, and then I want us to be so fucking manly we find our way out. All right. That's the go- that's the thing. That's I'm, that's why you I don't, don't have sign off to this right here. That's why you don't have the lifeline because you 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 hit an adversity and instead of of taking the easy way out, you overcome it. And that's what this trip's about. All right, all right, all right but so how about wing steps on a rock breaks an ankle? What happens? The first. Then? All right, what we do? We'd apply first aid. We we'd uh, we get his ankle taken care of. Make sure we. But we're fucking it. lost, so I'm Hang I'm on. there fucking weak. No, no. We gather, we gather firewood and water. Um, I stay behind with wings, and Woody hikes out for help. We gotta yeah, eat. But we're fucking lost. He doesn't know where Al is. Woody Buffalo. I, yeah. I just don't know how this could, how we could get lost. I'm comfortable being it's, lost. It'll be fine. Directions and. I just, I, I don't know. I, I think it's a simple thing that you know I when think the we ultimate should have happens, even if we don't use it. We, yeah. No, I don't no. think that's that's unreasonable. And Kyle, you you know the manly stuff, and I see a lot of this on the PK subreddit. Here's what I want you to do, everybody that's going on a on like a. Oh, it's not I'm about my dick size. I'm it's a. About- I'm no, you're a bitch if you do this or don't do that or don't even want to do it. Here's the thing: before you go on your big survival trip to do your manly thing, measure your cock. All right, measure it. Go, go to centimeters if you Why want. Why do you keep millimeters. saying this? It it just doesn't actually change your penis size. I don't get it. Because it doesn't matter. What it, your manliness? What does this? What does that even mean? It's such an archaic idea. Of, I'm a man. I'm, I'm a sorry, man. Sorry, I, I think you just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I disagree. I, 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 I like a, the idea of practicing my self-reliance, and uh, I, I feel like doing things for myself without so, without a crutch there is going to be a confidence-building, inspirational I, I the, type I, of experience. I, for I me. think the fact that we're going out there to even attempt this is more manly than most of the men in the in the United States. So yeah, we're attempting yeah. something really hard, and I just don't want any. I don't want I a th- safety to net go out there in the woods with no food, minimal water, and no shelter. It's stupid. Yes, is a whole of a lot more manly and eye-opening, and like it's an experience that makes you richer as a human compared to say sitting back in Boston and talking shit about it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't get you anywhere. <laughs> 
Except warm and well fed. Dude, uh, yeah, we all have that right now. There. It yeah. will get you there. I was in my bed right before this, and it was a wonderful experience. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm really psyched for this. I, I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm really psyched for it. I have a thing here. So, this guy wrote me. And, and remember last show I said I wanted a slave? Right? Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. So, <laughs> I, and, and I talked about how awesome... This guy wrote me, and it, it's, it's uh, perhaps our next topic. This is what he wrote. Hey, Woody. Two things I want to discuss with you. Uh, both of these things are a long shot for me, but I'm still going to try. First off, you mentioned like that you'd like to have someone help you out, do some dirty work for you, etc. I would like to volunteer my services to you as an intern for the summer of 2014. I'm currently looking for something to do to kill time this summer, and I think I could help you out. I could learn about what you do and get a crap ton of work out of me. And I'd be willing to do all of this unpaid. Second... If you were concerned about the sound video quality of your survival trip, I would like to volunteer my services as your companion in this venture as well as cameraman. I have credentials in both survival training, Eagle Scout, survive two weeks in the wild with nothing but a hatchet, a knife, a blanket, a 22 long rifle, 20 bullets, a thing of aluminum foil, and a water bottle, as well as audio video credentials, editing, camera, sound work. Um, I'd be glad to do all of this for you for free. I'm fun, I don't judge people, I'm not a douchebag, I hate Keemstar, and I tell a badass campfire story. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a hard worker, I have a clean record, and I can provide several letters of reference upon request. I would also like to pay my own way, so you'd have to pay a cent out of pocket for me. I would be honored to work for you, so let me know if this is something you'd be interested in. I think we should bring him just to be the cameraman. Just throwing it out there. I don't know. I don't, you know. Hey, 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 that's we don't have to carry the camera gear. <laughs> <laughs> um, Throw that out there. Yeah, but he's an Eagle Scout, and they, so I like uh, the list is kind of eye opening. Nothing but a hatchet, a knife, a blanket, a gun, twenty bullets, aluminum foil, and a water bottle. Do we have to feed him? Most likely. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it depends. He, if he's doing the survival, I would guess so. He could also be the um, the bear. Is it Grills? Everyone got on me online. Whatever, the Bear Grillis guy. Right? Grills, whole, Grills. He could be the, the camera crew huh? that's right next to him that you're supposed to not notice and think about. Just think, think, think about the actual thing that cooks food. Grill. Grills. Bear Grills. I like it my way. <laughs> what he just likes intentionally mispronouncing it so people get butthurt about silly things. Uh... Yeah, that's cool. You, it's like you, you're like your own, like a real life version of Kramer with Kramerica Industries. He wants to intern for a summer. What would you have him do? I, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'd have the Wings Joe. house. I'd, I'd have, have my own shit, Andy. Huh? We could bring Andy. I mean, I need Andy for the gym. But I, this guy could be my Andy for the summer. Good. He could be your Andy. Joe, tell us what Andy does. Andy is my house boy. So Andy lives at Andy lives with me. Uh, Andy works at my gym, so we pay him. Uh, but anything needs to be done, Andy's Andy's my guy. Dude, everybody's got a Jeremy but me. Every the, dude, the best thing in the world about Andy is he's OCD and he can't let clean laundry sit in the dryer. Is he right there? Hey, Andy, come here. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to check on his laundry. Come uh, Kyle, are, Kyle, are you going to bring Jeremy as well? No, no, I hadn't. But but if we weren't unable to find like a, a fourth, I was going to see if my cousin Scott wanted to come. Right. Is this the Scott that has all the the lady friends? He's got some lady friends, yeah. <laughs> Kyle, I'm surprised you're not bringing a lady friend as you're in the plot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, not not bringing any uh any, any of that with me now. <laughs> um, wait a minute, I'm looking for a new topic. Stephen Colbert's in a lot of hot water. Did you see that? No. no he what could he have possibly done? Um, he was making a joke about uh, about Dan Snyder, the owner of the Washington Redskins, started um, an advocacy group for Native Americans. Obviously, Redskins Redskin is a uh, racial epithet, epithet, epithet. Anyway, racial slur, and um, and he racial started an advocacy group different. called the Washington Redskins Association for blah 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 Native Americans, whatever. And it's uh. It's a, it's a, it's essentially him saying, "Look, see, I can use this racial slur for my team name because I fund this organization, whatever." And Stephen Colbert was doing a bit about it in his character on the Colbert Report, 
and he he uh, used the term gooks to <laughs> refer to uh, to Korean or, or Asian Americans. Um, I, it was usually in Vietnam, right, or was it Korea? Uh, I it was Vietnam, Korea. I thought. Vietnam, Vietnam. Vietnam. Anyway, um, he used that, and then uh, it, it was a you know satirical bit, and then afterwards, the the official Colbert Report Twitter account. Uh, tweeted out that they were going to start the... I forget the actual tweet. Let me see if I can find it on Deadspin. Um, because it was it was pretty offensive, but it was in the bit. It was in character. It was out of context. You're like, holy crap, how do you... You know, how could you even say that? Here it is. It's loading up really quick. Um, it says... Uh, it was the Ching Chong Ding Dong Foundation for Sensitivity to Orientals or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> was the foundation that they were going to start. <laughs> <laughs> and this this uh, this professional like Twitter activist uh, by the name of Sui Park got really upset and started the hashtag uh, cancel Colbert. Uh, the the tweet is now deleted on the uh, on the Colbert Report Twitter account, and um, they're trying to get him shut down. So or, lefty, or they're, they're you're trying to get, put him in. You're a Native American Indian, right? Yeah, like an eighth or what, yeah. Are you offended by the Redskins team name? Personally, no. I, but I'm not. I'm not like. I, I don't know. I'm not an actual Native American. But personally, no. But I can understand why. I, I understand that it is very offensive to people. It is. It is analogous to nigger. Man, I, don't, or, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't put my hand with this. They could be the Kansas City Crackers for all I give a shit, and I would not be offended. I would not give a crap if if they were like the Gotham Ghosts. Go ahead, knock yourself out. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> you see, I mean, but, but Cracker, you know, Honky, all that stuff. Does it? We don't I mean, to, to, give to, a to, shit. To, hold on. To, 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 the flip side is, yeah, okay, there are things that point at white people, but they don't carry the same weight in our society that terms like nigger, gook. You, you know, you know how weight is. You know how weight is actually carried, Lefty. It's about how much you actually put into it. A word only has enough power if you give it power. What the name of the team? Okay. That's, yeah. a, that's kind of a cop out, man. Do we want to get Andy's opinion on this? I mean, I, I am a race. I am a race in in this world. There is racially insensitive words out there that define my race, mm -hmm. and I don't give a shit. We have a real live Asian right next to Joe. Yeah, like, like, like get, get Andy know. here and ask him if he's uh, unhappy with the uh, with the Colbert report. Can you lay it out and fast forward, Lefty? Um, Colbert was making a joke about the Washington Redskins and and uh, and satirically said that he was going to start. Uh, um, here, I'll read it again. The Ching Chong Ding Dong Foundation for Sensitivity to Orientals or whatever. <laughs> and he's in trouble. They're, 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 people are trying to put him in trouble. And they're the reason he did that is president. because the Washington Redskins formed a similar organization that was literally called like the Washington Redskins Organization for, and then it was some, like, the original Americans or something. And it was like, wait a minute, you see, it has Redskins in the title of it. That, that, was, that was the joke he was making, was that the Redskins were being crazy and sensitive. You, All right. You'd be upset about that? Yeah, dude. That's fucking. I the Redskin thing, like as a team, it's like about the team name they're trying to change it or something, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what you guys are talking they're, about? People, their activists are saying that the Redskins is an inappropriate name for a team. So he made a thing saying, "Hey, it's the Redskins for sensitivity for Native Americans or original Americans or something like that." And. Stephen Colbert made his joke saying, what was it, the Ching Chong Ding Kong? The Ching Chong Ding Dong Foundation for Sensitivity to Orientals or whatever. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not one to really care too much about... I get well, keep in mind, it was a satirical joke. It was, that's how stupid it is. It would be as though somebody actually started oh. the Ching Chong Ding Dong Foundation to try to be like, look, see, I'm not... It's okay that I say use Ching Chong Ding Dong to refer to Asian people. That's the okay. joke he was making. But they tweeted it out without explaining it. So people got... Oh, super yeah, they probably should have... I, I just don't... I don't see... I don't get bothered. A little bit better than that. Because uh, if I just saw that, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like... <laughs> There's there's a difference between like a team name and like actually being racist. Agreed, agreed with that. Like I don't care if like if my friends or some or something says something. What was your my, nickname? What was your nickname? Mildly racist or something. Like I worked at places where they called me Wonton, and I didn't care. <laughs> like, but if but if some guy off 
the street, I didn't know called me a chink or something. I probably fucking punch him. But so would you be context. mad if there was like yeah, a Chicago uh, Ching Chong sports team? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As a joke, and now that I understand where that's coming from. What are um, they looking at? <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> they, yeah, they both looked off camera at the yeah, same time. Like... <laughs> um, yeah, it's all about context. You know that as a, as a joke that wasn't that wouldn't bother me, but as like I can't multitask like this. So at, what is he what, doing? What are you the multitasking anyway? Like what is over there? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was I gonna say? Oh, is Andy the UFC fights on? Oh, the UFC fights on. Gotcha, gotcha. Is Andy watching the baby at all? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. We don't trust him with that. Uh, yeah, kids. Maybe he can hold the baby for a minute while I go pee. Uh huh. Maybe. But, uh, well, that. what if Joe? If you can't make it, you could just send Andy on the survival trip, right? I mean, that guy could survive on those rice cakes. <laughs> he, he probably could. He probably could. Give him a little bit of peanut butter, and what else do you have? Peanut butter. Um, what? Syrian rice. Oh, I went a totally different direction with the and rice. And he's built like a little fucking ninja. Like he's hardcore. Right. I feel like he could like climb a tree and attack a raccoon or something if need be. <laughs> or a panda. Something done, Andy will get it done. That's all. It doesn't matter. It's a viable. Exactly. That, he's a get it done kind of guy. That's what I'm saying. I think I think he's a viable. I just option. thought of a racist team name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. The California Chinese Gold Diggers. Ooh. What can you bring? What can you bring on the survival trip? An algae Very bottle. Nothing <laughs> else. An algae bottle, shovel, hatchet, uh, fishing line. A it's wheelbarrow so to carry your. There's a, there's a, there's a Google block in the uh, in the chat. Oh, you guys don't know. Andy's like a hardcore fisherman. Like that's. Oh, he, oh. he has a passion for fishing, greater than anyone I know. Yeah, we, I like it. We pay him way too well at the gym. For all the fish and stuff he has in his room. <laughs> like, Where did all this stuff come from? I don't, yeah, I'm like, I don't go out to eat. I always make my lunch, make my dinner. I'll eat like Cumberland Farms at night for like $3 for dinner, but. Survivor. But I'll save <laughs> every penny I have to buy fishing gear. It's a time, it's a time sensitive thing because I've been saving all winter. Pump, all the gear you have in your room right now, the rods, the reels. All stuff he's he's saved up in like the last like I don't know probably six months. Well, no, because I've had like the reels and rods from last year. In the last six months, how much have you been fishing? Probably like six hundred dollars, and I don't really make a ton, so that's like a yeah. lot. That's a lot of saving. Yeah, but I was about to say, Joe, how how well do you pay this guy? Paid enough. Does it meet federal regulations? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you getting two breaks? Uh, are you getting two uh, fifteen minute, two paid fifteen minute breaks? Part of the deal is he lives in the basement. Yeah. So that counts for a lot. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't spend any money on anything else that I don't have to. Have you had any fights lately, dude? Oops. No, nah, man. I wanted to fight a bunch this winter, and I have been hit pretty bad with the injury bug. Why, uh, why have those injuries been so bad, Andy? Just bad luck. He doesn't let anything heal. He's like, he can hardly walk. He's limping down the stairs and like rolling downstairs because he can't walk up them. And he tries to spar. It hurts Good. him. We got, we got some trees you can climb. Yeah. <laughs> See, we need you to get the squirrels out so Kyle can shoot them. Are you injured right now? <laughs> What's up? Are you injured right now? You nurse anything? Um, My MCL so still jacked up, but it's, it's getting better. Mm. I think I might have partially... Slightly broke my foot, maybe, but I don't know. It's been hurting for a while. I'm not gonna go to the doctor for it, though. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> yeah, doctor. <laughs> They're not gonna. What are they gonna do for it? Nothing. So, Actually, truth is, I had my foot broken in two places in a hockey game, and I went to the doctor, got an X-ray. They did nothing. Yeah. See, yeah. and I don't think it's bad. At, at most, it's like, I thought it was bruised from kicking, and I hit a knee, but it's been hurting me now for like three. Three weeks, maybe a month now. You guys practicing uh, the destructor? Whatever. <laughs> Strike destruction. <laughs> what was it called? Strike destruction? I don't know. The, it thought it was called like the leg destructor or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Something, something close like that. I got, I got, I got into the topic. I just wanted to kind of highlight this one. Um, I'm saying this thing. There's this news article right here. Of this guy that just got six criminal sexual conduct. With a four-year-old? 
with a four-year-old. Read this shit. Why don't you read it out loud for us? You want me to? Yeah. All right. (laughs) Hopefully I don't stumble. On Thursday, Horry County Police responded to a rape complaint that occurred at Lawson Drive in Gallivance Ferry. The police report indicates 17-year-old Brian Sweely of Gallivance Ferry made a four-year-old boy lick honey off his penis and scrotum. Whoa. (laughs) The report also says the suspect peed on him and the fluid was white. That's not pee. Sweeney reportedly made the victim shower to remove the honey and semen. Sweeney is charged with criminal sexual conduct with a minor and is being held at the Reuben Long Detention Center without bail. Damn. What do you guys think about that one? That's not a good one. Doing it big in South Carolina. I'm glad that's on your side. There was a guy in Georgia the other day who apparently (laughs) sent uh, text messages and pictures that were so graphic to a 15-year-old girl that they they were were putting them up on, like, felony molestation charges just for the texts. (laughs) How graphic can you ask? What he did? I don't know. Did did he he goatsy? Is that what he did? Dude, they would not even (laughs) say it. They would not even say it on the radio. They would just, they just oh. said extremely graphic sexual acts that he texted. That's see that's, that story. That's I feel tough. like is hardly one to even talk about because everybody knows damn well that like what he did with a four year old is sick and wrong and disgusting and terrible. Fair uh, enough. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. But I got another story. <laughs> Here's one where a fifteen year old um, math teacher sent racy pictures to her students. 15-year-old teacher? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You're right. I said it wrong. A 24-year-old math, t- 24-year-old math teacher sends racy video to uh, a 15-year-old student. Are the pictures there? Uh, Is it, do we have that video? Is that the video where there's no audio? I saw this on Reddit, I think. Yeah, there is no audio. Uh, here are some still shots. I'm a little nervous about sharing the pics. Um... I just, I, I'm going to preview them and give you guys a, a look. I think I can share this. It's not too bad. So that's a picture of her. This picture right. is too bad. This picture is not bad. That, that's a hot fucking teacher. I, mm. I heard that this video was bullshit. Now, right. here, here, here's the question. Like, Why does a girl that looks like this need a 15-year-old boy? What's she? Th- yeah, exactly. Why doesn't she need a 27-year-old man to just... <laughs> 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 wow, and the end there, the end there, she all but like shows the JJ. She She's doesn't. Gotta, I've seen gotta, the entire video. There's like some pictures and then there's her. Now you guys have only seen the still photos where she looks pretty hot. If I'm watching see, the gift. If you see the video, I, I saw like the eight, nine minute video. Um, she looks really awkward. She I like saw every second of that nine minute video. <laughs> <laughs> I Why? actually skipped through because, oh. and, and the top comment on Reddit was really telling. Um, let me see if it. Uh, it, I'll just from memory. It was something close to, like, for somebody that hot, she has no idea how to be sexy. Hmm. Okay, I want to read the top comment from what Woody just linked, though. If I can interject very quickly, this the the comment comes from a guy that has the name wears thongs. Okay, <laughs> so that's where he's coming from. Says hijacking top comment to say the girl in the video is not the girl in the pictures. The girl in the video is a cam girl on my free cams, and then they link her profile. You can see her lean in to type responses to people watching. Did she lean in oddly during the video that you watched, Woody? She did actually. I thought she was fooling with the camera, but now that you say that, that makes Thank sense. Thank you, wears thongs. I don't judge you at all for that. <laughs> she had a, apparently a four forty three hundred cam score too. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. That's, that is excellent. <laughs> I wouldn't um, even know what that scoring system means. But well, apparently that's... there is a hot teacher, and even if the video and the pictures don't match, and she's sending racy pictures to two 15-year-old students in her class. You well, know, if Reddit had anything to say, I don't have any problem with that. Look, give give, give him a high better. fucking five. What do you yeah, man, I was a 15-year... I'm telling you, when I was a 12-year-old guy... I was I was thinking like I wish my teacher would molest the shit out of me. She she is so fucking hot. When I was like twelve or thirteen, I was thinking that stuff. I was like, my teacher's yeah. got big tits. I want to squeeze them. I remember when I was thirteen, I used to have this line I'd practice in my head that it was okay because I'm not fertile <laughs> yet. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Like my I was tenth using grade... my infertility as a method to get laid. <laughs> Dude, my tenth grade uh, uh, English teacher 
was so fucking hot. She had been in the military, and in Georgia there was a time where, like, I don't know, if you'd been in the military for X amount of years, that counted somehow as a, as a college degree, <laughs> and you could teach. And so we had this influx of fucking ex-military teachers, some of them not so stable. Um, and uh, Miss, and I won't say her real name, but but she was one of these people who came in. So she was really fit from the military, and she was like five foot eight, really long legs and blonde, so fucking hot. I wish she had been a pervert. That would have been the best thing ever. Everybody so, wanted to nail this chick. We were fourteen. So that's the, the the usual joke and everything, right? Like, yeah, yeah, I wish it was me. Why couldn't it be? She's so hot, etc. Now, if it had switched. If this guy was sending racy pictures of himself to 15-year-old girls, he'd be a sicko, right? Like, no one would like this. But, yeah, it's, not. True. but it's not. If, if the teacher was sending, if you want to go with the ifs, if she was sending pictures to an 18 or 19-year-old, you wouldn't care either. It's a big if. It's hot when you have a, a freaking teacher sending you photos and videos. Yeah, those kids are shitty secret keepers. That's all I yeah. fucking know. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, if my teacher had been blowing me or something, nobody would ever know about it until, like, right now. <laughs> like, like that, that's when I'd let the secret out. Like when, <laughs> when the statutes of limitations are up. Yeah, I got blown when I was 13. Those kids cannot get beat up enough in college. By the time they, get, <laughs> they should be beat every single day. Yeah, man. If 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 if, if so, if I saw somebody do that, I would think less. I was like, really, man? You ratted out Miss White? What the fuck? Dude. We all could have gotten some of that. <laughs> For future generations. <laughs> you really but, do. Think of the yeah, what about think of the freshmen? Yeah, <laughs> would those guys would would do the do the the male fifteen year olds know more about their sexuality and what they want than say the, the if the roles were reversed a fifteen year old female? No, but I I've just never I, I there's been lots of times when I was younger that I didn't know what I was doing, but I always enjoyed myself. <laughs> there was never a time where I was like I shouldn't have fucked all those women. Wow, <laughs> that's never happened <laughs> once. Yeah. Well, I you know if she. I don't know the you know the entirety of the you know we don't but that's I guess you know that's what we would have courts for if there weren't mandatory minimums for cases like this because now she's probably going to be a sexual predator for life regardless of how actually mature those kids are. Hey, if you need a community that will like sign some paper that you can join, come 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 here. I, we will all sign. I'll get the neighborhood involved. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'll get that house down in in South Carolina. We'll all live together in that mansion. She can come. You know. I don't know. Live across the street in that trailer park. Oh yeah, with that with, with the real estate agent that we hit on. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> Do we need a new topic? I think so. I, I have we have we wrapped up survival talk? Is, is fish is fish line and hook okay? I think if you can have guns, you can have fishing stuff. I think yeah. so. I think that's really basic fishing stuff. That, like a, like just line and hooks. That's all I'm bringing. Like no a rock, line, no a hook. Rock. A no, because and let me tell you what my plan is. If there is like a body of water that's that's half ass deep, I'm gonna tie the line to a floating device like a jug or a, a, a log or suspend it and just have a bunch of those floating in the water with worms hung from the hooks and just leave them there all day and come back in the evening and hopefully there's a fish. If not, then no time wasted. If there are, then we eat. Hmm. Oh, Kyle, I, I do think the fish trap would work. By the way, I, I watched that video. I do think it would work. Kyle, yeah, you've I've been made setting this. snares right by a garden. Yeah, yeah, I've built I've built uh, a couple of different kinds of snares. Um, I've been working on spring snares. Have you caught different... anything? Well, I had to go away. Um, I've I only had the snares set for one <clears> night <throat> because I had to go away, and I didn't think it was ethical to like leave them set for multiple days because something could be struggling, like if a larger animal or a pet got in it. Mm. So I only had them set for a short time. I'm not really going to catch anything necessarily. I'm just trying to get the design down because it's I... the trigger mechanisms are a little difficult. I want to, yeah, I want to set some snares in my backyard. It's not as big as yours, but we might get, I mean, we've got woods. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to catch somebody's small dogs. What you guys are going to do. If I catch no. somebody's cat, fuck it. It's in my yard. Yeah. I hate cats. I hate cats. Yeah. So what you, you want to go to too. Walmart? Go to Walmart and go to the floral section where they've got those flake, uh, fake flowers uh, to make f uh, flower arrangements, and they've got this uh, this green wire that comes on a spool that you use to wrap those arrangements together, and mm -hmm. that's the perfect wire to use for snares. And it's super cheap. It's like a dollar for like 50 feet or something. Hmm. And uh, it's really small gauge wire, and it bends and ties. And with squirrels, um, you you don't even need a mechanism. You can just uh, make a squirrel pole, which is just a... I have a, a survival to... talk topic I want to cover. Okay. Let's lock down a date right now. Oh. 
That's a little bit difficult no, for me. No, don't be a puss. Don't be tell me what's difficult and what's hard. After, and... It has to be after. Oh my the... gosh, here we April... go. Jesus Christ, I got business things. I, it definitely has to be April a after April 15th. And uh, because I, I, I have work. Um... How about May 5th? That's it. That's that's a little far out. Well, I'm I am it, my my birthday is April twenty first, and I am not going any time before that. Wait, why? I, I've never heard of anyone fucking celebrating a birth month before. Birth month. Yeah. Who ever yeah, heard of a birth month? Women. I my birthday go. is May. First night. off, I still need to practice. Twenty second. Like, I mean, like I don't have all my stuff. My boots are in the fucking mail. I don't even have pants. Look, we're talking about doing this in sixteen. In seventeen days, eighteen days from now, that's what we're just what we just talked about. It was on Prime. And you're like, my boots are still in the mail, man. I've got to get more <laughs> skills. I was always under the impression it was going to be beginning of May. I'm telling you, if you guys said Monday, I'd be like, all right, I'll Dude, stop by I, dicks. I, I I honestly wish I could. I've got I've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm looking at the calendar here. Um, if it were up to me, we would we would like take off right now. We'd get our shit together and go. But but I just got shit. I'm gonna put it out. You can do April. I talked to, to the your night. agent. What? She, no, no, you didn't. Because I'm I, I just had to write a bunch a whole business proposal for for a company lately. When no, is Pax? No, no. When is Pax? Um, I, I I don't know, but that has nothing to do with. with yeah, it what is. It, it was the date. Let's see, Pax East. I'm not going to Pax. I know. It's the 11th to the 13th, so I cleared with her April 7th to the 11th. Bam. That's in, that, that, that conversation, it has to be before, like, 3 o'clock this afternoon, right? Yes. Yeah. I have, um, like, a $40,000 deal that's due on April 10th. Dude, you piss forty grand. Don't act like that's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to say, no way, guys, no, forty grand. I can't work. No nah, man, I, I, I got it's it's it has to be delivered by the tenth, I believe. Um, I, get I your shit done. Yeah, you, you can get time. it done early. What the hell is this? It's man? March right, right now. I what? may have to f just trust me here. If look, we'll I'll do it as early as I can. I'm just saying that as of right now, the the earliest I can I can agree to is like the fifteenth of April. So that's a and, Tuesday, and or if you know the fourteenth, if it if it makes it a Monday for sure. Oh. Well, shit, we can go April 14th through 18th. That's five days, it sounds like four, but it's five. And Wings of Redemption will be back for his birthday. Bam. Uh, his birthday month. Your, your, your birthday no, is... I didn't like say birthday month, oh, but I'd like yeah. to make it to my birthday, and here's why I don't want to do this. You bitch motherfuckers don't want to take a GPS. We could get lost, and we could be out there until the 30th. <laughs> <laughs> Wings of Wings. All right, hang on. Slow down. I want to talk about how ludicrous this is right now, because I don't think everybody grasps it. Wings. What is when is your birthday? April twenty first, nineteen eighty six. April twenty first, <laughs> eighty six. He throws in. All right. <laughs> so your concern is that we're going to get lost and you won't be able to properly celebrate your fucking birthday? Hey, <laughs> I don't know about you. You know what but... I did for my birthday last year? I do. I was looking at it earlier. I had it written down. I watched fucking TV. I didn't do, you do know shit. What, what I did, did you do what I did for my birthday last year? I got pussy three goddamn times. You I, know what I did for my birthday? I, I did that well once. I call yeah. that Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I worked. I worked all day. That's what I did for my birthday. I, all right. Yeah, what I was doing. 14th through 18th. Through 18th. Let's do this. I don't want it to lose momentum. Let's let's lock it in. The 14th through the 18th. Let me let me let me throw some cons why we should wait till May. Oh you my always God. Have cons. You're a con There's machine. First off, first off, it winter isn't even fucking over yet. It's like fifty degrees outside. The first right day now. of spring was Ooh, April twenty-first. Fifty 20th. degrees. Ooh. Ooh. April. Lefty, did, Lefty, did you turn your air conditioner down yet? First day of spring was like eight days ago. What are you talking about, man? Hell it's no. Not Sleep winter. in your goddamn house when it's fifty degrees. No, with the no, I dude. do. <laughs> it's thirty goddamn degrees out right now. This is how things don't happen. You want to live an extraordinary life? You gotta fucking do extraordinary things. You gotta stop coming up with reasons that things don't happen and start coming up with plans to make them actually fucking happen. No, no, no. You want should... to do it like next week when I want to do it like. May, May 5th? No one here is talking about next week. We're talking about April 14th. You have weeks to get ready for this thing. It doesn't take weeks to get ready for a minimalist survival trip. All you need to do is pick up a Nalgene bottle, a pair of pants, and get in your truck. The second best truck on Painkiller yep. already. Yep. Show up. Make it happen. 
Make it fucking happen. That's how things happen in life. That's how success is achieved. You don't find out reasons why you are going to fail or why you can't do a thing. Yeah, but see, or why that thing you needs know, to know happen how, sometime you know later this year. Failures happen too. What? Lack of preparation. We don't even know if it's going to rain on the 14th through the I 18th. I don't care. I hope it rains. I, I hope it rains. Rain. Bring the rain. Bring the rain. I'll we bring a tree leaf or something. It could be degrees outside. It could be 25 degrees when we're trying to I clean. hope it freezes. Bring I your shit, be ice nature. Cube. I, don't, I don't think you guys realize how much this is going to suck. You don't realize. I don't think you get it, Wings. You're not getting it. It's supposed to suck. I want it yeah. to suck. It's going to suck. It's going to suck, but I want the suckage to be as minimal as possible. I'd like it to be like a nice 60 degrees outside when we're trying to sleep. I Motherfucker, you play every game as much as on Impossible you know? except for you know? life. <laughs> Dude, let's do this. Let's do this. April 14th, wait, 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 don't wait. say no. Don't puss out. Don't be a sissy. Don't why can't be a we loser. Do, what, what, be a why, winner. Why, make why, a why, thing why happen. Why are you against May? You want to live an extraordinary... Because May is the distant future. You want to live an extraordinary life. You want to do extraordinary things. Then you find out how to make them go. I watched the Painkiller Already subreddit. And they're like, man, a lot of these guys would really like to do this. A lot of, Like, man, I would like to do this thing. I would, there's a reason not a lot of people do this. And it's because they're wired to figure out reasons why they can't do it. Why they shouldn't do I'm it. I'm not backing out. I'm the last person who's going to back out. You're the first the, person. The person. You're backing out right now. I'm not we backing set a date. out. Do it. Do it. Just Yo, say you yes. set a date. We're trying to agree on a date. My date was a lot further back than yours. But, but you have no no good reasoning for why I you're. I do doing have good reasoning for it because I want to, if something happens on this trip and I die, I would like to see my 28th birthday. That's my fucking reason right there. That is a good reason. That no, is absurd. No, that, no. Look, 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 because because you think the like. What do you think your percentage of? What is this? Is someone playing the it's, piano? It's the Lonely Man soundtrack. <laughs> what do you think the odds of your death are? Motherfucker, you haven't even signed on to the trip yet, and you're playing this bullshit. <laughs> Hulk music sitting there playing in the background. That's what the Hulk walks when he plays when he like walks away lonely at the end of every episode. <laughs> Wings, what do you honestly think the the percentage wise odds are that you're gonna die? What percentage of the time do you think that you're gonna die on this trip and not see your twenty eight? What? Thirty percent. I think there's a 30% chance we're going to get lost. You think if you do this trip three times, <laughs> then you're you probably going to die. Yes. Wings, <gasps> I swear to God, you're not going to die. The, uh, look, I, I, I like to do this exercise in my mind a lot of times when I'm about to do something stupid. I give our odds of one of us dying on this trip, I would say they are about... One in one in ten thousand. Yeah, something like that. I, I I don't feel like I'm gonna die of hunger, but they're pretty I don't think similar. We're die of water, I, but I feel like there is a good chance we're gonna get lost, and we might. And once we get lost and we start getting desperate, that's what's gonna happen because we are not survival experts, and panic could be setting in. Wait, what? Wait, no. did you think? Did you think your exercise was gonna go as well as it did, or do you think it was gonna go far worse? Um, exercise and surviving the wild are two different things. Wow. There's very little chance of dying while you're, you know, running on a elliptical. Before you started it, before you started working out, did you think it was going to go as well as it's gone, or do you think it was going to go much, much worse? I thought it went exactly like it would win. It sucked fucking ass, and you know, I just do it. That's the trip. <laughs> That's how the trip will go. Yep. Oh, well, it's going to suck ass, but it's going to be five days. Wings, you I don't just, have a good reason I, to say no. If you had a thing, if you had... I'm not saying some, no. Don't don't put the word no in my mouth. If you I'm had just, some saying no to the opportunity that represented half a day of your income like Kyle does, if you had, uh, I don't know, like a, something big scheduled that you could... But you don't even have a thing. Oh, dude, that, 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 the 10th of April is my yearly income. <laughs> so I don't really go. The 10th I, of I do April. It. It, what Kyle's going to make on the 10th of April is more than I'll make this entire year. <laughs> <laughs> and and that being said, like like this is first of all, but these less are than videos. Kyle will make on the 11th. <laughs> yes, it's less. Yes, totally. So so all right. So what I foresee coming to this thing, I think we're going to make some good videos, and I think that's something we should address as well. This isn't. We got a little out of hand when we did the FPS boot camp, and you guys were like clamoring for like 30 or 40 videos. I don't know what's going to come of this video-wise, but you're definitely going to get at least one or two good videos. And yeah. I think there's going to be, you know, shelter building and hunting videos and fishing videos and... I, 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 okay, I'm a money whore like a motherfucker. If, if I get 30 minutes of footage, there's going to be like 15 videos out of that. I'm going to make them three minutes long. So, <laughs> so we're going to put them in a playlist. We're going to have one or two good videos. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, so... I, I think I'm going to do a short format, too. It, it, what it is is I watch the new Boston's videos... 
and I found them so compelling and well paced and edited, it it kind of looked like the answer key on how to do this appropriately. So uh, there might be some longer videos, but I think that for the most part, you know, they're going to be in like the two to six minute range. And uh, hopefully people gobble them up like candy because that's what I did. That's what I did too. Like just put them in a playlist and let them r- run right on down. Yep. Yeah, that's that's how I enjoyed his videos. So I, it, it, I, I mean, on one hand, I guess I'm copying his idea. On the other hand, I'm learning from him. I, I thought he did a great job. Yeah. So and he, also, I like he, al- he also he also turned in like a, a sixty thousand view video into like three hundred thousand view video. Oh, because it's a bunch of them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah. View money's nice. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, we should do it, though. Uh, Wings, have you agreed to the date yet, or do we have to continue to berate you? I just Dude. don't see... Wings. I, I'm not, not going to agree to the date today, but I, I might agree to it. It all depends on... Uh, it means I got to... You have gotta, nothing... There, there are no variables also, that you don't have the answers to right now. That, but, but the fact that I, I bring nothing to the table right now, I don't know how to skin. I have yet to get a fire successfully made. You don't need those things, because knife what we need from you. Here's what we need from you. I, here's what I want from you. If you could do this for me, I told my friends yesterday because they were asking me, what's Wings going to do? I was like, all I need from Wings, and if he does this, we're going to be successful. I need him to gather firewood because that's, that's an important fucking job and somebody's got to do it. I need him to maybe carry some water around, and hopefully he can learn a, a thing or two about you know, boiling a rabbit and maybe like you know, if we can make some acorn flour or something. And that's it, man. Like, fire, Woody's got fire wrapped. I'm not practicing fire. I, I made a couple just to make sure I could, to, you know, because it's fun and I had the tool. I, you don't need fire. You don't need to shoot anything. I promise you I'm going to feed us with that rifle. It's not going to be a big deal to shoot rabbits, squirrels. I'm and perfectly stuff. able to shoot something, Kyle. Okay, well, y- you can shoot stuff, too. But but all I need from you is, is just gathering firewood and chilling out and, you know, helping with the shelter, you know, gathering pine boughs and chopping limbs with a little hatchet. See, I want I want to be I want to be a bigger part of it though. I understand that these are important tasks; these are calorie burning tasks, and I'm the best person to do this since I had the most calories on reserve. Wings, you can be any part of it you want to, man. Just be a part of it on the what is it the four, the fourteenth? Just yeah, do it. We want to do this on the fourteenth of April. <laughs> Lock it in, make it so. Because uh, I don't want it to. The, the, we'll maybe, leave on the fourteenth. Get back on like I'll get back on like the nineteenth or something or twentieth, and it'll uh, it'll be good. I mean, like I don't even have extra batteries for my camera yet. I haven't even ordered them. Wings, see, this is exactly the kind of behavior that you need to completely remove from your life forever. Right? Like, it, it, I would never say, I only have. Uh, what are we dealing with here? Three days, seventeen days to get batteries for my camera. Can we push it off to May? Well, I like I like to think about it in a financial mind state. See, I don't make forty thousand dollars a month. I make thirteen hundred dollars a month, and and that and that fact, camera batteries. I've got eighty dollars worth of camera batteries to buy. I got, you know, I got boots to buy. Well, boots are getting given to me, but I got pants. That's another eighty dollars to buy. I don't. Let me throw some salt in your game, wings. All right, I got work on the twenty fifth. So like like I have work, like sandwiched on either sides of this perfect date jewel. That we've come up with. Look, I don't care. Look, we're talking about here's what you have to buy besides like getting yourself there. Pants. You have to get that fifty dollar pair of All pants right. I linked you to. Well, you I'm more. Get... I'm more. Just this. Just the items we've listed. I'm more four hundred dollars in. No, I got all that shit. That's that's the thing. Like me and Woody have all this shit. Yeah, I can buy shit. Like, it, yeah. What do you need? What? Do you, I don't want to buy you pants. What else did you want? <laughs> I mean, Vaseline. Most, most of the, um, just the things like these are like camera batteries and you know you know memory For cards. Go, it's like GoPro batteries. No, like camera batteries like this. Yeah. We're gonna take GoPros. We're gonna shoot this yeah, on GoPros and I, cell phones. I'm gonna, and shit, do, I'm gonna do. I might have to buy a camera, but uh, dude, I, See, I I got this. Don't get me crazy. I can get this done by the 14th or whatever let, it is. Let but, me throw um, this. Let me throw this out there. Does anyone here think that this is this needs to be a four camera sitcom? No. That's that's you shoot a sitcom with four fucking cameras. I think we need like one. GoPros are horrible with audio, though. Like you need a camera there to pick audio. A, up. I, I want to test the I GoPro have, first. I, I, I um, I've never I have, used a. I'm I've sorry. Got, I never used a I've GoPro. Got I've never used a GoPro outside the case. Go on. I have two 1080p small cameras with long life batteries. They do excellent audio. Um, in any situation, I've got. Two GoPro Hero 3s with like two or three batteries each. I've got 
Uh, I think I can borrow Google Glasses. I could borrow um, like a tiny handy cam, the kind that you could literally fit in a cargo pocket. Filming isn't an issue. I'm, I promise you, Wings. I know. You, I, look, if you if you're overwhelmed about it and you want to take a minute, and even if you don't want to go, it's cool. But I promise you, all these excuses you've come up with, I can knock them down with a flick of my hand because I because we got this shit handled. Yeah, Kyle sounds um, like he's got cameras locked down. He has two of them. I mean, I can get my own. I, I, I've got I've got piles. I've like, got like three of lots. them within arm's reach of me. But the fact is, I only got a battery for each. That's all right. I got extra batteries at batteries for you. Yeah, I don't even know how many it's GoPros I have. It's it's like three to five. Hey, you make it look like I don't want to go. Shit, <clears throat> I want to go on this trip. I've always wanted to take this trip, but you guys are trying to push and rush somebody into it. That's peer pressure. Yes. Yes, we are peer pressure. <laughs> yes. Again. You're going I mean, <laughs> because it's perfect. Yes, it is. Like I, I, I'm not even gonna give excuses no more. I had all kinds of things I had planned up, and I planned this based off a month because I said May first, you know, last week, and everybody said, "Oh, that's fine." No, no. nobody's ever. No. Like, cause, cause Woody and I have been talking about this a couple of times, and we've all. May has always been like a shit. I hope we don't have to do it in fucking May kind of thing. Why? May is it's like, going to be warmer in May. I'll no. be older in May. Who knows how long I'll make it. I might not make it in May. <laughs> I, I, I rank my chances of dying between now and May at about 35%. And that's... <laughs> 35% no. wings. Can you well, stand you, up? You ride around problems? with Jeremy. I mean, that increases at 5%. I, I, I buckle up. I think we can do it again in May if you want, maybe. But um, I, I, thought, I thought it's going to be a yearly thing. That's why the logo I put 2014. Like next year we could do good. Like look, the desert. I, I, I'll throw this out there right now. If this goes well and we enjoy it, next time we'll go to the fucking desert or something. You yeah, know what I mean? Fucking oh, desert. Just do different areas. No. <laughs> I don't see. I I. We'll go to a different environment. Let me take that one back and just, just put it in my foot in my mouth a little with the desert. But another similar environment in which we think we might be able to flourish. Like Mars. Yeah, like Mars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> I would be down for doing a repeat in the same place, a different place, a different environment. Who knows? This might be something that uh, that we do more often. And and I I am I feel blessed. I don't say blessed very much. I'm not that religious, but I'm fortunate to have a circle of friends who can do shit during the day, right? Like it, it, when I had all my Cisco friends, they're not even allowed to go out on weekends, right? But these are people who can do something from Monday to Friday. So let's do that. You know, you, you will be a more extraordinary person right, on Friday than you were on Monday. Let's, let's ask this. Joe, can you do the 14th? Uh, I don't think so. I have a doctor's appointment that day with the baby. I can't I can't be gone for that. Mm. All right, so that automatically eliminates Joe. So who are we going to replace him with? It's Scott. Yeah, Andy go on the 14th. <laughs> <laughs> he is on gym, dude. And he's like, yeah, man, no problem. <laughs> he's got his backpack on. <laughs> Joe's like, Andy don't get no vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that'd be a shitty ass vacation to go on. <laughs> uh, but I could maybe come out like the next day though. I could come out probably the day after. So maybe I go out a day later than you guys. So I'd be out there for Tuesday to Friday or something. What if you came out later on Monday? What time is the doctor's appointment? Uh, I don't even know. I just have the the, the day mark. You realize he's got to fly, right, Woody? He's not like he could just like take his car over. I'm going. just starting to process this. Yeah, I, I knew that he was... I'm just like, huh, you know, if he went from the doctors to there, he could be in... I could do like a Tuesday to Saturday. I could do like a 15... Which is I, uh, I could do that as well, but that I know that's hard for Woody. Yeah, and I hate to be now I'm the guy that doesn't want to do things, but like Saturdays and Sundays are gigantic. That's like my work day. That, that's... What happens if we get lost? I mean, you're thinking about this, but we, we are not going to get lost. Lost. I'm going to walk back to the car three or four times, buddy. Like, I'm telling you, I used to hike in five are or six miles every four, three or four times. Like, are you, are you going, is that where you're going to hang See, your food funny. at? Everyone, no, that's where I'm going to charge my GoPros. Joe says we're not going to get lost. Kyle says we're not going to get lost. I'm on the other end of this thing. Wings, I've been lost so many times, I'm not even concerned about it anymore. I'm absolutely fucking lootly going to get lost. I always do, and I always make it out. If you get lost, you want me there with you. I'll get you out. <laughs> yeah, but I've heard stories about you almost dying. She makes shit up. Don't pay attention to that woman. <laughs> God, God, she's not that. Right, if you she's... want to do the show on the 14th, I can do it. Just l let me know. Yes. Yes. 14th yes. it is. Fucking 14th. I, I got I to gotta speed my shit up, son. Oh, and, and, I was, and I was going to actually go to my go stay with my uncle next week. Well, not stay with him, but go to his house and have him tr teach me how to clean animals. I like that. I like that. That sounds fantastic. I just watched a YouTube video on cleaning a rabbit. It, uh, yeah, it, was, I, it was actually cleaning a rabbit for beginners, and I saw it, and I watched it, and I studied. I think I can do that. That's awesome. Remember the scene when they were, do, were doing that on Game of Thrones? 
when the I, t- you know the two girls not the, carefully though I, like I, I didn't learn from it uh but i mean i just remember that scene like they're arguing about who could who could gut a rabbit better Oh. You know, he wasn't porn, it, but really. I don't really get my pussy in secrets from porn. Was there a video on Reddit of the guy just cut the rabbit's asshole and then just squeezed it and everything just came off? Yes. Yes. That was on Reddit, right? Yeah, that's the video that I was linking around the uh, last right. week. The one I saw was different. He pretty much cut the legs off and they look like chicken legs or chicken wings, like, you know, whatever, drumsticks. And then um, along the back, he like, he put a cut on its spinal cord and then he kind of cut the like the fillet off either side. And that was it. He didn't gut it very much. He did. There wasn't hardly. There, that's bad in grammar. There, there was hardly any blood. It, it. It. And he. The whole thing is like, this is skinning for beginners. If you're a hunter and you know this is your thing, then this might not be the way that you do it. You might. It, he's like, but this gets ninety percent of the meat off, and it's easy and it's quick and and it's a good way for someone who's new at this to do it. And I thought that's me. I've never skinned a rabbit before. Yeah, I, I watched several squirrel uh, skinning videos because I want. I, I feel like that's our most likely source of food, and uh, and it looked pretty easy. You basically like cut it right above its butthole, and then cut down its thighs, and you step on the tail with it upside down, grab the thighs, and pull, and it kind of pulls out of its own skin. I got I got a question. What knife should we be aiming to bring? Um, so I'm gonna take a couple of a couple. I, I kind of designated myself as the tool guy. I guess I'm willing to to carry that shit. Uh, because I I really want our shelter to be good enough that we're going to be comfortable. So I'm bringing a, uh, a a hatchet that has a saw on the back of it that you can take out of the handle from Sog, a uh, a shovel that also has like a kind of a saw blade on the side of it. it it's really lightweight and folds. Also from Sog, um, a fillet a, a knife that's made well, for like skinny. Let me game. let me let me re-ask this question. Unless you're bringing knives for everybody. Here's you, just, um, you, just, you just bring your knife. You know your seal pup knife. That's I, I, what I was gonna I bring. Wanna, I don't want to ruin that thing though. I'm, Oh, you can't I want to ruin it. I would love to say this is the knife that I used to survive the North Carolina wilderness with. But like given Kyle's knife arsenal, I feel like the SOG I was going to bring is almost redundant. It's durable, it's tough. I might bring it anyway, who knows. I might bring a multi-tool instead. And then who knows what I need from that. The multi-tool would be welcomed. That's the only thing I'm not bringing. Yeah, I have I'm I'm I kind have of a, a multi-tool junkie. I have like Half a dozen really nice multi tools in my life. I keep them I in have, the car, in the desk, in the in the gun case, and the yeah. Um, I'm bringing plenty of paracord. Who's uh, bringing the duct tape? Who's I can't hear you. Someone needs to have duct tape. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. That's what paracord's for. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. It, like I was gonna bring that knife, that big sog that that we always pull out, and I still might. But maybe, See, should I go get it? it here? It's like, I look at it as like, like yeah, that's it's going to have nicks in the blade. It's going to have, you know, it's going to have would you... some of the edges. Nah, man, I promise you. that. I'd much rather get like a cheaper knife that's like this and just use that to like I'd the much rather... wood up and stuff. Well, I already told Sog you were going to be using that one, so how about you just bring it? <laughs> I'll bring it then. Yeah, dude, I, I, I didn't know <laughs> that. <laughs> so we didn't know this information we were getting withheld from. <laughs> I, 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 I promise you, you won't damage that knife. If you do, and there's something wrong with it, I'm pretty sure you get a lifetime warranty. And if you don't, I know a guy at Sock. So we'll <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll bring that knife. I might bring a multi-tool also then. You know, who knows? It depends. I really want a light pack. You know, if I'm going to survive and sur- on minimal calories, I don't want to bring my standard, like, 40, 45-pound pack. My thing is I'm this. I'm bringing though. a Jan Sport backpack with just shit in it. Yeah, I've got a military type backpack. I'm gonna see if my stuff fits in it correctly. If not, I'll I'll get it. Mean, I got a rutsack backpack. If but I, that thing's just big. I don't want to yeah, carry I, that. I, I'm not sure that the pack's weight matters as much as it would on your previous trips, though, Woody. Because I think we're you know we're gonna hike in whatever three to five miles, and then we're gonna sit all that stuff down in the camp and until I think we leave. That's a strong point, actually, because I usually like when I do this sort of thing, hiking is the point, and you do like I'd say 12 miles, but 10 to 15 miles a day. And, uh, you know, so, so hiking is the point. The pack weight matters a lot. If we're just going to go like three to five miles in and stop for a week, maybe the pack isn't that important. Like keeping it light's not that big a deal. Yeah. I, th- that's why when I was like looking at those tools, like there was a lighter weight hatchet and I was like, I'd rather have the hatchet that I know I'm going to be able to chop with better. So I, I got the one that weighed like 14 right. ounces more. I'm going to ask this question because I want to ask it anyway. I'm going to bring gloves. What gloves do you guys suggest I buy? Mechanics gloves. Like, is there anything better than the mechanics gloves for, like, dexterity and stuff? Cut the fingers off the mechanics gloves. Cut one of the fingers off the mechanics gloves. I'll like bring that. a multi-tool for it. 
<laughs> I can cut that finger off with one of my. So main like, eyes. just go to AutoZone and buy those damn mechanics gloves. That's to be the best gloves to carry. In my opinion, that's the best thing to do. Can when I you're say doing... I'm still excited that we nailed down a date? Oh yeah, it's great. It's it's that's a big accomplishment to nail down the 14th and possibly have Joe Lozon coming in on the 15th once we have base camp set up for. I him. mean, but like, do we, do we <laughs> plan on Joe or do we actually go try to get another fourth or do we, where do we bring that guy that Woody wants to bring? I think so. Or does it come? So Joe is a maybe, regardless. So I think that we should have some. I think if anyone out there wants to be part of the PKA survival team, Lefty, we need a video. <laughs> Lefty doesn't want to be for, and he has very good reasons for not wanting to go. No, he's got but, good reasons, and I can't get a good reason for a date pushback. Well, no. you both use the same reason: your vagina. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm far yeah. from a vagina. If I was a vagina, I would be like Lefty, and I would be like, nope. Not doing this. I'm staying home. <laughs> it's funny how hard. I wouldn't to want in. to. If I were you, I wouldn't want to turn 28 before I accomplish something this big. Exactly. That would be, my, that would be how I'd look at Lots it. Lots of motherfuckers turn 28 without doing this. I bet. I bet 90% of the population doesn't do this. You don't, you don't have, have to be have one to be of them. One. You need to be extraordinary, not average. I'm going to be extraordinary. We're going to take pictures, and I'm going to pictures going to be back there on that wall. I can do anything you can. I like do that. Better. I like that. I might no, bring. It's going to be great. I was thinking, I was, do I want to bring a DSLR? I don't know. It's heavy. Which was it is heavy, and I, like I said, like, do I want to take my, you know, this big ass camera, which is, you know, lots of money to me, which, you know, an expensive camera is a big thing to me, mm -hmm. out in the woods, <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, mine, mine's really durable. It's like and heavy seat. in that case. And it's yeah, but it's all it heavy. takes is one slip on a wet rock to bust a fucking lens up. Yeah, but. That's stuff I encounter in day-to-day -day life. Like, I, I, once again, we don't need to get redundant. One camera will get the job. Like one DSLR, you know, for photographs. I'm sure we could pass it around if need be. Um, I was but I'm glad we've got a date. And, and and but let's not get away from what. what How about we do a before right? and after picture? Like when we first get there, we take a picture, and then after five days, we, we take could. A picture. I'll bring a scale. We could even weigh in. But what I wanted to get to was for our fourth person, and since Joe is a tentative, maybe. I would like it if you guys want to be considered. You need to make a video. We need to see a PKA survival. And then go ahead and put it. Like hashtag PKA survivor or something so we can find this thing. What if they put it on the PKA subreddit? There you go. Put it on the PKA subreddit. All right, put so your survival video. And here's what I want from you. I want you to, I want your, your stats. I want you to nail down. You know, This is how old I am. This is what I've done before. These are my experiences. And then demonstrate some of your skills. It would be great if you gutted a rabbit. If you if you cleaned a rabbit in front of me in like 15 seconds and we're like, here you go. Well, I've been watching that the rabbit be cleaning video. video if and this you, guy's took 10 minutes. <laughs> if you demonstrated, you know, some some fire making skill or some like uh, 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 hunting skills or any kind of survival skills that you possess that you think would be worthwhile to us on this trip, demonstrate them in the video and put them on the subreddit. So do, it, you it, think, do you think this could cut a rabbit's head off? Yeah, man, it cut your head off. So it, it, here, Reddit.com. Slash r slash pka. If you guys are familiar with Reddit, that'll be easy for you. You know, because all the Reddit's in with slash r, and then pka. Submit a link, and then link up your video. Just you know, bam, right there. It's a piece of cake. Yeah. That's Probably talk about what they would bring too and why. So yeah, what, what kind of gear you're bringing and what they bring for gear. Sell you to us. You know, yep. sell yourself. What are your accomplishments? What are you doing? Why would you be good? Why are you easy to hang out with? Why are you easy to? Why would are you, you be a good survival companion? Are you a licensed hunter? You know, things like that. We we need to know. Anything yep. that makes you valuable. Yep. So make it so. Get it done. Let's see your videos. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. And we're and keep in mind we're we're tent we're we're pretty sure right now that we're doing this thing April fourteenth, right? You yes. gotta be able to bring your own transportation too. There ain't no plane tickets being issued. Yeah, we ain't picking you up. There's, there's no free ride here. You're just coming to hang out with us. Well, and... I, I'm willing to pick you up if you're on the way from Myrtle Beach to wherever the hell we're going during the I, I'm, not, I'm not picking anyone up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might know. not like you. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh yeah, and show some personality in this video because you're we're agreeing to spend a week with you and, and alone in the woods. So show us that you're a likable guy. Maybe if you have like an attractive girlfriend, that would be a selling point. I don't know. Maybe they'll send her instead. Maybe send they'll send her girlfriend instead. Yeah. So if Wings, you're, we would consider any females who want to come on the trip. Wings, your drive is about three hours. It's about three hours to your house, though, Woody. Uh, I I think we should meet at Yari. Yar, I'm, is Yari the Appalachians? Is that that's that's where I thought we were heading? Yeah, the bottom of it. Well, how far is it? Uh, how, I figured I figured it was like two hours from your house. It is. 
But see, I live. I, here. Triangles, wings. It's triangle. Here, I'm gonna give you a link. All right. I now spell you Ari. I gave you a link. You're all set. Okay. Let's see here. You know, be a good progression on this whole thing is next. So you do it all together this year. You guys are all one big group. Next year, you all do different like different camps. So Kyle has. Well, I don't think Woody knows what the Appalachian Mountains are. Oh, shut Wait. up. All right. So, <laughs> do you see in the top right where it says Raleigh Carry Apex? Yes. That's where I live. I mean, this is cool. This is way closer to me, but like, yeah, yeah. The Appalachian Mountains are about three and a half hours to the left of Charlotte. To the left. Does that seem right? See where the Great Smoky <laughs> Now I know why Wings wants a GPS. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. There's the Chattahoochee Forest, you know, the Nahal National Forest, Great Smoky Mountains. That's that's the Appalachians. This is like Francis Marion Forest. I'll so what, what's at the end of the trip? If it's not mountain us for you, we'll do another one. Okay, and I also have a question. Like... So after the trip, where is the post-trip meal going to take place? Longhorns. No, 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 no. You got to look in the map. Like, like, is there a town nearby? Troy. Troy. That's a decent-sized town. It's the closest town. It's it's a town. They have auto stores and restaurants and stuff. All right, Woody. Since this is a natural forest, is there any? Because um, like I know in France and Maryland, you're not allowed to hunt at all. Um, I already called in. We're good yeah, to hunt. we covered okay. that. You need a license. It looks like. There, we got the Francis Marion Forest down here under Myrtle Beach, and like they don't let you hunt at all there. Is there a way to? And keep in mind, if you if you don't have a license, wings, it probably wouldn't be good to it being appearing on camera of doing hunting. <laughs> Le what lefty? I am going to have a license before the fourteenth of April. Yeah, I got to get okay. that. No, I'm just too. saying because earlier you were talking about taking more than eighteen days to get batteries for your cameras. So. Okay, so hang on. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, it's not because I couldn't get them in 18 days. It's because I'd like to know where my money situation is, what my bills are, have my bills paid, and then contemplate what I'm going to buy. Not because it's going to take me 18 days to buy a camera care, get lefty. Okay, so, so my question, Wings, you've had a hunting license before? Yes, I have took the class. Okay, cool. So he might be all set, right? You just need to go to like the South Carolina hunting website, whatever it is. I just gotta go to Walmart and pay twenty five dollars. No, you can print this shit out for free, man. I I just did it. If uh -oh. you if you, yeah, you've already got the so so you don't need you do not want to buy a South Carolina hunting license of any kind. You want you need your hunter safety course that you took when you were a kid or whatever, that card printed out, and then when we get to North Carolina or perhaps online, you buy a North Carolina small game license. And uh, it, I, 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 hang on, I, I linked you guys to the information earlier. I can read it back um, as far as the pricing and everything. But I, I just I want to throw out there one more time about the audition tapes and stuff, the, the videos. Please follow instructions and put it on the PKA subreddit. I, I don't see every tweet that comes to me. Uh, I'm sure all these guys are in the same position. I, I'm not going to be going on this trip, so I don't want to see your goddamn video tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm just kidding. If Part of the test will it, be, can you follow cool. instructions? And if suddenly you're posting it, like on the woodycraft.net forums or something, be like, all right, <laughs> that's a good guy to skip over. Yeah, it's a strike against him oh, right away. Intelligence is uh, lacking. Okay, so the basic six-day small game license, 40 bucks. A 10-day inland fishing license is 10 bucks, and then you're sorted. That's it. And that's if you want to fish. And that lets you set snares, traps, uh, box traps, Shoot rabbit, squirrel, all that crap. Maybe they'll help me learn to trap something. Do they cover any instructional type stuff? No, it's all safety. Okay. It's all stuff that keeps you from hurting other people and you know following the laws. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting the the breakdown, right? Like, you know, I I bring fire and water. I know I can do that, and and I feel like you know, my, part of me is like, what if I don't do it right, dude? I, Fucking done it a lot. <laughs> I'll bring fire and water. Um, Kyle's confident he can bring food, and I'm not at all confident that I could do that. I got. I, I texted you a picture of my rifle, Woody. If you want to show it, it makes you feel it. better, Woody. I'm more worried about the fire and water than the food because I can go five days without eating, <laughs> um, and I can just eat it at the steakhouse in Troy. So let me. It's like a. It's like a folding uh, 1022. It it comes with a. Uh, 
uh, like a survival case, like everything folds up, disassembles, and fits in that pack. I'm kind of happy when I'm looking at you already that all these fucking rivers are around. So water doesn't look like it's going to be too damn yeah, much of a challenge. So, so that yeah, that's that's the two pieces focus. of the rifle, and that's the it's 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 case that it's sitting on. So that's going to be cool. But the takedown. So yeah. The takedown. Yeah. Is, Is it a 1022 uh, collapsible? Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty legit. It would look and cool. I, I, I'm going to put um. I'm gonna put some cool optics on the side of it. I maybe put some backup optics on there. We're not allowed lasers. Cool optics on it? Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I don't know. You know, I'll put a scope on that motherfucker for sure. That in the spirit of the survival. <laughs> Death to all. No, no. That's the. Remember, we're declaring war on the forest. We already decided that you wouldn't hold back, hold me back with my guns, okay? <laughs> Joe, have you seen See, my survival rifle? stick is against the rules. Look, look, look. Gun I almost bought a legitimate. fucking P90 on this thing. Like, I was like, that's a small caliber. It's similar. It's similar. I could bring my P90. Wait, 22, uh, 223. What's the difference? Exactly, yeah. That 5.7 by 28 is a small round, guys. Come on. I could bring my... No. I'm bringing my 22. It's a cool 22, though. Get over it. I think the 22 is okay. I think it's the optics. I think it should be iron sights or bust. Why does that matter? The, iron, the optics could be off. Like how can Woody's Henry don't need optics, optics. That's all I gotta say. I, my, I was gonna buy Woody's rifle, but I wasn't confident with the sights when I looked down that I could make a long range shot. I feel like if you can totally kill a squirrel with that thing anywhere like 20, 30 yards, but I feel like shooting up into trees and stuff, I just like a scope. I like a scope. Especially for little birds and stuff. I want some kind of optic, so I'm going to bring something. Maybe you want to bring a frying pan? No, I think one cooking vessel would was is going to get it. You shoot the little birdie and all the little birds eggs are there. We might as well cook an omelet. you got to climb the tree to get those, brother. Yeah, you throw a rock. I want to see, then I the see you already climbing a, climbing a tree. Yeah, it'd be just like that scene from Almost Heroes. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Woody is I'm a thinking more Beverly Hills rifle movie. over here. This is a cool rifle he's got. This thing floats. <laughs> yeah. What can you do it upside down blindfolded yet? No, but I can do it. Like it's it, I'm, There was uh, the first couple times I did this, I was kind of figuring it out as I did it. Now that's that's not really the case. I know how to do this. Here's me. I thought you fell for a second. For sure. There we go. I'm ready. Thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> that's very similar to what I'm taking. Yeah. Yeah, so this is my, my survival rifle. It all fits in in this part here, like from here to here. That's the butt of the gun. It, it's kind of got a big, ugly butt, but... Um, I don't know what you guys take it. I'm just going to take one magazine full. Yeah. I'll yeah, take it more. That's right. five rounds for me. That won't do. Yeah, yeah, but our mags are like 30 rounds. So yeah, it's like 38 good. rounds. You really, you're only taking 38 rounds? 38 rounds. That's the, I mean, you got to put some kind of limits on yourself. I, you know, I, I've got two mags. I, I, I've, I've got... 30 got, mags, but I'll, I'll bring two mags. You need to bring five of them. Yeah, I've, I've got a few. I can bring a whole brick if you want me to bring a brick. It ain't, it's going to add like two pounds of weight, and that's 500 shots. Yeah, I have 500. I've shot a bunch of them, though, but there must be a couple hundred left. And uh, I don't know how many rounds I bring. People, I'm not sure. I'll probably grab a handful, whatever that is, 75 or something, so that I don't have to worry too much. I think I got partial break. Hold up. My thing, my my biggest concern, my biggest question about how this whole thing is going to play out is how far into the woods do we go? And now that Wings has stepped away for a minute, I would like to hike him <laughs> as far as we can take him the, on day one. Day two, we get up bright and early, take him that far again. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be two of right. his days of walking in the woods. Through my days? Yeah, yeah. I want to be. I want to honestly, <laughs> honestly. I want to be at least. I, I, if it were, if it were up to me, if it, if I were like you know Sergeant Kyle and I was making the decisions here, we'd go ten miles in, and we get all the way to the, like the true wilderness area that they've got there. See, I don't think that um, that it takes that much. Okay, if it doesn't, you could go one mile in. Yeah, I think you'll go. Fine. I think because my idea was three to five. And I think that's as long, as deep as you need to go to okay. not see anybody. To feel like you're out there alone. Yeah. I want to be fucking silent out there, no traffic. I want to scream and have nobody know. Yeah. I want wings to scream and have nobody know. Mm. I want wings to squeal and have nobody know. 
You know, du- <laughs> that duct tape turns no, no, no into mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you I got the loudest call out of everybody here. <laughs> the loudest scream, you mean? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't scream. You don't scream will carry very well. You gotta have a almost like could a you, holler. Could you step away from the mic and and like maybe even stand up and give us the loudest like like if you were if you had to make the most noise as possible to like signal a ship to save your life? I mean, I can do it from here. You want me to do it from here? Look back here. Yeah, I want maximum volume from you right now. Let's hear this. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> what was that? Okay. All right. I, so I, I, like, like, what? Did you know it was going to be that southern? I didn't either. It's like a rebel yell, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel like he's like right behind Rob, like, like like Stonewall Jackson running up a creek somewhere in Tennessee fighting okay. the blue coats off. <laughs> oh, now he's about to be a suicide bomber. <laughs> yeah, you're you're getting dangerously close to jihad. That, that, that's uh what we used to do in when we were raccoon hunting because you get separated sometimes. So you, you just got the carries. woods doing that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the dogs responded to it too, bud. That's what we taught. I bet. Because <laughs> Bud would go chase the coon and like you 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 lose sight of him, so you just do that noise and he come back. This is going to be such a fucking disaster, such a shit show when we get out there in the wilderness. I'm really looking forward to this. You're going to be what? drowning in water, though, I promise. <laughs> yeah, as long as we got water and we got to find our way fucking out, I'm happy. All We're right. Cut. Getting out's no big deal. I want to find some plants that we could eat. I would. I wish I knew the difference between the poison mushrooms and we need to, the I need to ones. study up what, what poison ivy looks like in Uari. I'm with you on that one. I'm actually, I'm, some people in the South in particular, I didn't even know that being like invulnerable to poison ivy was a thing. And then I moved down here and it seemed like more than half of the people were like, yeah, I don't get poison ivy. Like they're, I looked at them like they were superheroes. Everyone I know gets poison ivy. I get poison ivy. You know my dumb ass, I'd wipe my ass with poison ivy. Yeah, poison ivy. And I, I go, I used to go off-roading a lot, right? So what you do is you'd stand like off to the side of it where it's safe and you'd have poison ivy issues. It's one of the reasons I'm bringing wet wipes, so that I can... It, it reduces it a ton if you can clean your legs. But, um... Uh, I need to be able to identify poison ivy so I don't, like, set up a shelter in it. Hmm. Well, poison ivy's pretty easy to pick out. Well, people 15, say that? varieties in South Carolina. I'm not one of those people that's good at it, though. Like, like oh, yeah, poison ivy's easy. It's the one with the pointy leaves and it's green and the little red. And then I get out there and everything looks like it to me. Anything shiny you want to stay away from, pretty much. And it also it True. also sucks if the bush is deep enough that you have to push your way through leaves, and you might just get it on you regardless. I will definitely spend a little time identifying poison ivy, and the shiny thing that Joe wants. I remember so the shiny. Am I the only person that's going to bring a machete? Yeah, I thought Kyle said he's bringing a sog one. I just didn't see the use of a machete. What, what do you What do you think you're going to be doing with it? Cutting down trees to make a shelter. Little baby trees. He's bringing an axe or hatchet for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm I have extra hatchets. A gun, ammo, wet wipe, small shovel, a bedroll, and that's about it. Oh, chapstick. Because fuck you. I want my chapstick. <laughs> yeah. Chapstick also is edible, so you can eat it. I'm not going to eat my chapstick. No, I'm going to put it on my lips. That's how I use it. Do if I thing. don't have chapstick, especially if I'm outdoors like that, mine just get, you know, they scab over. They, they're just bleeding yeah. and they get rough. Exactly. And I don't know how long it would take to acquire cat oil in the wilderness, so I'm bringing chapstick. I have a new topic. Is it time? Okay. Or yes, should we keep we, going? We it's totally unrelated. Somebody will get that book of Eli Joe. Joe, you can skip this one if you want. A UFC fighter. His name is Will Chope or Will Choop. I don't know how to pronounce it. Joe, do you know how to pronounce his name? Uh, he's just Chope, I think. Will Chope. Um, he was all set to fight. He made his weight, I think, and it was like the day before his fight was ready to go, and he got cut from the UFC because five years earlier, when he was 18 years old, he um, did something, like physically assaulted his wife, and they're divorced now, and uh, and it's over, and I, I, guess, I guess it was just trying to come to terms with what the right thing to do was like so apparently he's on good terms with his wife now they both look back on it she's supporting him throughout this thing i guess she doesn't want to be married to him 
but she also feels like like look that was a long time ago we were kids he's 23 now he was 18 then and anyone who's who's been through that knows there's a, a whole lot of growing up that happens at that time and uh in the ufc cut him they, he got fired from the ufc because they as this is the tweet i have it in front of me the ufc does not condone behave condone behavior of this note of, i'm sorry the ufc does not condone behavior of this nature whatsoever so guy got cut from the ufc for striking his wife or something at 18 years old and now I, he's a pro fighter i think there was a little more to it i, I heard that he assaulted his wife and he held a knife to her throat what I heard. What I heard. okay I guess huh. it was a while ago. You know, I guess she did tweet or posted something on Facebook how, like, you know, people need to move on or something like that. Um, yeah, still... and, and apparently, the, so that was in the report, but, like, he and his wife both said that that report wasn't really accurate. They didn't tell you which part was inaccurate. Yeah. I I, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's tough. I mean, I know as, as any kind of fighter or anything like this, we're always going to be under extra scrutiny about anything violent, violent related. Uh, that anything related with violence, you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. if he, if I go and get in a fight tomorrow, I'm going to be looked at in a harsher light than someone else. So we kind of have to realize that's going to go on. It happened a long time ago, but he still got that association, you know. And the last thing the UFC wants is going to be, you know, saying yeah. they're letting someone, they're employing someone that, you know, held a, a wife to his pregnant wife's throat or something like but that. But don't they, didn't, don't they, like, let War Machine fight? No, well, they got rid of War Machine. And, and they've gotten rid of a lot of people that have had, you know, issues. They've kept uh, a couple, too. Uh, who have they kept? I don't know. Who have they kept? Um, I'm not disputing. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think. So, John Bones Jones comes to mind. He's drunk driving uh, with two Ramp women in the... Bay. Rampage. Rampage was. I was going to call him out next. They kept him. He was drunk driving, went crazy or something. Um, gut. I can never pronounce this guy's name. Gustafon. Right. Gustaf Gustafson. Yeah, he's like an ex felon who beat up guys outside of a bar or something like that. I, I didn't. I didn't hear about that one. Um, let me Google it. If you want accurate stuff, painkiller already is not your place, et cetera, et cetera. So wait, was this guy, like, did he just become a UFC fighter, or has he been a UFC fighter yeah, for a No, while? I think it was his first fight, so I, I believe it was his first fight. Oh, okay. Because no. if it's not his first fight and he's been pro for a while, now all of a sudden UFC's finding out about it. you got to ask, well, why did you miss it the first time? Yeah, but he had one fight in the UFC. He lost to Max Holloway. Well, I, I think what happens a lot of times is... You know, the, the UFC doesn't do, like, a huge thorough background check on, on every single one they employ. You know, there's so many guys that they, they bring in to fight. Uh, you know, so I think that uh, the order of events was, I think, he weighed in. Everything was fine. The night of the weigh-ins, someone ran an article. I don't even know who it was. But someone ran an article talking about it. Uh, I saw it on Reddit, that, uh, like, Friday night. And then Saturday morning, you know, they, they told him, you know, so he was... Gustafon, I'll pronounce it like that, had a troubled youth which led him to ending up in fights as a teenager. He was convicted of it for the first time when he was 15. As an 18-year-old in 2005, he was sentenced to prison for aggravated assault, once again as a result of fighting. In 2006, he turned his life around. Uh, there's, And that guy's been kept around? Yeah, that guy actually is... Um, he's getting a second title fight, I think. Oh, Dana White, you just stepped in some shit. Well, there... And then there's a thing, like, so what um, Will Chope did was against a woman, whereas this other guy did it against a guy, and I'm not sure, like... Someone on Reddit made this really long post that everybody upvoted, and they said that, you know, against a woman is especially bad. This is a person who can't defend herself. This is a person who, you know, is totally outmatched in terms of strength and etc. and that. But... Everyone loved it. They're like, yes, absolutely. Violence against women is a horrible thing. And it is. Don't get it all twisted here. But the thing is, against professional UFC fighters, we are all women, with the exception of Joe here. <laughs> you know, like, but Joe is a professional UFC fighter Yeah, himself. exactly, right? Yeah. You know, but, but if it's me against Will Chope, if it's me against Gustafun, if it's me against fucking Ronda Rousey, I'm the girl in that fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I... It's I I don't know that like what Gustafun did was any less taking advantage of like a huge skill gap and, and physique gap 
than what Will Chope did. I have a question. It, it's a uh... It, it, it's kind of a different topic. It's a totally different topic. Um, so I just found out that I can hunt in North Carolina with a silencer. <laughs> Does anybody have any uh, complaints against me bringing a silencer as well? No, I don't. I mean, that's actually better. I'll leave I the think it's only really polite. I, I think it would be cooler if I, if I made a silencer for the trip. What if I make, like, a homemade one? I think that would be against the law, then. No. no it, <laughs> I think I, he's a... Uh, no, I, I, I'm allowed to make silencers, so... What are you going to do, like, the Mountain Dew bottle with the duct tape? I would no, take something no, I'm reusable. Take some, mag light? Some, yeah, I can make one out of a mag light. Uh, I can make one out of um, out of just some aluminum that can weld up. I'm, I'll make one for the, show, for the show. I'll make something fucking will, something rugged. I, I, think you should I better see at least one post on the PK subreddit calling for an end to survival talk because we've had ISP talk banned, political talk, religion talk, all this shit that we're not supposed to talk about, and this entire <laughs> show has pretty much been survival talk. And I know you guys are talking about it. You guys we're are talking about it, and that's great, and it makes for great shit. I'm, part of this trip. I'm just talking. I, I just, you know, if people are going to want to be like, oh, listen to me when I say things, well, uh, here's oh, well, something well, else you better bitch about too, motherfuckers. Well, oh, there, right. There's a video I found that you should see this huge fish he caught with this like Indian trap. These things and their things are easy to make. I was, I, I was telling you those those Indian fishing traps look really easy to make. You just cut off stakes and drive them in. He didn't even cut them off. He broke them off with his hand. He made yeah. it in like five minutes. Oh yeah, I saw a guy build a complete like crazy lean-to shelter the other day with no cordage or tools whatsoever. He just peeled the bark off of trees and used it as rope. Yeah, dude, but they check it. Click on like four minutes and thirty seconds. He caught a fucking big ass catfish. Do we need a whole new topic? Yeah, we need a whole new topic. I, I'm sorry, I didn't want to get back into survival talk. I just wanted to to see if I could bring my silence to. That's all. <laughs> we'll probably touch on survival talk again. I'm excited about it. I it have doesn't too. dominate my life. It actually only occupies a small part of it, but it dominates it's like my when, thoughts. It's like it's like Christmas when you're a kid. That's how I feel. Yes. It yeah. doesn't take my whole day up, but when I think of it, I have happy thoughts. <laughs> What's something that we would probably hate you for? It, could you expound uh, upon I mean, that? I mean, like, like, like if I you knew about me? Because yeah, I don't think it, anyone wants to share. Fuck. <laughs> if there was something we knew about you that, that, that we don't know now, what, what is it about you that would make us hate you? You pretty much know most of the things about me. Yeah, that, that's my challenge, I too. I am absolutely fucking sick of survival talk already. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Who cares, you bunch of grown-ass man-childs going out in the fucking woods? <laughs> stop talking about it. Jesus Christ. And stop filling you? up the Skype group chat. Mother of fucking God. <laughs> How many fucking survival videos can you people watch? So many. I've only made so one, many. and it did well. There you so go. There it is. More. That's mine. I have yet to be... Gun. I have yet to begin watching survival <laughs> videos. You guys, have... this is the this is the start of. Oh, the we lefty. don't we don't hate you now, Lefty. Now we just now we just wish that you were more manly or 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 <laughs> less intellectual, so that you felt like you needed to prove some manliness at least to yourself. That's all. I'm I'm just saying, Lefty is the only one here that doesn't have a truck. Maybe I'm this is part why he's a woman. star. Okay, I'm I'm made of a star. I'm manly enough as it is. Okay, but so is my desk. Yeah. So is not I didn't, I didn't. We don't have to talk about that. That's just uh, that's uh, semantics. <laughs> I'm part star, basically. Did you watch the new Cosmos? Uh, I'm watching it while I work out. I don't watch it while it's live. I just watch it. You know, in, while I work the out. third episode of Cosmos is about Isaac Newton, and um, and it, it it talks about his life and also um, Halley's, uh, mm -hmm. the guy for whom Halley's Comet's named after. It's really good, and I'm I'm glad that science is on TV because I feel like. The people who normally are watching Fox programming are just a little bit too st stupid. I feel like Americans are getting really stupid, and we're, it, it's to the point where like we're losing ground on other countries because, on average, a German person is probably smarter than we are, and it's good that there's some science on TV. Maybe some of you fuckers will get inspired and do something other than make fucking YouTube videos. Maybe you'll be an engineer and do something cool. Am I the only one that doesn't like that show? And I love oh, it. man. I can't, I can't, I've tried to watch it like three times. I can't get behind it. It's too inconsistent. You get animation, then you get Neil deGrasse Tyson, then you get this other thing. It's just like, it's, it's tough for me to get into it. I don't know. I, I, I really have a passion for it. I, I'm I'm really... the, are all the episodes the same? I only watched the first one, but I tried like three times. There, I just... there, 
They're the all second different. one doesn't have a lot of animation. It doesn't have that cartoon thing. And I can I can get behind that, Joe, but I would prefer that to, like, shitty reenactments. Yeah, I like that animation. I like the style of it. I hear that. I don't know. But I, but I mean, but I can understand though. Well, I, I, you know, I'd rather hear hear Neil deGrasse Tyson lecture for you know an hour than see animation. Yeah, but I, the I, second I one is light on animation. I could, I could watch, like you said, I could watch a video of him talking for an hour, like no problem. So, but That's the cool. thing is that these videos and they're they're totally a direct um, attempt to educate the masses on some things that they're not very well educated on. They're trying to explain evolution in a way that can be easily understood. They're trying to explain the Big Bang Theory in a way that can be easily understood. They're trying to break down and talk about how uh, re religious um, religion has stifled science throughout the years and point to how it still does today. And in the last one, there was even a quick little bit about um, marijuana legalization. There was this quote from, um, from um, Cook, I think, like an ancient, uh, a scientist from the 1400s that was, you know, he, he said the only danger from marijuana was laughter or something like that. So, so it was there, Robert Hooke, wasn't it? Yeah, Robert Hooke. There you go. Yeah. I'll, I'll but, try to... Who I didn't know was that much of a bastard. Fuck you, Hooke. I didn't know... Yeah, but he, he was such a cocksucker, there's not a painting left of him today because Newton... Because <laughs> he, he kept trying to rip Isaac Newton's shit off, kept trying to steal it from him. Isaac Newton ended up being, you know, the man in charge. He burned the guy's fucking paintings. There's no image of that man left. And he was a pretty good scientist. Despite his, you know, trying to steal things from Newton. Mm -hmm. they I don't just know, the cosmic the, thing was so cool. That oh, was, it was such a great explanation for these Nimrods out there who who, who think the Earth's four or five thousand years old or something. Well, I just couldn't. I've always had a tough time wrapping my brain around the idea of hundreds of millions of years and billions oh, yeah, of years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, ah, what? We, okay, so in a year, we only existed within the... If, if the universe... It was the last minute, I think. Yeah, like the last minute or 30 seconds. Like, oh, okay... Wow. Yeah, if the if the entire life of the universe were expressed in a 12-month calendar, we would exist on dis, you know, uh, a minute till midnight, December 31st. Like we're the, we're, that's that's how tiny our existence is. And that was that was he put it so well. It was it was really good. I like the show a lot. And and more so than just my general enjoyment, like I said, I feel like it's doing a general good and perhaps educating and or inspiring young people who are out there watching Fox who normally aren't getting that because they when I don't know about when you watch it live on the air but when I buy it on Xbox video and there's like a pre-roll trailer with Fox's other programming <laughs> and like one of the skits is like a family guy skit where Peter is giving Meg CPR but he's actually blowing on her nose instead of her mouth and she's just <laughs> screaming out of her mouth and I was like okay so that's the alternative to this it's, you know <laughs> Although Seth MacFarlane's the executive producer of this thing, so mm -hmm. kudos to him. Great guy. You guys need another topic? Yes, yeah. we do. Sure. Have you guys seen that uh, that video of the guy with the road rage flipping the girl off and then instantly yes. crashing his truck? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What a judge. I've always wanted that to happen because I, I, I drive. I, I, I'm a lawful driver. I don't speed. I follow all the traffic laws. And I can't stand assholes like this. You run into people like this all the goddamn time that can't fucking stand it. I don't understand it either because I'm always at the same red light with them regardless of how much faster they're driving than me. Every goddamn time. I, they'll get ahead of me. They'll be almost out of sight. Then they'll hit the red light and I'll be right there with them. Are you sure there's not like a confirmation bias happening there? Like maybe you don't notice the times you're not at the red light next to them? Uh, either way, they're cutting minutes off their trip and they're, ris and they're just... Be risk, they're risking a ticket. Like, why the fuck would you risk a ticket? I don't understand it at all. I get, uh, I get a lot of people, you know, in residential areas, you know, where we're talking 25 miles an hour speed limit, that are that are getting like a little bit too close. Like, what the fuck do you have going on in your in your life? And I just brake check them. Fuck it. Fuck you. I don't want to brake check because I like my vehicle. I don't want to wreck it. No, 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 not slam. But you give a little tap so that the lights light up. You know, I like and you to slow down really a bit. Fuck with them. <laughs> like, especially if I'm in a vehicle that I don't care Kyle, about. Kyle, you're the much. person we're fucking with, though. Dude, no, 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 no. When, when no, I'm uh, Kyle, you don't ride people's asses. No, dude. because, no, I, I try no, to because stay because he's he's fine. No, yeah. I'll, I'll ride up, like, like if they're doing, like, 60 in the, sl in the fast lane, I'll come up on them, and then I'll fall back to, like, let them know. And I'll even flash my lights. Like, I, I'll flash my lights every time, eventually. I, I hate that shit. You don't go 60 when the speed limit's 70. Everybody's going 80, 85. It's bullshit. 
But I want to hear no, Joe. If, so, if, if somebody's tailgating me, oh, they could get the brakes just slammed on and like almost wreck them. Yeah. Joe, you're in an interesting spot, right? What do you do when you encounter road rage and things like that? Um, so I, I would never speed because that would be breaking the law and not not kosher. <laughs> uh, but I, 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 I have kind of like fantasies every time I'm pulling into my gym. Like I feel like there's always cars. Like there's a couple lights that are right there. And there's people always trying to race, things like that. I always have people like right on my butt. And I'm like, please follow me into my gym parking lot, please. Like, let this let this be the time. <laughs> Put your name <laughs> on the <laughs> fucking gym. <laughs> it, it, it never happens. It never ever ever happens. <laughs> I'm kinda, like I'm glad it doesn't happen, but I'm kind of at the same time a little bit sad that it doesn't happen. I, see, I, I fear I fear that person that comes up to me because I'm just going to take my pistol out and set it on the dash, and I can get out the truck. I don't know. I, th- I think road rage stuff is so stupid. Like, there's really, like, I don't think there's anything someone could do that makes me want to fight them. I don't care if they cut me off, they jumped in front of me. Like, there's, there's very little that I think someone would do that I would actually get in a fight over. Have uh, Have I ever told you my uh, my cousin's road rage incident? No, we haven't. We haven't heard so, this. <clears throat> so my cousin was driving back home from his job. He, it was a pre- It was a rough job, so, you know, every day he's in a bad mood leaving it. It's a factory job. And, um... This uh, this this BMW is like riding his ass, and the BMW like tries to pass him, and uh, they got into some kind of altercation where like the guy felt like my cousin was being too aggressive with the way that he was driving, and the guy starts like slamming on the brakes and really fucking with my cousin the whole way. He felt like my cousin had tried to wreck him, so my cousin pulls over at the next gas station. This guy pulls in behind him, and they both get out. This guy's like older, 60, 65. He's with his wife. And he gets in my cousin's face immediately, and he starts really chewing him out. He's like, and, and my cousin's taking it because this guy's an older gentleman. My cousin's like 25, but it's he, he keeps going on and on, and he's he's he gets to a point where he's being insulting. He he says something like, "Do you know how much that car costs? You can't afford that car. You couldn't afford to fix that. You know how much money I make?" And my cousin's like, "You need to stop, Mister." You need to stop and get back in your fucking car. You couldn't afford. And my cousin just lays the guy out, knocks him unconscious. <laughs> and then he looks down and realizes what he's done. He's like, "Fuck! I might have just killed this old fucker." And then the guy's wife is screaming, "You killed him! You killed Larry!" He's like, "I just snapped." And I went, "Get back in the car, bitch, or you get some too." And I hopped in my truck and sped out of there. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't hear about the guy like dying or anything. So chances are he got up with a nasty headache. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Joe, what's it like to get knocked out with a fist? Uh, I don't know. I've never been knocked out like that. I got kicked in the face once. Oh, okay. <laughs> like that trip never happened. Uh, <laughs> but I've never been knocked out with a punch. What about that, okay, that, that well, black guy that you fall? He got you. He got you pretty good. Dude, so okay, so the kick, the, the if if something like this happened, which it because <laughs> you remember that <laughs> hypothetically, mm-hmm, but hypothetically, mm-hmm. I would imagine it would be something like walking along the edge beside a pool, you know, just like big in ground pool, and then being completely blindsided and tackled, and then you just wake up covered in water, not knowing what's going on, like looking around, like fifteen minutes later. Wow, fifteen minutes later. So uh, no, I mean I was I was I was. Conscious, like I wasn't like knocked out cold, but there's definitely a gap of. I don't, I don't remember your brain isn't recording. I remember, I remember, his, I remember his fist running into you. Uh yeah, I, yeah, I remember him getting punched a little bit, but the the kick was just like I got blindsided. Like it didn't, yeah, wasn't good. Is the same fight was uh, th- was his name Shelton? I got a question. I, I no. kind of want to throw some salt in your game here, Wings, because I see you trying to be a little abusive with our ho- with our guests here, and no, I just want to point out. Abusive. I just want to point out that on the survival trip. We get to reenact the Woody choking, uh, getting choked by wings scenario. Oh yeah! Because oh. we got both up here in the same place at the same time. Can I make a request to this on day five? You want this to be I, on I, day five? You think? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't know that I like this. <laughs> Good, I got more prefer- reserves than Woody does. I'm just getting going. I don't think I can do anything I need to do on day five. I was gonna flip them, and it's not gonna happen. I'll just crumble. Because I don't want to do it on day one. Because first off, Woody, on day five you're gonna be so hopped up on possum meat, you're gonna <laughs> fuck him up. Uh, here, here's the reason. Here's the reason it's a bad idea. Because I thought this was gonna come up. I don't want to do it on day one because one, if you get choked, your throat can get sore really easily. Like you can get, mm-hmm. yeah, like irritated. 
it will suck to survive with a sore throat. Yeah, no cough not, drops either. That would not bother you. Getting choked would not bother your throat like that. It does. I got choked by Jeremy. It does bother your throat. It bothers me like two days afterwards. Where's my? I gotta play that song. <laughs> I, I, I got choked by Jeremy. I'm like, I think everybody here, except for uh, except for you, has, has been choked unconscious. Wings. I I didn't get choked unconscious, but I got choked and it it, it, it unconscious. Your neck. I, no, it's not. It, you haven't done it until you're unconscious. I'm sure it's the same thing unless you just go to sleep. Oh, there's a time where your brain stops typing away and you don't have any control over that. Yeah. Yeah, we need to make that happen. That, I want that to happen. About, maybe, well. Before this topic. By the way, I'll do it anytime, anywhere, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what were we just talking about? The was it the knockout where we were still going on that? Yeah, well, I because I, I the, the oh. bl- I don't remember the black guy's name. The one the uh, you're yeah, thinking he, of Michael Johnson, under- right? Is that his name, Joe? The left-hander? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that was the one in Boston. Yeah, yep. the left-hander. Like, I remember, him, as I was wondering, like, we were talking about getting knocked out, and I'm like, he, Joe said he never got knocked out, but he got hit really good in that fight by that, oh, yeah. that left-handed black guy. Joe was joking that he never got knocked out. Joe got uh, a kick once in a fight, and then who knows what happens in the gym. Yeah. I mean, I, haven't, I don't think I've ever been, like, I've been hit in the gym, like, really bad one time. But that was it. Like, did you just take over after you got hit? Because, like, after that, you you were survival mode for the rest of that round. Oh, yeah. No, I did. I got my bell rung for sure during that fight, in the, the, the Michael Johnson fight. Yeah, and, and he's lefty. He was re- fought a great fight. I, I fought a really bad fight. Yeah, he, he, he crushed me with that punch for sure. In the first and round. And would he still hand you, had you win in by decision? Yeah, no, I, I, like, <laughs> by last I, mean, I, I had that. you up 30 to 24. I don't know what those judges were watching. <laughs> it's like when you went back to the corner the second round. Did like, was there any point in the fight you had sh- you shaking that punch off? Uh, not really. Like I was pretty, I was pretty out of it for most of the fight. Like I remember like bits and pieces of it all, but like it, it was a big blur. Because it kind of seemed like you were con- you like could hear it in the third round because you were actually going for a takedown really hard in the third round to try to win it. Because you yeah, talked- that's still, I mean, a, a lot of that is is not so much like me being there mentally as much as it's you know I've, I've trained and done so much you start to get to just muscle memory and you know my body just knows what so you, you you weren't aware that you were losing by points and you were you were trying oh, to get that, oh, take was, that submission I was well aware I was losing I, I, I knew the fight was not going my way okay. what's but, it like to know that a fight is going your way Joe like yeah. you're killing it like you're like oh I got this guy I got the answer to every question he throws uh, at me it's awesome like my last fight was like that so I fought Mac Danzig in December December 14th Mac Danzig was an ultimate fighter winner right yeah he won the, so I was on season 5 he was on season 6 so season 6 was the next weight class up so he won 170 and uh, so he won the show at 170 uh, black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighting like way before me uh, tons of experience like very 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 good dangerous guy very dangerous guy, and uh, you know, but I, I I beat him up pretty good all three rounds. Uh, I took him down. I probably I popped his arm really good in the first round, and, and like I knew, like it was like a minute and a half into the fight, and I already like you know I, I would I, I think you'd say like I didn't break his arm, but I would say that his arm was broken. You know, his, his arm was not uh, very useful, and I, I beat him up for three for three rounds. You know, and I but I knew I knew right off you know minute into the fight I knew I had his number, and you know there was no way he was gonna win. That was a good fight. <laughs> um, oh, so uh, I, I think it was Nick Diaz who was talking about how much he dislikes fighting, right? Like, it, it, he talked about the moment beforehand. He's like, fighting is terrible. Like, he just he described it as really, really unpleasant, and and no one would uh, want to do this. Phil Sonnen, I think. He, uh, uh, I, I, it's Nick Diaz that I'm talking about, though. I'm I'm certain of it, but okay. But I I, I probably heard Chael say the same thing. I when yeah. you talk about the Rogan podcast. Yeah, the indescribable feeling. This yeah. Is, this is, yeah, it's really good. But keep going. Um, I, I sort of wanted you to expand on that. Like, it, how do you feel before the? Are you like, if, if I was in the octagon, and it was me against some other guy with a similar skill set, like an even match, right? Which is roughly what happens in the UFC all the time. Yep. I think I would have thoughts in my head like, <sighs> do I still have to? Everybody's <laughs> watching. Like. So I'm- uh, I, I don't I don't feel like that, but I definitely have the feeling of like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, why am I doing this? This is the stupidest thing ever. Because I know that I put in a really good camp, but I know the other guy has too. You know, so it's like I put all my energy and effort into getting ready for this next fifteen minutes, and I'm going to someone else's the exact same thing. It's like, what the fuck? 
Do you ever get scared? Is there anybody you've been scared of? No, I, I've never been scared, but I'm in the gym all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I mean, do, do you get scared doing a commentary? You know what I mean? It's like you're probably nervous as hell the first couple, you know, but now once you've done so many of them, it's... I was scared the first time I got on camera. Yeah, so there you go. But I bet, I bet you're fine now. You know, I bet you know. So I bet I did a boot camp at this point, so everybody knows exactly what I look like. So they can't. Yeah. Like, oh, you're yeah. fat. I'm surprised. I, I want to promote King of Cox right now. If you guys aren't watching, they are progressively getting better. Okay. <laughs> I, I agree. Like, like sometimes with the series, the first one's the great one. And then they get, they kind of go downhill. They're literally getting better as they go. If you want to see the best one, watch the latest one. What episode is it, Wings? Four. Episode four. Four. Episode this, four this is one, the this, best one. This one was a little late because of my sickness last week. I didn't get all the proper footage. His grandma pulls out a porno. She talks about what kind of porn she likes. Um, <laughs> Bastard Brooke talks about masturbating with baby oil on his uncircumcised uncir penis. Um... <laughs> um there is some random lady sleeping on the couch. I don't want to insult anybody, but she she's very interesting looking. And, and Wing's mother teases her with like a paper towel or something on her nose, and the lady's unconscious, snoring, telling her to quit. And it's and it's fucked up. Um, <laughs> it, it um what else happens? It, we, they bring the DVD out for the flat chested breast. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and Gangster Grandma tells us that she likes the like the young lesbian porno. Um, it's a real fucking shit show over there. Oh, I got some, I've got some good shit already for next week. I got Bastard Brook pretending to be Rocky in the shower without him knowing. Now I will say this, Wings. I tried to show the video to a friend of mine, and she found the pacing to be such that she couldn't continue through the whole video. So I would recommend that you edit a lot out, and you and you seem to kind of get distracted and go down. Meander, you meander away from like the core subjects. So when you were asking Bastard Brook about current events, you really only had one current event. The rest it, it, were just trivia questions. Yeah, it's it, it, it was based off of I put a Facebook post and those were the ones. Ah, I don't listen to them. They're fucking stupid. They don't know what they want to see. You want to be the producer, about, man? You do it. You well, ask I'm about it's specific, a work in progress. I'm I'm slowly. I know. I'm helping you. We're progressing right now. You want to <laughs> ask about like the Malaysian flight? Where did it? And just ask them point blank. Don't let them be like, "What's that?" Be, just be like. Where do you think that Malaysian uh, flight is? What do you think happened? And do you think they'll find survivors? See, Just straight up, and then a a a they'll they'll answer that question. See, I want to take it a different route though than the questions. Mm. Like, I want to take it to more like real life stuff. Like I want to catch him in, at his job painting and like him not knowing I'm there. I want to like ride in the car and listen to the conversation. Well, I want to I want to see him bitching outside about yard work. The questions are to really peel back the skin and show just how fucked up the situation are, is. Well, I can um, show some fucked up situations. Yeah, that's what Brooke, I want to see. Like, Brooke was drinking this morning on the way to the painting gig. That's great, but I feel like you need to edit a little bit more because there's a lot of minutia in there that can be just taken right out. Because my friend, like I said, lo she lost interest, and she normally likes your stuff. So I think you need to trim out, trim the fat off that thing and get right down to the punchlines. And you can tell what they are because every time one happens, me and my friends go, oh, shit. <laughs> It's but good stuff. Good stuff. I'm loving this. I'm loving the King of Cops. I'm thinking, I'm about, taking, intro. I'm thinking about putting more of myself into it as well. Like, um, yeah. Like oh I'm yeah. Supposed to be going to a birthday party tomorrow evening. You so. seem to be struggling a little bit with the focus, dude. Get the three of you on the couch, sit between them, and fucking have that thing focused perfectly for where you are, and just leave it alone. That way you stay. Well, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to learn manual focus. Like, it's, it's, you know what I do? Like, that it helps up. me a lot. Um. Get a lens that has, well, you probably don't want to get a new lens, but if the lens has measurements, like, hey, this is focused at seven to eight feet or something, set the aperture, if you're having focus trouble, set the aperture between seven and 8.6, something like that, and yeah. uh, just get the distance right. Don't try and focus it by the look of it. Don't try and change it much. Just be like, all right, I have this lens set to seven or eight, and I'm gonna, now I, I'm going to know that I need to keep it I'm sorry, I have the aperture set to 7 and 8. I have the lens set to like 4 feet away. I'm going to keep the camera at 4 feet away. I'm not going to be good at the focus. I'm going to be good at the distance, and that's yeah. much easier. I, I, don't know that. I think the aperture goes only goes up to 5.6 on this lens. It goes down to 5.6. Yeah, so it'll go from 5.6 to like 22. Oh, okay. But I, but yeah, that, I'm, really, I'm, I'm really liking it. I've been digging it. Like, like this party I'm going to go to, if it's anything like last year's party, there's going to be shit I can videotape. And like like last year's party had like lesbian girls kissing and making out in the kitchen and shit like that. Yeah, make that happen, man. Bring some Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> and your GoPro for later. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> but that's for a different I would not episode. put my dick in anything at this party, but, you know, it's still something I'd be wanting to oh, see. Oh, come on, Wings. Don't bullshit us. Okay, don't bullshit so speaking, a bullshitter. Speaking of the thick six, so what's the deal with this new lady? We haven't seen her. What, what's yes, going on? where is she? The, fur- the furniture, I haven't talked to her in two weeks. Oh, shit. Oh. Like I'm, currently, I'm currently talking to another girl right now, but she's kind of scaring me. How so? Let, How let is me she put scary? It out here. She's 30 years old, uh-huh. and she's a virgin. And that's why you're scared. I'm scared of it, and like I'm scared of that. Like I'm, I, like I've never been with a virgin before. Like a virgin. I mean, and like I, I sit, I'm sitting. Yeah, you have I'm wings. You've been with yourself for the first time. I've been you've with had myself, sex. yes, but well, but, but what see, did you guy like? virgin and female virgin two different things. I don't even think she's popped herself with a toy yet. Popped because, herself uh, with a toy, he said. Uh, <laughs> has she had one period wings? <laughs> I haven't asked her. I haven't, I haven't asked her about period. But I'm talking about actually, you know, when you first, when a virgin first pop goes in, there's something that breaks. Hymen, hymen, and I don't think that's happened. I don't think she's ever used a toy. And here's the reason: she used to be really heavy. She used to be like 450 pounds, and she's lost a lot of weight, and she's down to like I think 210. All right. And like, and like, she's never had a boyfriend before, and things of that nature. Like, I don't know what she looks like underneath it, because I know what. I had a guy visit me recently. Um, he was 450 pounds. He went down to 180, and like, what he had underneath his shirt wasn't very sexually appealing. Maybe she would be a really good influence on you. In she that. would be a good influence, and she would she would be somebody that would be willing to walk with me, and somebody that, that can cook and be able to, you know, feed me and keep me eating right. And she would be a very good influence in that manner. But the only thing I'm worried about is the sexual manner, like. I am a good lover, but she doesn't know this, and she will not be a good lover, and she probably doesn't suck dick either. And you know my requirements. If you don't suck dick, it's time to hit the road. <laughs> Maybe it's <laughs> time you revisit that then, Wayne. <laughs> these are the sort of things that I, I've already asked these questions on, like, day five or six. Yeah, actually, no, no, Wings, I wouldn't revisit that. You are right. Lefty is wrong. <laughs> Lefty is wrong. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm looking for life partners here, Lefty. I'm not looking for a piece of ass. Who what? So, what? so she doesn't suck dick now. Every girl ever has had a point in their life where they never sucked a dick. I understand that, not- but see, th- th- I want that point to be like one through fifteen. After age fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> that's- <laughs> not touching that. That's that's out there, Kyle. That's <clears throat> that's all you or Joe. So, or- so left. No. Oh wow, I said Lefty. I meant Wings. Wings. I- I think you should keep talking to this girl. I, I think she'd be a great influence on my life. I do. Yeah, move slow. But at the same time, like, I wonder how open she's going to be sexually. And like, even if sexually happens, like, like I always heard like girls that are virgins cling more. Cling it's, more. Yes, yeah, like they like like it's like a special event. Like you do, you deflower them, you know. You're the pickiest motherfucker I've ever seen. You're the Jerry Seinfeld of, <laughs> of the overweight community. What the fuck is your problem? Fuck this chick in the ass and get it over with. Like, like, what are you, what are you worried she's gonna cling? You just say, hey, look, I'm not looking for a lifelong relationship. Let's take this day by day. Also, I'm just wondering, at some point, I'm interested in a physical relationship because you're so attractive. I think I, I'd like to, you know, maybe know do something with it. I don't know if she's attractive, though, Kyle. I don't know if she looks like naked. You tell her she's attractive regardless. You tell her she's I, I know you tell her attractive she's regardless, but at the same time, like... You, are you afraid it, she's going to... Are, are you genuinely afraid she's going to get naked and she's going to be so repulsive you can't fuck her? You should You should have a pretty good idea. Just because you haven't seen her naked, you should still have a pretty good idea. I've yet to run into that one yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have, Kyle. Remember that girl that came by that one time? and I, And she blew me, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. See, getting a blowy and fucking a woman, or like properly fucking a woman, not just say fucking a woman. Pro- proper fuck? A proper fuck where, you know, you lick her spine, you know, you kiss her asshole, that the whole night. Like a snatch, that, that was the question. Yeah, proper fuck? You know, you, you go down on them, you know, a proper a proper sexual encounter. Okay. It's two different things. I, you know, I could just, you know, get my dick hard and just go to town on it and, you know, put her, put her face down in a pillow. In the pillow. Anybody can do that. Anyone. 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 No one has yet, though, so are you going to do it or not? Stop being a pussy. Come what? on. Oh, my Lord. Come on. Uh, you, you're literally afraid of a pussy. Have you, ever, have you ever messed with a virgin, Kyle? I, yeah, yeah. I, did she cling? No, no, because you're, you're clear with someone before you start any kind of a relationship about what you're, 
uh, at, you know, um, where you think things are going, and as long as you're honest about that, that never happens. I don't know. It, it's got me worried. Like, like first off, I think it, it, let me let me say it. Worried sex-wise, sex is going to take me way too much effort to get the pussy, and the pussy is going to be subpar because she's now has no experience. Wow. So suddenly you're all about the pee. No, 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 no. I'm not all about the pee, but I know that I know that's an obstacle that's going to come with this. So you'd rather have no pussy than bad pussy? No, no, no. If you have no pussy, that gives you opportunity to have multiple times of pussy to line up. When you have a piece of pussy that you just can't get. Oh yeah, how many how many girls you got on the line now, Wings? Two. Besides this one. Oh, there's another one. When is the last time you had sex? Last time I had sex was two weeks ago. Okay, exactly. The last time you saw that girl, that's two weeks ago. Do we have any reason to believe she's coming back? Furniture girl's gone, right? Um, probably, maybe, most likely, yeah. I what mean, do you think's more likely that she's never coming back, or that you're gonna die on the survival trip? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's doing the math. <laughs> He's doing the math. I'm doing the math. <laughs> motherfuckers don't want to carry any kind of safety precautions. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get around a fucking campfire with you, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you going to do? Are you going to fuck me in the ass? I'm not going to do shit to you. You're going to do it all yourself. It's going to be hilarious. It's going to be a great trip, man. What am I, I going to do myself? Seriously, though, you can be entertaining. But seriously, though, with this girl, nah, don't be afraid of anything she's going to be. Dude, she's going to do. Just be upfront with her about what your expectations are. And if you're wondering if she's going to suck your dick or if she's good at sucking dick, ask her. I knew a girl who was a virgin but had sucked a lot of dick and was really good at sucking dick. So maybe the fact that she's a virgin means that she's the fucking A A plus plus cocksucker. Maybe I, she's you, the head. You seen, if you've seen this girl before, she lost weight. You know for a fact she has not sucked a lot of dick. Dude, there's a. I, I know a fat chick in Florida that sucked a fat one time. I it got happens. a picture, but you can't show it. Like you can't put it up there. Oh, uh, that's fine. We won't show it. I won't show it. But but. For real, that, that's how you should handle the situation, and I, I doubt anyone else on the call will disagree with me. I bet you won't have a fan out there who's listening to this that would disagree with everything I just said to you there. Nope, Kyle is the uh, the Mozart of getting your there, dick there's sucked. There's the picture. There's the picture. Wings, you also seem to want like two completely different things. You're talking about she can be good for you, you know, she cook and and do all the things she she well, can right, here, about weight loss. She has a great job. She is a she is a doctor's assistant. She makes her own money. She has her own place. She she has she's self motivated and weight loss. Is that her house? She's in right there. Is that her house? It is. All right, you need to latch on to this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. I, she she. Uh, I can tell that 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 yeah. She's lost a lot of weight and her skin may be a little bit saggy. This is the kind of girl who's going to get that surgery within the next five Wait, years. I don't think she has saggy skin. Actually, I looked this, at that and, and came to the opposite conclusion. It's not bad. It's not like atrocious. You know, this, this, it's not going to be. It's not going to be that bad. I don't think. Yeah, when it's you gonna want be a little bit. There's gonna be a little bit there, but it's not gonna be that bad. It's gonna be like you know a girl who might have been pregnant. Yeah, see, yeah. the reason I'm scared is like she's a Braves fan too. So what? I'm thinking like this could be a life partner, Kyle. Okay, and that scares <laughs> you. You're afraid of the commitment. Yeah, hell oh, yes, you, huh? there, there we go. Right. This is what you have to do with Wings Redemption. You have to. This is this is a technique in, in car sales. It's eliminating objections. You have to sit there and eliminate their objections until you can get them to buy the car. Buying the car is him admitting that he's not worried about fucking this chick or her being clingy. He's worried that this is the one. <laughs> so you actually really like this chick? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know yet. I mean, but I can see the I can see the he sees foundation. The potential, he sees this is step I can see one. The, I can see the defining a wife. Of this could be like wife material. Yeah, this is step one to finding a wife. He's at step one, and he's worried about step two. That is a huge fucking problem, though. What is the problem? He has a penis. She is a Christian and a half. Oh man, uh, I'm not talking about goes to church three times a week. She Anal goes to church three virginity. times a week? She goes Sunday, Wednesday prayer meeting, and Saturday, like, extracurricular school. Look, uh, I got... Look, I, I, this woman has a lot of upsides. I think you should corrupt her. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, that's your next so when you, you, start, you know, pop it in her ass and then start talking about Neil deGrasse Tyson and Pendulum. I, I was <laughs> thinking, like, maybe she goes to church so often because she doesn't have anybody else to fill her time. Like, that's something that she does to fill her time. Or she's trying really to repent nice to for all those dicks she sucked because yeah. she's really good at it. <laughs> yeah. go. See, two birds, one stone. So many. All the dicks. All in the face. <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, I, that's a small hurdle. The Christian thing is the. I, I'm sure you. That's should... the biggest hurdle, in my opinion. Yeah. I, it's a huge hurdle because, like, I am. Lefty, you've played Daisy with me. You've heard me go off on my anti-God rants. And don't it depends. Do that around her, man. If you respect her and you would honestly do that, then you don't really Paul respect Sagan her. Right here, I got a Neil deGrasse Tyson probably in the works. Right, no, I, but I, I will. I will say this, like. It depends on how intolerant she is. I don't have a problem with people who are religious at all. I don't have a problem with people who are who are Christians. But if she's intolerant the way that some Southern Baptists can be, that can be an issue. If she's the kind of person who's always dropping some ignorance in the room, that's my that would be my only thing. Get the also, lower wings. also she may want to like wait till she's married to have sex. That that you need to ask questions like that. That's yeah. a question I ask, like, and that's not an inappropriate question to ask someone. That, that is not a, a question that is going to get asked because, like, sex could be bad, and that could be a deal breaker. Yeah, if she's not having nah, sex, somewhere, I, see, I don't that's, know why sex would be bad. Well, well first of all, you I can, think we were saying if she did, if she wanted to wait till marriage to have sex. I, I mean, I'm, married, I'm, more, I'm more like, I'm more, I'm more like thinking about the other girl from from the banker who had the, you know, the the canyon. <clears throat> you like <laughs> the what? I think I'm he's lost. Talking about the tightness of her junk. No, I'm talking about the deepness of the vagina. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm talking I, about getting lost in it and like you know losing an arm. You need a GPS. Yeah, wings. I think you should talk to her and get to know her. Maybe she'll be awesome. Yeah. You, you, I mean, you got to try the milk before you buy the cow. Let's put it out there. Yeah, I, I've literally used that line. I, I when someone was like, I was like, look. You gotta test drive the car before you buy it. I'm not signing on here without seeing some of the goods. Yeah, I mean, like, and, if, and, and like people like, well, sex isn't that big of a deal. Sex is a big deal, especially if you're looking. It, it matters. It does. Cornerstone of intimacy. Cornerstone like, of intimacy. If if you guys don't like excite each other or you won't you don't want to sleep with your partner on the regular, you might not have a healthy relationship two or three years down the line. New right. topic. A yeah, new topic. Disney buys Maker Studios. You know Maker, the YouTube network? Yes. $500 million. Somebody got paid. Were they, were you think they were making that kind of coin to make that back from that investment? I don't know. I think it's one of those deals where, like, sometimes when you have a lot of users, your thing is tremendously valuable, right? Like, I'm, I could go way back and say Netscape. You know, that IPO was crazy <laughs> expensive. Didn't make any money. But they were like, dude, this thing has 500 million customers. That has to be worth a thing. Twitter, right? Twitter's not making any money. Uh, it, they only have just barely started to sort of monetize it. And they can't keep any advertisers because everyone who does a test product on it, you know, they, they buy whatever three months or something, they find that it's not a good platform for advertising, right? If you see a Twitter tweet that's an ad, do you click on it? No. No, there's no engagement from that. Like, no one has figured out a good way to use Twitter to advertise, and therefore Twitter's not making any money. But it's worth a ton, because somehow all those users have to be worth something. I feel like Maker is probably not mega profitable right now, you know, because the content producers take most of their profits. But um, there's so many views, right? They probably get over 2 billion views a month. Yeah, but we run on this before with Machinima and like they had all these views but they were still worthless because they couldn't sell that many ads. Isn't it interesting that Machinima has become like the worthless like Machinima was the one. They were the top of the, the heat. They were the network you wanted to be with. Now Machinima is this like If they would have stuck with the original guys and kept it small they'd still be on top. Um what did Machinima do so wrong? I think they spent a lot of money in places that didn't need to be spent. You know, their content production stuff, that was terrible. Handed contracts out like salary, got a bunch of views they couldn't sell. Yeah, yeah. They, they Their ad team didn't deliver, so they started losing money on, you know, promised CPNs. They, uh, yeah, they were just mismanaged, I guess. Hmm. But makers, five hundred million. How much do you think Shay Carl's worth right now, Mystery Guitar Man? Um, Are those guys he, literally worth like eighty million? He's not hungry. I'll put it that way. Did he gain weight again? Is that what you're implying? 
No, I'm just saying he's not hungry. He's got yeah. money to feed himself. <laughs> <laughs> he can he can have a nice French chef come cook him dinner at his it's house. The, I, everybody who I, I don't know Shay Carr well. I met him once or twice, um, but he seemed like a really nice guy. And everyone who knows him, like the people who know him much better than me, say that he's a really nice guy. It couldn't happen to a better guy. Like he's fantastic. So good. I'm glad that he. Uh, Made good. Made, I, think, I think Disney's getting to become a monopoly, though. They somebody's got to eventually go in and break them up. Becoming Disney is one of those few companies that like owns the world. I, I don't even know what Disney owns, but it, they own ABC, they own ESPN, they, of course they own Disney, they own the cruise ships. Disney is gigantic. Mm-hmm. One of the world's biggest companies. But no one's got an opinion. Makers bought half billion. I, I think it's a bad investment, but I don't yeah, know. They, I, I, I think it's, you know, you're, I don't know, what's their plan? I mean, if they're relying on advertising revenue to, to recoup this cost and make them money, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen for decades. $500 million, even at the height of Machinima Respawn, what, were they, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? What are you getting? When you had, when Machinima had everybody. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the number, but I, the the number thirty million keeps coming to my brain. I heard that somewhere. All right, hmm. thirty million. How long do you need to recoup just buying? That, that, but the that company? was that was mostly Google profits. No Google injecting money into them. Now, I don't think that was profit. I, what does buying makers do for them? Like, what can they do with that? I mean, it, it's they don't own the acts, right? They just own the advertising agreements. Oh, actually, oh. as I think about it, makers has an interesting thing. Like a, so I remember when I was looking at different networks, like figuring out who I wanted to go with next. I don't know if it's true. and It's just painkiller already. If you want accuracy, yada, 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 look somewhere else. But Makers competitors would tell me that the problem with signing with Makers is they own your intellectual property. They own the videos that you make. And therefore, like if you ever want to leave Makers, you have to take a bunch of videos down because they're not yours. Um, that's That would be a contract amendment that that you could have thrown in there. That, that might exist in one contract, but I know for a fact it does not exist in all of their contracts. But I wonder if that increased the value of the of makers for when Disney bought them. That's what we're talking about. For um, sure. You know, like it, they're like, yeah, look, you know, we've got, you know, 100 billion views on videos that we own. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what Disney's buying. I don't know. It, yeah, and we own the acts now, and so... You know, if there's like some series that we could spin into an animated movie, toss to Pixar or something. Hmm. Well, Maybe. we're looking at 500 million. It, this could be a drop in the bucket for Disney. <clears throat> it probably is. Have you guys seen Frozen, the latest Disney movie? No, I haven't. I heard it's one of the best yeah. ones ever made, though. It's. It, I watched it the other night, and I really did enjoy it. And it was, a, it was a movie about two fucking ice princesses, and yet I, I really there were some laughs in it, and there were, and some of the mute, some of the songs were really good. It was a good cartoon. It was as good as any Disney cartoon I've ever seen. It, it's right up there with The Lion King. I haven't seen it. We own it, and I just need to carve out some time and watch it. There's a. Uh, it's sort of like they kind of make it realistic, even though it's like a magical Disney world. So like there's a there's a snowman that talks. But he's kind of realistic in a way that, like, when people see him, they're like, the guy literally says, how does this thing work? And, like, pulls the snowman's arm off, and it's bending. And he, he just, like, takes it back. Everybody's just, like, aghast at this thing. They're just like, how does it work? And he's just, at one point, the snowman's like, I don't have a skull. And he's just really matter-of-fact about the fact that he's, like, an abomination. I liked it. <laughs> the snowman was my favorite part. He was the sort of the, the comedic part. New topic? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. This was an Ask Reddit thing. What are you in the one percent of? Um, I think I'm probably in the one percent best. Um, are, is that what we're going for? Like the one percent best or unusual or whatever? Like the top what? comment was, "I've been hit by lightning," which has happened to less than one percent of the population. Oh, oh. I, I I can't prove statistic wise, but I can tell you what I think. Go on. I am probably the best, you know, four hundred pound obese guy out there in fighting. All right. You're also in the heaviest one percent of people. I don't think that I, there's a lot of people heavier than me. Uh, I'm only I'm only three seventy now, Kyle. On average, though. I mean, there's lots of guys over four hundred pounds. Potentially. A lot of guys under four hundred pounds too. Though. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but I think I think you're you're leaving the one percent. Like I, I mean, I know a lot of people. I don't know that many people that are three seventy. I, I know some, but that's probably a one percent. I, I this is a hard question. I wish it were phrased a little bit differently. I know that's not your fault. It's a low number too. It's like, uh. yeah, like, yeah, like I could easily say, well, I'm in the one percent best uh, Call of Duty players. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say Call of Duty. Call I of totally Duty. am, but that's kind of cheating the question. It's phrasing it in my own way. I um, if if it were in the last month, and there's a video on my channel about it. I participated in a rap battles, and I don't think there's too many forty-year-old white guys that do that. <laughs> Is that a one percent thing? Mm, that, that would no. be like a half a percent. No. <laughs> How um, many dads are in these things? Be a one percent income earner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's obvious out there. It's kind of. Uh, I could say I'm in the one percent of people that can actually make a living off YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I have a million subscribers. That's kind of cool. That's a, that's like a one percent thing, I bet. Yep. Uh, I, I have the. Uh, I'm in the one percent of the sexiest dick on earth. Now you're talking. I, I, I there don't you know go. how that's measured. Go thick six. Well, well, what what, what you do is you, you look at mine and then you and then you judge yours based off mine. Are we gonna see this guy's balls on this trip? Yeah. If you won't. <laughs> No, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. It, when he added, like, added, it really grossed me out. It gets man. a lot weirder in the situation where Wings is actually actively like pulling down his pants like, you want to see my balls? Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to get like a red bug or some shit on my sack. And I'm like, hey, Woody, does this look all right? I promise I, you, it, there could be an arrow in your asshole, and I would not look at it. Imagine this scenario. That's why I didn't go to Kyle. Cause we, Kyle both, was, we both <laughs> pull up to the to the trail entrance of Uari National Forest, right? We've got our kind of pickup trucks and a gravel parking lot. I say, Wings, let's do the choke thing. Within a minute and a half, Wings is choked out, and I've got nutsack pictures. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right up on PKA uh, subreddit. <laughs> you, you 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 realize that I think I think I can take Jeremy now. I'm a lot stronger than the time I did with Jeremy Cho. And I think Jeremy. that's adorable. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> and I fucked up on Jeremy. I did. I, I I said I was gonna do shit and I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I was worried about balance being off balance, so I, I didn't get the time to get the actual scissor implanted on him. Wings. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. it's yeah. like him? this. A new phrase you should come up with is, "It's gonna be what it's gonna be. We're just gonna see how it goes." Yeah, because you end up saying some stuff that's hard to back up sometimes. Because Jeremy is a pretty superior human being when it comes to strength. He's in the one percent of strong people. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. I'm willing to try most shit when most people most people won't be. Like I, like how many four hundred pound guys would be will, willing to even go on this goddamn trip? One percent. One percent. I'll try anything once, except anal sex. Because I've I've had a, I've had a. Um, I had um, the fingers from your grandma. No, your butt. <laughs> the fingers, fingers, and animals aren't aren't that bad. But you but had that though. The, the, I, I have had that. Just admit that happened. Yeah, you had somebody <laughs> finger you to get poop out of your butt. <laughs> Confirm <laughs> it happens, so the new but, uh, listeners know we're not just. Fucking I used around. to have a thing called anal. I used to have a thing called anal piles or piles. Polyps. 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 Yeah, and but I didn't know it at the time. And what happened? I I started pooping blood, so I had to have a. Um, I had to have stuff injected into my in my uh, my bowels that kind of glows so they can X-ray, and they had to stick this thing up your ass and shoot liquid in your ass, and like that was the most awkward and uncomfortable thing so I've ever done. So you had a barium enema, huh? Yeah, and uh, and like <laughs> that right there solidified that I was not a gay man. I I did I had no enjoyment whatsoever out of that. <laughs> you, you think know, gay people like that? <laughs> but they have they they want it. That's to I me. Mean, I guess it, I heard I heard a gay comedian the other day, and he and he made this point. He said that straight guys always compare gay sex to like a, a prostate exam. He's like, what woman ever compared sex to you know going to the gynecologist? Like it's it's just a. They, he made that point. So you never know, wings. Maybe you should give it a chance. Maybe I'll, that I'll... maybe that is what would seal the deal with this new lady. If you would like show her that you would give your virginity to her in that way, then perhaps <laughs> you would be more comfortable with you taking well, her. Yeah, well, let her, let her just have a making a lot of sex like, here. I'm you sure penis is a lot more gentle Wings, than like a You got some sex toys laying around. I know you do. I do you not. Know. You do. I have that sex bag that I was given at one time. Yeah, full of the sex toys. But none of them were dildos. 
Well, you can go get one then, man. Oh, that chick's probably got one. I, can, I know you keep saying. Oh, she that. just said I don't. She says she's. She says she doesn't have sex toys. You're you're meandering again. I'm not meandering. She's getting she away from the toys. point. The point was that she had a sex toy, and I'm saying she's told me she didn't have a sex toy. It's not meandering. Mm. Okay. Um, All right. Let's, let's see. Oh, one percent of Lefty. Did you do a thing? I can't think of anything. The only thing I can think of is. I survived a three-story fall. <laughs> That's, That's definitely, that definitely. Works. People, not many people have done that, I suppose. You're on a you're on a very successful podcast. Yes, Painkiller Pain Ready is probably a top one percent podcast. It is. We were the we we destroyed Podbean when we were on it. Like we were the yeah, top we were always the top thing. Yeah. And like I, I, I got excited when we were going up through it. I'm like, all right, we just got one, two, or three more guys left, and we'll be on top. Two guys <laughs> left, we'll be on top. Yeah, we're bigger yeah. now than we were then. We just yeah. don't do pod bean. What do you think? Of, oh, what about that guy? Somebody sued Apple, saying he owns podcasting. <laughs> he sued um, Adam Carolla. Yeah. 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 They're uh, they're taking him to court though. Corolla is? Taking him to court. Yeah, Corolla's taking him to court. Don't mess with Corolla. He's a rich bitch. Yeah, he's raising money, actually. He did, He did like, a, a, a fund anything or Indiegogo something. I don't remember which one he used. He raised money. He was promoting it on the Howard Stern Show to go back after these guys. Get some, Adam. For, well, wait, what are the guys actually doing, though? They're patent trolls. Um, so um. basically the way Adam Corolla explained it is they, they purchased the patents for certain technologies that in one way or another allow podcasting to be a thing and so they just go, they just went after some podcasters and say hey we're suing you for you know using our using our patent improperly for this amount of money and they and that's their patent that that's how they're being patent trolls it's absurd but they're taking it to court and they're trying to extort money out of him it's ridiculous yeah it's, yeah yeah we'll see i hope he wins I hope he does too, because if he doesn't, it sets a really awful precedent. Yeah, yeah. well, courts haven't been haven't been particularly kind to patent trolls. I don't think. Have they? No. Nah, it seems like lately I've been reading all these stories where patent trolls are getting shot down. It's not going the way they wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. I've been watching the Stern Show a lot. It's that's that's one of my favorite daily exercises. It's when I get in the car and I'm, I'm on the Stern Show. George man beats up teen caught showering with his stepdaughter. Oh. <laughs> it took a minute to process. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Woody, would you beat up a guy if he called him in the shower tub? <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Would, I, you, I would, would you get the so. Like how would you do it? Without, yeah, without being you know, without being too silly here, what would you legitimately do to that kind of guy? I uh, I mean let's just say he's her age. Yeah, I think that this I like I, I legitimately do like I don't think I'd break him or anything, but I <laughs> I could imagine like grabbing him by the hair on his head, smacking him into the wall, asking him what he was thinking, you know, holding him. Nah, he's naked. He didn't really hold him on the ground. It's awkward. But uh, <laughs> Woody's all like, "Oh, you seen this part of my house? Let me show you some other things. Here's my wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the Here's the stairs. <laughs> Here's the toilet. Have you seen the basement?" <laughs> Yeah, I mean that that kid would would not be doing that here again. He might not want to ever come to my house again. He might want to break up. That would be fine with me. It, it, it would be a. She is not old enough for that. Not at all. Word what, to the wise. What if they were stay just showering. Yeah. As I've been like, I would be so afraid. My guns to, like a dozen times today. <laughs> I would be so afraid to date Hope if I were her age. It would be such a scary ordeal. As what you is, what be. is the real scary dad? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's a. Yeah, I probably shouldn't talk about. It. Hope wants to go out on a date, uh, unchaperoned, right? So the first step how, in. Go on. How old is she? She's fourteen. She'll be fifteen yeah, in June. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's no good. Not that she's fifteen. Not until she's fifteen. Is that the, we? Um. I'm, I'm, I'm that that would this. be that would that would be my decree. I'm gonna point this out. Girls are generally start sexual activity. At oh 12. God! See wings. You can't. <laughs> Girls don't generally start sexual activity and at one 12. Time, man, dude. How old is the other kid? How old is the boy? Now, that's a thing. He's 16. So... No way. Nope. Nope. 
No uh, way. 16 and 15 is no good? 16 and 14 is no good. Well, but she'll be 15 soon. In he's June. barely 16, and she'll be 15 in two months. Yeah, well, they're like a year and six months apart. Like six weeks. Tops. Oh, a year and six weeks. No, 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 no. Uh, in oh. six weeks, she'll be 15. Okay. I'm tr I was just trying to determine his exact age. Yeah. And I... I... He's like a grade older. There are other the things I know grade. about this kid that make him seem really nice. Like, uh, uh, I know some of his hobbies. Uh, he, he seems like a really morning. nice guy. Woody, I'll bet parents loved you when you were going out with girls when you were younger. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll bet you were still trying to be your daughter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Woody just really went to town when he was about 15 or 16. I thought Woody was a late bloomer. I thought, I thought I remember hearing the story. No, I remember Woody like going to town on all the vacationing girls in the, in, uh, in that New Jersey town and like being able to like go from one to the other because there was such a steady supply of them. That was at 17. The summer that when I was 17, I um, I, yeah, oh my gosh. I date a couple girls at a time. I would, uh... Oh. I, I can I had this term. It was disposable women because they were like they would they would come on Saturday and they would leave on Saturday and they like they were just in these rental homes and uh, it, like nothing mattered. You know you know like you date a girl in high school and suddenly like you know she's on your like record your permanent record. You know he used to go out with her. Um, what she says about you or, you know, might impact or what people say about you might impact you know who your next girlfriend is. None of that exists in Ocean City in the summertime. In the summertime, there are girls that you can date, they're on vacation, and then they vanish, and you never see them again. You don't even have to give me a real phone number. <laughs> so, so, and you were a few months older than this kid, is what you're saying. <laughs> I was a year older than this kid. You bring up a good point, Joe. You bring I mean, up a good point. At, Joe, did you see what Woody typed in the chat, the, the things about the kid? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I like the kid. Yeah. And in spite of those things, uh, I saw his Facebook profile. And uh, at the risk of going all pedo, he's cute. All right. Got a yep. good-looking guy here. So you've got a good-looking, smart guy with those characteristics. And they, I like they, they, it. There's only so much dating they can do. Like, she wants to go on a, a date without, like, a chaperone. And, um... Uh, Does he have a car? Yes, but uh, he's not old enough to drive without like like with other kids in the car like i think in north carolina you need to be 17 oh that's to like drive friends around and like do the date thing so how can he chaperone then like can they like go to the end of the driveway like i don't know how that works exactly yeah right like like they're gonna go on he could drive here and then we could drive to like a movie theater or something like i don't that's weak Maybe, Dude, maybe that's the date. Maybe from you the karate compromise. Kid. Does anybody remember that from the Karate Kid? The dating it that horrible weak, date he went on. But you know that's par for the course when you can't drive. You know, with other kids in the car. Shit, I never did that. Oh man, and what that's... did you do? I no, waited no, till I was sixteen no, to like no, go out on dates. Like like before then, like if you didn't have a friend who was older who could drive for you, you know, and do like a group thing. Then there really wasn't any, I'm, or, or you know, you just be somewhere with people. I'm, I'm pretty sure at his levels of, of license, he can drive like his parents around. He can drive by himself. I'm not sure he can drive at night, and I'm almost positive he can't drive with like kids in the car. Oh, that's weak like, shit. Hope. Yeah, yeah. Come so, on, North um, Carolina, you're supposed to be Republican. Maybe, maybe you. Maybe maybe like, like, she's 13 years old. This is what I told Hope. I was like, the first date or two happen at the house. We get to know this guy, and. Uh, you know, and I was like, you know, when you make me brownies, there's a fucking thing called brownie points. <laughs> there's your first date. The, you know, the two of you can go cook something in the kitchen. And, uh, you know, Colin will be milling around and there'll be people and, uh, um, you know, the family will get to know who this guy is. I, I think you should let Colin decide. You let really? Colin hang out with his kid for an hour. <laughs> put it on Colin. No, put him, put him on the Jenga challenge. If he can beat Colin in Jenga. Dude, I can't beat Colin in Jenga. <laughs> Colin is so legit at stuff. You like, you'd be surprised. He's uh, he'll, yeah, he'll but see, you. see, see this. If you if he beats Colin at Jenga, they get a half chaperone date. That I mean, you take them to the mall. They can go to the movies while you and Jackie hang out somewhere else. I don't think Woody. And, never mind. I don't want to entrust Colin's Jenga skills to this decision. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's it's I. Uh... It's tricky. Now, I bet people watching this who might be in this age range are like, Woody, 
Let him go. It's all good, you know. It's it's not all good. I just had a 16 year old sister hooked on cocaine. Cocaine, folks. Hooked on some cocaine. What's the update on that? Can we get her on the King of Cox, man? I really want to hear an update from your sister. Oh man, dude. I, I, I'm gonna try to get her on King of Cox, but like she she is gone half the time. She is 16. She has a car and tits, so she. Wow. Does not stay at the home home that long. Well, well, and tits. well, that's just the horrible thing you just said. But see if you can get her on your <laughs> show. How's that on a the horrible internet? thing? That is the truth. That's I have never, is. I have never referred to my sister's any of her body parts, I, or or admitted they existed. Really, I don't, th- I don't think. See, that's because she's insecure. But the fact is, she realizes <laughs> that she can win boys to her wills and make them give her stuff because she has breasts. Okay. Uh... Do not be thinking about your sister like that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let my <laughs> insecurities play on my. Yeah. Play on my. Uh, See, guys, you must not watch the King of Cox. Titties. Hey, you there's something, there's the King of something Cox. wrong with me here. Jay, the King of Cox brothers, last right? episode, no I talked in front of my mother about how my penis was sexy. Sure did. <laughs> That's the same episode I was describing a moment ago with the other horrible things. <laughs> Joe, you have two brothers but no sisters, right? Uh, I, I kind of have a sister. I do have a sister. She's kind I, of wonder, like I wonder how she thinks of this description of her. Right, so I ha- she's my she's my sister, but she's really my cousin. Oh, okay. So she my she came on when she was like thirteen or fourteen. Uh, her family lives in California. Uh, she came and stayed with us for the summer, and then never left. So she's been my sister for I don't know like ten years. Hey, are you guys close in age? Uh yeah, she's like twenty five, twenty six. Okay. Yeah. He is a fuck. Do, do you know what you, I always do when she brings boyfriends over? I always break out the pictures of her and the walker drooling on herself. Oh yeah, I'm I'm uh, I don't know. I mean, like it, it's kind of it, it's a weird spot because you you want to hate the guy she's trying to you know screw around and date her and all this other stuff. We also don't want her to be the girl that doesn't have guys going for it too. You know yeah, what I mean? Like see, my, gotta find problem, that. the problem with my sister, she dates bums. B-U-M, yeah. bum. See, that's the thing, right? Like, it, it, as a parent, it's difficult to tell who's a bum and who's not because all you get, you know, like the old routine, like, I'm not going to meet this guy. I'm going to meet this guy's representative. Right? I'm going to meet the guy that he presents to me. And he might be, you know, super sweet, polite, respectful guy. And uh, then who knows? He could be wildly handsy, you know, when I'm not around. I don't even, I don't even have to get that far. Oh, you don't have a vehicle? You're riding around in my sister's car? Oh, where do you work? Oh, you don't work? Well, what if he's 16? He's not. They're usually 18. Oh. Where does she meet these bums at? Where do they, like... River landings. River landings? Is that, is that, that, this is where is you launch where we... a boat? Yeah, like river landing where you launch a boat. Some people oh, camp yeah. at them. Yeah, I have. I remember last time I was there, there was... Yeah, okay. There were just people hanging out there. Well, yeah. yeah, because cops usually don't go to them half the time, and then people can bring beer, and they can drink beer and stuff Yeah, they like got, that. like, park benches. It's, like, where people kayak down rivers and shit. Oh, okay, so it's, like, a park. I thought it was, like, a... No, yeah, Riverland. Not exactly. R- River oh. Landings usually have, like, a grill, and there's, like, a little camp area. And oh, stuff. okay. Boat ramp. Yeah. Yeah, boat ramp. Dock. Bums. I'm so, like, Taylor, I'm like, you're, you're, you're a six-year-old woman. You're soon going to be 17. You're not bad looking. Why can't you get a guy that has at least a job? It doesn't have to be a good paying job. Just one he goes to, has enough money to ha- own a car, you know, responsible enough to actually make, you know, you know, a bill payment. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know if you've ever had your sister on your sh- on on screen before, but Wing Sister is an attractive girl. Mm-hmm. She could she could land a, a a good guy. She could land a guy that you know around here. If you make forty thousand dollars, that's good money. Like. That's what it is. In the South, forty thousand dollars is good money. She and could, yeah, she could easily get that. But she she likes guys she can boss around. It's like she likes the the guys that you know she, she has to take them places. She has to thing. They have to wait on her. She likes being the alpha male of the situation. But you can find guys with jobs that like that. I'm assuming. I'm sure yeah. you can, but I think guys it's not just issues. Guys that coke and try to. Get her hooked on coke. Yeah, man, she's like the bottom of the barrel down there. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've said her, told her like, like, dude, your boyfriend suck, dude. I mean, you, you date bums. And she's bringing him to your house, right? You, you ain't gotta pull your damn tongue. Y'all can talk to me. I mean, I ain't like you're worried about you or say something that's gonna offend me. 
No, it's just general no. courtesy. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I can't really add much to what you're saying. She's she's a pretty girl who could pull much better guys, and for some reason she doesn't. And I wonder what's going on between her ears that makes her think, that one will do. Let's talk to him. I, I don't know. She's fucked up. She needs to be on King of Cox. What needs to happen? <laughs> Uh, I'm looking forward to the King of Cox episode. <laughs> I would like to volunteer. Oh, you, should see, you should see the guy. You should see, her, you should see her boyfriend right now, dude. I gotta get him. Can we He's get there. him? Please get him in there too. He has got the biggest goddamn nose. How much you gotta find out? Look, if 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 he says no, offer him twenty bucks. We'll get twenty bucks together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, put, I put it. I put his. I put his like little truck in in the thing. We had, and he had like a beer sprout out across the back seat. I'm like, oh, cops not gonna get suspicious of this. What and kind he's, of truck did he how have? old is this guy? Um, he is 20. Wait, what kind of truck was it? It was a beat-up blazer. That's some bullshit right there. She can pull a better truck than that. Yep, yep, <laughs> shitty truck. <laughs> it, it, it's an older blazer, too. And yeah. Got, uh, it's ugly. Everyone knows old school stuff needs to be Explorer or GTFO? Bronco. Bronco, yeah. Dude, they, those old Explorers yeah, are fucking ever. Dude. <laughs> What about OJ? Have you guys happened to see that? Um, did any of you happen to see that documentary on Netflix about? It's about the day when OJ was like running from the police, like the bron- the white Bronco chase, and not about just about that, but what what everything that was happening in sports on that day. It was like a lot of like major things were happening. No, no. it's a good documentary. There was like Jack Nicholas was playing like his last round of golf. Um, the, the the World Cup was going on, I think, in Chicago, and the president was there, um, and two or three other things happened. I think there was a weird basketball game or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um, it was uh, either championship basketball or um, or division championship basketball. It was it was like the last four or two teams in the NBA. Hmm. And it was all going on while OJ was running from the police in LA. <laughs> that motherfucker got away with that. It's, it's weird to think back on that, that he got away with it, when we all know he did it. Mm-hmm. How yes. do you know he did it? Do you, you remember the kid? Did you watch the case? Because I was a kid, but I, I watched it. I was, a, I was a kid, but the only thing I, I still see Marsha Clark's frizzy hair. <laughs> but the fact is, he was tried by a jury of his peers, and they found him to be innocent. Well, right, in the legal sense, yes, he was acquitted of all charges. He didn't yeah, know. and then he was found but guilty in did. the civil court. Of, of criminal damage. I, I, I'm just and, wondering. And his book, his book, he was found guilty, and so his book, book, which was titled "If, if I Did it. it," it was called "If I Did It," and what happened was that book was awarded to his murder victims' families as part of the civil suit, and they changed the size of the text, so it just says "I did it." <laughs> if it's so tiny, you can't fucking read it. I look at I look at it this way. I can't stand with people because you're he you're guilty shit. and he proven you're, you're innocent until proven guilty. Man. And I can't stand when people automatically want to go lynch mob style on somebody before not they automatically. Trial. I, I I make that judgment after watching like six weeks worth of deliberations and evidence. I've studied the O.J. Simpson case quite a bit. I remember there, literally. I'm not exaggerating. His blood was found at the murder scene, and there and the murder victim's blood was found at his house on his clothes. Like, like, is that? Let me. I'm not familiar with the O.J. Simpson case as well as I should be. Like, what made him get acquitted? Like, what, what was the? What there was, was there was talk of um. So one of the investigators turned out to be a racist, and he'd made all these shitty comments. And also, um, there there was something else that he had done, and it it, it really looked bad. I didn't and like the prosecution. so much. So much oh. of the defense seemed like bullshit, right? Of course, the glove thing that everyone knows. If it doesn't fit, it mm-hmm. must have quit. Meanwhile, he's holding his fingers spread out as much as he can, and he has a rubber glove on under his glove. Of course, it doesn't fit. Um, they were saying that he wasn't athletic enough to oh. jump over, like, a four-foot fence or something. Meanwhile, he had just come out with a, like... Uh, exercise tape on VHS. Now, hang on a minute. Let me just point out. This, I, I know our audience, probably half of them don't know. O.J. Simpson is one of the greatest NFL run and college running backs of all time. The motherfucker won a Heisman. He was a badass athlete. You, He's way above top 1% in athletics. He's top 1% of 1%. One of the greatest athletes ever. And as I remember, the um, the prosecution like really tried to slam dunk the case with DNA which just got way too complicated, like days and days and days of expert DNA testimony when, and that just confused the jury and allowed, 
allowed the defense to to bring in all these experts and the glove don't fit, you must acquit thing. Yeah, I kind of. When all they that. needed was when all they needed was blood. Your blood was there. Her blood was there. Done. No DNA. Nothing that. Cause also, DNA... he had motive. He you know he knew the he knew the area. There was blood in his car. The whole thing, man. And, yeah, and you know oh, the, wait, prior history, the real right? backstory is there, that there OJ... been a bunch of nine one one calls where he was beating his wife before. Oh yeah, he'd beaten this woman up before. And now I will say this: I don't know what their personal life was. I haven't looked into it. I don't remember what that what the deal with that was. But this is a woman who divorced him, took half of his money, and then was taking another man back to the house that he had paid for, I believe. Mm. Yeah, Ron so, Goldberg. So so Ron yeah Ronnie Goldberg had the the man that was with her. So you can clearly see the motive there. Like that must have driven this guy insane. That that he's. That she's left him, taken taking his money, taking his house and everything, and now she's got this new guy that she's taken there, and then all that evidence. A fucking waiter too. Yeah, a and, waiter or something. Who was Cato Kalin? That was the judge. He was his no. Andy. No, no, that was Cato Kalin was his Andy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> he was living in his pool house. His go-to yeah, kind of judge Cato, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an Asian guy. Yeah, like I remember that. Do you guys need a whole new topic? Yeah, but like, OJ got his got his just dues when he tried. Yeah, when he to, tried to organize an Ocean's Eleven style like raid on a like motorcycle. heist, and he he quote unquote kidnapped those people by telling them they couldn't leave the room. Now he's gone for like what did they give like thirty fucking years for that bullshit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they went nuts. <laughs> That's a long Fuck time. you, OJ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I I think everyone here is pro gun typically, right? Is that uh, mostly how you self identify? Mm -hmm. I'm shaky. <laughs> Lefty. I'm pro gun rights. I don't own a gun, but yeah. Okay. Um, this one might challenge that. So the Supreme Court decided 9 0 decision that if you've ever been uh, found guilty of a misdemeanor charge of domestic violence, you can't have a gun. That you can't have a gun if a misdemeanor charge of domestic violence. And I saw that and I flinched as soon I literally flinched. And I was like, oh. It's, because it just seemed like too much. It's one of those corner cases to me. Like, so a mis this includes pushing, grabbing, shoving, slapping, and hitting. Now, some of these more significant things like hitting, you're like, well, domestic violence, hitting, do you really want to give this guy a gun? And we're not talking about a wife beater. We're talking about like an animated conversation that got out of hand, and the police got called by a neighbor, and now you got... Even though your girlfriend's like, no, no, we were just fucking fighting. We, we, you know, we fight like this. You know, they slap you with that charge, and you're fucked, and you can't have a gun from them. You on. shouldn't push and grab your girlfriend when you argue with them. No, you shouldn't, and I don't. Wait, it's, wait a second. Is right. it if you've been charged or convicted? I'm sure it's convicted. I don't know if I, did I say charged. Let me look. Pleaded well, guilty. Well, women, women fucking lie. Yeah, it, it yeah. says pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor charge, which is why I might have read it wrong. I was scanning. You know, and, and and heck, that guy Will Chope that we were talking about. Apparently, you know what they said went down isn't what really went down, or something. Like, you know, they the details are all wrong. But is the pushing and grabbing and shoving, you shouldn't do that. No, but I don't think you take someone's rights away for the rest no, of their life. No, 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 let me throw thing. a scenario. It's still a there. misdemeanor charge, too. It's not yeah. like like it's a felony. Or, that almost I mean, means I can, nothing to me. I guess I can see the logic, but a misdemeanor charge is it's like a traffic ticket. Fucking pay that shit. Go on about your business. I think hey. I've shaken a girl before. I think I've grabbed well, one by the shoulders and shook her a little. Let me put it this way. Let's say a girl's beating the shit out of you, overhand pounding you in the head. You, <laughs> you take her and you like throw her on the couch. And while you do that, you leave like your fingerprint marks on her arms, and she calls the cops. That's easy and you to do. Hit. And she calls the cops and say you hit her, and you can't prove she hit you because she she didn't leave a mark. And now you can't have a gun. I just I think that's too weak of a charge to to take away something like that. That's a big deal. Well, now what other misdemeanors can prevent you from owning a gun? Drug possession probably is, is next up on the docket because we can't have potheads running around with firearms. A DUI charge? Pro DUI makes sense. Drunk alcohol and guns. What about banned. driving around drunk shooting shit? <laughs> so that's a worst case scenario. I I I just don't know. Like on one hand, I kind of get it. I kind of get how like someone who's prone to domestic violence is the last guy you want to arm. No. 
you you don't lose your rights to a gun <clears throat> until you use a gun poorly. Uh, I, so so what if you know? What if he's really beating on a girl, right? He's beating on her, and you know, then he gets a gun and he takes it to the next level. You, you know who is is that? I, that girl's I don't dead think that's a and that's sad. That guy's a piece of shit. But if he, if he's whooping her ass, he should be in jail already and shouldn't have to worry about putting guns in his hands. Yeah, I don't think we should worry about his gun rights any more than we worry about his right to own a car or anything else. You know, it, we punish him for those things that he does, but it, I just don't see how his gun rights are connected unless the crime he committed involved a gun, like armed robbery. Because the ludicrous shit's what they're going to hit. They're going to be like, oh, you grabbed this girl by her arm and she didn't want you to, you lose your gun rights. And there probably are going to be some 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 people that are killed, men, women, whatever, spouses, family members that are killed by guns, by domestic batterers who would otherwise have not had a gun by, because of this ruling, and that's sad, but it doesn't mean that you can just go start chipping away at who cannot have a, one of the fundamental founding principles of our of of our American society and way of 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 law, the, the, you you could, just can't do that. And yes, people will die that could have been saved, probably. Maybe I would I would I, venture that m more times than not in a domestic abuse situation, when one partner is shooting the other, it's the woman who shoots the husband in her in defense. How often do you hear, yeah, he always beat her, and then one night he shot her? Like no, never, never once did you hear that. They're like, yeah, he always beat her, and then one night he hit her with a fucking iron. He beat her to death. That's what happens. Yeah. He's into hitting women. He want he he'll end up beating her to death. That's 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 the the step too far. He's not gonna be like oh I can't I can't beat her anymore. I guess I, guess I better escalate this thing. <laughs> He's not gonna shoot her. My that's beatings true. become ineffective. I need a gun. Yes. He'll at least he'll go to the mag light next. True. Like there, there's gonna be a middle <laughs> ground where soup. you can catch him. Drunk like, husband has used beat. It's ineffective. After he stabbed her ineffective. a few times and or whatever, you know, we'll know to take his gun rights away. Uh, this is a bad law. You oh, really God. need to. You really need to be. You, I or well, I think that they. You really need to be careful, or we need to be careful as society, when we start chipping away at fundamental rights. People who don't and, want to agree with this aren't going to agree with what I say next. But like, imagine if it's hey, you know, your right to free speech is gone because you told a lie, and it's like, well, wait, you know, like. There's different kinds of lies. There's different, like, severities of lying. There's different severities of grabbing. You know, like, it It seems like a litigious woman could, I mean, heck, I mean, I don't even know if he has to be that guilty to say, you know, if, if she goes after him and says, he grabbed me, maybe they'll say, why guilty. else would she say that? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like blanket rules. I don't like I don't like anything where there's under a cop's interpretation. Yeah, that too. That that's a strong that's a strong point. I was thinking of that earlier. You could get a cop who comes over and just doesn't see your point of things, even though you're in the right, and you know there you're done. Yeah, sometimes being anti-man is like the heroic stance to take. You know, like yeah. a cop could walk in through the front door, say, "What? You're beating on her?" and be like, "No, no, no. It's not like that." You know, she hit me seven times. I pushed her away. Oh, so you did push her. I, you know, it, I would like, talk to my cop buddy about something similar because he's been work. He's he works sex crimes right now. And it, we were talking about um, I was asking him, I was like, how often is it that you get false rape accusations? He says most of them are false rape accusations. He probably 80 percent. I was like, no, 80 percent. He's like, maybe 90 percent. He's like, when we go out, we always go with the mindset of, you know, this could go either way, and we're there to find the truth, not to follow any person's point of view. And 90, 80, 90 percent of the time, we find that, in one way or another, it's not a rape, and the woman is, you know, full of shit. He said that that it'll be a situation where, like, she'll have sex with a guy that that, um, and later she'll regret it because he was unattractive. Like a friend will be like, you know, oh, I can't believe you had sex with that ugly guy. And then the girl will be like, oh, he, well, he raped me. And then she'll get, and then her friend's like, oh my god, Amy got raped. And then all the other girls are yelling it, and it just escalates from there. And that, he said that basically that scenario plays itself out many times in many different ways. Do you remember the Duke lacrosse boys? Yeah, yeah. Does anyone Brandon else remember that they were completely 100% innocent? 
Yeah. Yeah. A stripper who had a history of lying about shit like this, and then a prosecutor who wanted to be like governor or something, and so he was like, "I'm gonna make an example of it." Yeah. Yeah. Like they canceled exactly their season, and all sorts of crazy things happened, and those guys weren't even guilty. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's shitty. Shit. And so, so you know, you don't want you know when when a woman yells rape, you don't you don't want to get a you don't want to get the wrong guy. Scenario. You don't you don't I don't want you know you know you don't want that. So you, you know you should you should always look into it. But you just need to go with the, the mindset that you know. So Let's this find is out hearsay. the truth. It's, it's hearsay until we get some evidence. And I know people are gonna cry. You're reinforcing rape culture, et cetera, et cetera. But you know what? You can't or you shouldn't. I don't think you should run around arresting people just because a woman says they were raped. You just shouldn't. No, you can't. Because the not not the, the idea of oh well we'll just arrest them and then and then the investigation will sort everything out and if you're really innocent, well then then you'll be fine because that's a variation of you've got nothing to hide and that's bullshit. And also, that arrested for rape is with that guy for the rest of his motherfucking life. Yeah, bullshit. And if there's one case where it's bullshit, if there's just one guy who has his life ruined because some chick rethought having sex with him and then gets him fucking a rape charge put on his on his his little folder for the rest of his life, then then the whole thing is is for naught I mean, and it's bullshit. I mean, come it's on. Wrong. You don't think I've regretted having some having sex with some ladies? You don't you don't see me going out and saying they raped me? Not once. I don't that. think I've ever regretted having sex. <laughs> I don't think I You know, some girls are like mopeds. They're fun to ride to your friends. I may, I may regret like the, 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 like what I've had to go through to get to that moment. But no, not, not the act itself. Oh, that was terrible. Right. We're but we're here now, so fuck yeah, it. We're here now. While we're on bad police, you guys want to talk about the, the, the good shoot that happened in Arizona? I mean, New Mexico. Oh, <laughs> dead oh. cops are the best kind of cops. That's what I thought when I watched it. The good yeah. shoot, huh? Is that how we describe it? Well, it, that's what the police chief described in the news conference after it. Show me what you're talking about, because I am completely ignorant. Well, I got two. I got, I got two. Is it taken off of YouTube? Well, you're talking about the homeless guy, right, Wings? Yeah, the homeless guy. But here, the, the, the fact is, they shot the homeless guy, and a week later, they shot another man with a cell phone. Shit. The homeless guy I saw, and I don't know if I want to put the video on my video, because I'm you know, I wouldn't. It'd probably get age-gated. Oh, <laughs> age-gated, copyright, etc. But... But I can describe it. Um, they're in what looks like the southwest, just based on like the sort of rocky mountain terrain. And uh, the guy's homeless, and he has like some camping gear, some plastic, some trash around him, etc. And the cops are telling him to come down, and, and they said something. I couldn't quite follow the conversation along the lines of like, don't get stupid, no one will get hurt. And the homeless guy kind of objected to that and you know he's like what are you talking about no one get hurt this is ridiculous etc and the cops by the way have assault rifles trained on him you know like that that's what they, they're doing and uh somehow it seemed like as soon as he was getting uh, like he agreed to go with them and they're like get down get down get down on your stomach get down get down now it's worth noting they're outdoors and the police are like 40 feet away there's the video okay they're outdoors, and the police are like 40 feet away. How long is this video? Three minutes? Yeah. And uh, um, it just seemed like there was a lot of opportunity to like escape. It's not like the video we showed in the house once before where um, uh, you know, they, they, like, they were in the living room. They were eight feet from each other, six feet from each other. And, and it was like, you know... <sighs> And keep in mind, before this, the guy, the homeless guy had been claiming that he was with the Department of Justice and outranked the police officers. Just crazy shit. And now he did say, I'm at a point where I'm, I'm go I, I want to, I'm going to kill you or something like that. I, he used the word kill and he had a knife in he his hand. He threatened the dog. He said, if you send that dog on me, I'm going to kill the dog. Okay. Oh, is that so what happened? He yeah. used the word kill in his hand. He made no movement toward the officers. He stayed stationary the entire Wait, time. Wait, he threatened the canine officer with a knife? Yes, he did. Yeah, he, he had two, like, one-inch blades. That, and they he was a like, homeless man blade. with yes. knives. Mm -hmm. Threatened the canine officer. But uh, While did you watch the other video? officers held rifles? Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I, maybe I should. Maybe I should. This sounds like maybe that homeless guy... Got, got, well, yeah, but here's the thing, the he click did pull the, the knife back out, he had the knife in his hand when he shot them, but as you can see toward the end of the video, he was about to comply, he was going down, he was turning away to get on his belly to comply with their orders. Oh shit, oh thing. shit, I skipped right to the part where he died, let me, let me roll back. It happens, oh, wow. they just keep playing it again and again. Oh. Like the next four minutes are just that scene replayed repeatedly. 
But as you can see, he's he, he, they shoot him in the back pretty much. And I don't know reason, why they I don't know why they shot. And the reason they right. say the shoot was justified was because they they threw the flashbang, released the dog, and then they said the the officer who apparently dogs are fucking police officers now, which what? I mean, <laughs> I love dogs too, but let's get fucking real here, people. But um, they said the be, they released the dog. The dog went after the guy. The guy just kind of <laughs> stood there after the flashbang, and uh, and they said the officer. The officer, the dog, was within you know a, a dangerous distance of a, of the guy with knives. He was so unarmed. Is what they, could. they they essentially did the South Park thing of the real life version of it's coming right for us. So can I ask a dog. question? This is is this a SWAT team or is this regular PD? They they were there for uh, illegal camping. Illegal what camping. the fuck do they have this gear for? Do you know how much these rifles cost and these optics? No these idea. guys are rolling around with like three thousand dollar rigs. Yeah. That, 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 these are these are these are fucking nice ass rifles. That looks like a Daniel Defense M7 over there. Yeah, that 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 EOTech on the top of that rifle is five hundred bucks by itself. Yeah, that little red dot. That's six hundred dollars. The one he's got mounted on his rifle. The one on the side. That little expanding monocular. That's probably another four or five hundred dollars. And but but the rifles are customized. They're, that looks <laughs> one looks like it's SBR'd out. And if you look at the second link down here, they shoot a man on his porch for talking on a cell phone. <laughs> so, so let's do one at a time. I just it it's like they they sent the dog to the guy and then said the dog was close enough to the guy that we needed to shoot to protect that officer's life. The dog officer that is. <sighs> this is not a good shooting. Best. They got silencers too. Oh, by the oh, way. oh, and and after they shot him three times, then the beanbag guy comes in. Three times yeah. my ass. They each shot him three times, yeah, they right? They shot him like three times or something. And then the beanbag guy shoots him while he's laying on the ground twice. like a good four yeah. times. For tw okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. They shot him oh, twice with the beanbag. And then um, and then the dog bites him while he's on the ground motionless, already dead. And starts like ah, snaggling on his leg and stuff. The guy's not moving. And they step on his hand and take the knives out. And It's just, I get that he was a crazy person. He was illegally camping. <laughs> but they were 40 feet away from him, and it wasn't time to open fire yet. No, it wasn't even close. And the the the, the rifles they used, they're, they're, they're super hardcore here. This is ridiculous. This is, bugs me a little bit. I feel like the police have gone from, you know, old school policing, getting to know the people, you know, having friends in the neighborhood that trust you, that tell you when bad things happen, who become sources, etc., to this, which is a military police in the U.S., killing people excited about it right I remember we talked about how every like i guess i'd be lying if i said like some bad guy knocks on my door i've been daydreaming about this killing you know careful motherfucker because yeah it's a scenario you prepare for there's a, a lot of scenarios that you prepare for but but you know yeah there's the carjacking thing and you that'll know, be used against me but uh <laughs> 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 it is a, like, i think kyle said it better this is a scenario that i prepared for if, if a bad guy were to start beating on my front door his odds of survival are close to zero percent i feel like these guys though go out and make those scenarios happen right it, they didn't just stumble upon this they're like ah. Oh, I hope today's the day I take my three thousand dollar rig that you know and, and point it at a guy who's camping illegally and kill him. They're yeah, going nuts. I, I see that a lot, and I, I I oftentimes get to hear from people you know about the purchases that police departments will make, um, the firearm purchases, and it's outrageous uh, how well armed just regular police departments are. And I'm not just talking about machine guns um, and, you know, long rifles, grenade launchers and stuff like that. I'm talking about heavy machine guns mounted onto, like, um, armor, armor, um, APC, uh, armored personnel carriers. Yeah. And it's like, wait a minute, that town has 45,000 people in it. Why do they need enough ordnance to literally, like, fight a battle. Like, this, th you've got, like, f you know, a 50-man mini-army with, like, five armored vehicles and heavy machine guns and 250,000 rounds of, you know, ammunition. W what are you preparing for? And, and, and this isn't just, you know, a private individual spending his hard-earned money that he saved up on his hobby. This is a government agency that our tax dollars are funding, and that's where that money's going. And so, you know, we're paying to arm this little army that's, Supposed to be protecting us, but keep shooting homeless people in the park. 
Well, let's go to this distance. Albuquerque Police Department has killed 16 times more people than the New York Police Department this year. Maybe they're just more accurate. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and just, just, the, just the size, Albuquerque versus the city of New York. It's not like the New York cops are like this, you know, Boy Scouts, and like they're not known for roughing people up either. You know, New York Police Department's usually want, they're like one of the kind of police departments you don't want to fuck with. They'll beat your ass. And mm-hmm. these Albuquerque town, this small New Mexico town, is 16 times more deadly. And just the just fact, within a week, they shot another man and killed him without a gun. <laughs> like, if you watch the second video, you can see a guy on a porch. He's in, it's kind of fading off. But they said the guy shot at them first. And, but the video came out that said, showing that he was on a phone talking on the porch. And they planted, I think they planted a gun on him. <laughs> Uh, and you're trying to y'all tell y'all try to tell me I'm delusional thinking that oh there's no such you know no getting out of control. No, 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 I generally no. agree with you. We just find that you hate all cops and we hate the crazy like cops who who are you know abusing. I distrust cops. all cops. All police officers. My default setting uh, is distrust and skepticism and a little bit of distaste. I don't but, know when I leave my house. I don't worry about getting you know stopped or hassled by a gangbanger. I worry about getting run into a speed trap. I worry about a cop not liking what I look like. I worry about a cop not liking that I have straight pipes on my truck. I worry about police more than I worry about criminals. Yeah, and I I think we would share that sentiment. We're we're all on edge instead of at ease when we deal with police. But I just anyway. But yeah, I don't think we would find any disagreement here that this is this kind of behavior is wrong and. It's it's completely and utterly unacceptable. Joe, what do you think about this? I, I never have a problem with the cops. I, I, I think that if you're not an asshole to them, then they're not an asshole to you. You know, I, I think that when you're on edge more about it, you're more worried about it, I think that you come off like more of a prick, and that makes them be more of a prick to you. Like, I, I have zero problems with cops, ever. I, I, mean, I can show you videos of guys that are complying and get their ass beat. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. But I think that, you know, I, I don't think it's the norm. I, I think it's more, you know, a- anything, you, you're going to see very few videos of cops being super nice to people because it's like, oh, it's expected. Well, that, that's not going to go viral. That's not going to be a, a big video. I've dealt with cops a lot. Between my between my sister and my brother, my brother, he liked to shoplift when he was younger. And, you know, he liked to steal. So I've, I've had my share of dealing with cops. None of them are nice. I worked with 911 dispatch for almost two weeks. None of them were nice. You you know, think, like, I have I have like a bunch of cops that train in my gym, and 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 they're fine to me. But I get but I and I can see them being assholes when they're out working. But they're also they're dealing with assholes every single day. You know they're dealing you with they deal with assholes in Conway. Somebody speeding? Like what are they doing? There's no ass. I mean, there's I'm sure there's people that don't like the fact that a cop's coming in and wants to take them. Let's look at let's look at what a cop does. A cop sees me without a seatbelt on. All right, he goes automatically. I owe that cop money. I owe him money. For some strange reason, you see me without a seatbelt on, I owe you money. Is that the law? Give, Is that the law? Is that the law, though? That's a law you have no tri- you have, you know, rule, and some old man made that law up. Okay, but but so it's not just some random fucking reason. I understand that, but let's let's look at the theory. All well, right, I owe them money you're now. not following the law. It's not yeah, something. I understand yeah, that. And I don't like the old man hating either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, let's look at the reasoning. All right, all right if I don't pay that money, you want to kidnap me. If I don't agree with your kidnapping me, I'm automatically forfeiting my life. You're going to kill me. Mm-hmm. I don't know if anyone's ever gotten killed because they I understand this. You this agree is, to this that social contract when when you wake up every day in in the United yeah, States. Yes, a social America. contract. Like I never agreed that I was going to use uh, going to use a seatbelt in my car. I never I never had a. They never go, Jordy. Would you like this to be passed as a law? I never got that. Somebody else passed that. Somebody else thought that there should be this fine tag to it. Somebody else did this. I remember buying my truck. I don't remember. I don't see why I should be suffer anything for not using the safety features of my truck. So challenge it. Challenge the law. You can I, do it. I, I do challenge the law. The only seatbelt ticket I ever got. No, no, no. In court, try to get the, the, the not not just not obeying the law. Try to go th- and find. I even, I even did a video on about beating seatbelt tickets, and people got upset at me. Jordy, do you vote? Do I vote? Yeah. No. So, so I'm of the mindset that if you don't vote, you have zero right to bitch about anything. Yes. Yes, he's right. Oh, of course, of course, Woody's butt buddy agrees with Woody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm going to have you been talking to and where do you get the butt insane. buddy thing? What? Yeah, no, you just guys are friends. It's not that. Uh, I don't I, 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 
as good Re- friends. Regardless, my That's vote good. would not change that seatbelt law. That seatbelt law was put back in the 70s. It, 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 you can't you can't say that if you don't vote. 90s, but go on. You, you need to be 90s. If, if, you know, what you goes around them, for these days is Wake's trust them. Favor of getting rid of it, yeah. and you vote for that person. You know, maybe it's not uh, one of the. It might, it might. It might be the, the car started installing seatbelts in the seventies, but yeah. If you don't vote, you can't really complain about. I'm, it. I remember I have I a buddy. I had a buddy named Paul Concierge. He had a a '68 Camaro, and that '68 Camaro, it doesn't. It it had it had a lap belt. It didn't have like the traditional seat belt, you know, like this. Mm-hmm. It's on the lap. He got us. He got seat belt tickets up the ass because of that. Okay. Cause, oh, but no, you just have to show the lap belt. Yeah, no, they didn't. That didn't matter. This is the South. You still get the damn I, ticket. I, I haven't found that to be the same in my area because some of the old cars that we have have lap belts. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you know, it's. I've never been pulled over for a seatbelt violation. To be honest, I always wear a seatbelt. I, I I feel naked in my car if I don't have it on. No, oh, yeah, I, I I feel uncomfortable if, if my car if my car's on and I don't have my seatbelt on. I feel just weird. Yeah, it's it's. I'm happy it's with weird. it on, but the, if it moves, if my car moves and my seatbelt's not on. The seatbelt ticket I got was bullshit. Just like I had, I got a hard hat fine one time on a job site, which was bullshit as well. You took your hard hat off. On no, a, no, 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 no. Here's what it was. I was on a construction site, and I got out of the truck without my hard hat on, and that right there was the inspector, and he handed me a four hundred dollar ticket. Huh. I would I like I had it in my hand. Like I got out the cab, I walked to the bed of the truck, I put the, he- the hard hat on the top of the of the toolbox, and was reaching to get something out of the bed, and then he comes by and hands me a ticket. I saw I saw a similar situation. A guy got out to hunt doves one time, um, and the field that he was going to hunt in had bait in it, and he knew the bait was there. But as soon as he got out of the car, the game warden was right there. Literally, the guy ha- didn't have time to load his gun, and the game warden like slapped him with like a five hundred dollar fine. Yeah, and the seatbelt ticket was bullshit as well. We were cutting limbs in our yard. We we had we uh we had to cut a lot of trees out because they had a risk of falling on the houses. And I had a trailer hooked up to my truck, and uh, I didn't really want to. Uh, I did I wasn't really good at backing in the trailer at that time. I was kind of new to driving, so instead of you know just trying to back the trailer up in the yard, I pulled out into the um, I, I did a U around. I did I drove onto the road and drove back into my driveway. And so the trailer, so we could load the limbs onto it, and I didn't buckle up for that, and they hit me with a seatbelt ticket because he just happened to be going by. I mean, that's bad luck, but again. Oh, I, I beat that seatbelt ticket. The way, the way you beat seatbelt tickets is cops do not know what classification of vehicle you own. If you do not know what classification of vehicle I have, how can you give me a seatbelt ticket? You're making assumptions, and your job is not to make assumptions. Your job is to enforce laws. Okay, but Wings, there's a, there's a much better ways to make constitutional stands and stands against oppressive police forces than seatbelt tickets and bullshit enforcement of s- speed traps and stuff. Like, you know, there's a lot better ways to go about making the the points you want to make than harassing patrol officers and just guys that guys that pull you over who are assholes. But okay. It, you're always, no matter what, even if police officers are held personally liable for for the the crimes and and civil torts they commit while on duty, which I am all in favor of, go ahead and hold them liable they personally. They need to be liable. They but be you're still gonna to have asshole personally. cops. You're still gonna have them. It's not gonna completely wipe it out. I, I can tell you, you how to fix it. You want me to tell you how to fix it, Lefty? And bullshit seatbelt tickets. It's still gonna happen. You know, me tell you how to fix it. Hmm. These lawsuits they get paid out by taxpayers. They start coming out the fucking police pension and retirement programs. Huh. Hit them collectively like that. That means the higher-ups that have these nice pensions, they're going to start rolling down on these new guys that want to make a name for themselves by doing things. Hmm. I still think that that provides them in too much of a buffer, the idea of action better consequence. Than, you know. Better than nothing we got right now. The big I, I still think, personally, liable. let me sue the police officer who, who wrongs me, who... who uh, arrest me wrongly and starts beating on me when I'm in the car or, or you know, d- drops his knee down on my neck and cracks a vertebrae or something. Let me sue that guy personally and go after his house and his fucking cars and his fucking bank accounts. Let me yeah, go there, after that. There has to be a buffer zone to lefty because there has to be because you you can't have a guy out there worried about, you know, well, I can't, I got, I got a, 
I can't take this guy down the way I want to take him down because I'm going to get sued. That's, that's the whole idea. There's like a buffer zone there so they can actually enforce stuff if they need to enforce things. Or or you'd have guys out there like, well, I'm not going to lose my house. That motherfucker's just going to run away. Wings, do you, th- do you think that you catch uh, a fair amount of hate online with Twitter and social media? And- I, I catch zero hate from Twitter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <It's kind of laughs> but, but, okay, but why you got rid of your Twitter because you were catching a lot of hate. Yeah. Right? So I, I think, you know, so you probably, most people that meet you would probably say that, you know, Jordy's a nice guy, good guy, all this other stuff, right? They probably wouldn't think that you're that much of a prick. Would you say that's fair? Yeah, that's a fair assessment, yeah. Okay. Someone reading your Twitter, though, before would probably say, oh, no, Jordy's but, such an asshole. I used to be an asshole. Okay, okay, okay but <laughs> but people would, you know, you catch a lot of hate, you get a lot of hate, you get a lot of people don't like you, get you in a bad mood, whatever. You come off as, You can come off as a prick sometimes. You know, I I think cops get that, but they're just real life. Everyone that they encounter throughout the day is probably doing something wrong. They probably know they're doing something wrong. They probably try to get by. They try to make every excuse in the book. Let me let me let, me let me let me let me let me th- play devil's advocate. Okay. Idaho instituted that cops have to wear lapel cameras. Okay. The incidence of cops beating on people went down ninety percent. Okay. That's all you need to know. I love cameras. Yeah, cameras right. are good. Cameras are good. The cameras are great on cops. I mean, when once they're held accountable for their actions, and it's not their word versus yours. Just look at look at this this thing we just posted. This homeless guy. If there was not a camera on that helmet, this here's how this would have happened. This guy had knives. He almost killed one of the officers. We shot him in self defense. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, true. No, I mean, they're still gonna get away with it. Nothing's gonna happen. That was 100% a fucked up situation, and you know those guys deserve to be punished. You know, and I and I and I hope they are. You know, but I think that you can't put, you can't say that every cop is a piece of shit because that cop was a piece of shit. You know, that, that's all I'm saying. I think it's just I, 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 easy to have a blanket statement being like, "Oh, cops are all pieces of shit. The cops are all their bags." Like, there's definitely some, but I, I, I there, there's nice, there's nice people. I'm, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there was executioners in medieval times that didn't want to cut people's heads off and they were doing by the, doing it because the king wanted them to do it. I'm sure there was people in fucking Auschwitz that hate, that loved the people in the Jewish community. They made friends in the concentration camps, but when it came down to it, they didn't want to be in the gas chamber themselves. Should we get off of the cop topic? I think so. Or is it... Um, <laughs> this is a Reddit one. If you could have sex with a person from history, who would it be and why? Cleopatra. I just want to read off the top comment because it made me laugh. Not Rosa Parks. Any girl I'm with has to like it in the back. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) He got rid of gold four times. (laughs) 17,000 karma. (laughs) What does Reddit gold get you nothing? Gets rid of the ads. It gets rid of the ads and there's a couple other little features that it gives you. There's one that's kind of a negative. Joe, do people call you on Reddit all the time? Yeah, the username mentions? Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. not, not, not too much, though. Like, you know, a few a day, but not, not a lot. Yeah, Maybe yeah. Maybe like four or five a day. I mean, th- that's about where I am. I get a couple a day. and um... Like call, like physically call somebody? No. That was what like, it... a, like a Twitter mention. Like you get an alert saying that, oh, someone mentioned your username on this thread. Right. I don't mind that, though. I get the vibration. And I'm like, oh, let's see what these fuckers are doing. I, for talk. me, though, oftentimes it's someone wants me to do something, and it almost feels like there's a butler bell, and they're like, ding, 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 Woody, you need to look yeah. at this. Ding, 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 Woody, what's your opinion on this thing over here? And it's like, my opinion is I'm neck deep in work right now, and, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can always ignore it. It's the same as Twitter. Like, I get asked all kinds of stuff on Twitter that I don't, like, things I don't want to answer, I don't want to deal yeah, with. Yeah, like, Joe, will you become yeah. a people already this week? <laughs> 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 I, I get, I do get a ton of those. Did you get any tweets this week about that? I got a few. Yeah, <laughs> I've been on the trip. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I think I, 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 I tweeted something and then I didn't check it and then I come back and I had like 300 messages. <laughs> and, and somebody was like, Joe's gonna be like Hodor, and I'm like, no, Joe is not a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what if um, Hodor agreed to come on this camping trip? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't feed Hodor. I can't kill that many animals. I'm bigger than Hodor size wise. No, like, you're not. I'm, t- I'm talking about. I got a lot of. I got I a lot of. I got a lot of width. You might be Hodor. Wider, H- Hodor requires more energy than you do. Why is that? Because he's taller. 
Yeah, because he's got more muscle mass. He is a giant person. He's a giant person. He's yeah. six foot ten. <laughs> That's a lot of person. Yeah, he's a giant man. Yeah, when, he, when he can take those trees and like grab those those eggs we were trying to get earlier. That guy's hands hmm. are must be gargantuan. I bet if he slapped you, he would slap you. I bet if he slapped you, he would totally slap you unconscious. Yeah, I thought we I th we asked this last time. I I always picture Hodor as a power bottom. Mm, <laughs> I remember you saying that. <laughs> What's a power bottom? How is that different than a regular bottom? Well, a power bottom is a guy, he, he wants to be submissive. He wants to, you know, give the oral sex and, you know, get the pleasure. But at the same time, he's aggressive with it. He's like, oh, yeah, fuck me in the ass, you know. that. Like... But the first one seems like not a power bottom. <laughs> the, I, Google will know the answer to this. What is a power bottom? Yeah, I'm bottom? way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> Meme that shit, please. A dominant bottom. While a bottom is usually submissive to a pa to his partner, a power bottom enjoys maintaining control over the top. Normally, a dominant role in the gay male sex. Power bottoms supposedly have skilled tongues. God damn! They give the best blowjobs and felosias and rin jobs. Wings was right. Mm -hmm. He was it, right top to bottom. He's a basically the enthusiastic fuck you want. Wings is now 20% gay. <laughs> I'm bumping that up. 25. <laughs> That's a power bottom. Could, could whoever makes the PKA subreddit put like a beret or something on Wings? <laughs> I mean, he has to be a power bottom. I love I the think. GoPro on his <laughs> I, I think he needs like an like some sort of effeminate accessory. You can do whatever Scarf. the hell you want because I am Scarf. not I am very secure in my sexuality. Secure as it gets, even though he's twenty five percent gay. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I am as secure as it gets. I like the pussy, I go whole not pull. And he just shouted on a podcast that gets more than hundred and fifty thousand views a week. Yeah, fuck me in the ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who shouts. would I want from history? You know, I like um I mean hypothetically she's single and everything, but uh, Jacqueline Onassis Hmm, Jackie O. Jackie O is prime. Oh, Audrey Hepburn. Mm. That Audrey woman Hepburn. is beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen her not old. Oh. Audrey Hepburn. If she's the one I'm thinking of, was crazy beautiful. Uh, yeah, she is. She is good looking. She's like Natalie Portman, good looking. I'm clicking on the wrong picture. I wanted this one. She's she was like Natalie Portman of her day. Hmm. Yeah, but she's a smoker though. I do see that. I didn't know that. I couldn't deal with a smoker. I couldn't. That that like, you could be a ten out of ten. And if you have a cigarette in your mouth, it's like, uh, my fat ass does not want you. Yeah, she has cigarettes in her mouth. Are these cigarettes or like? Yeah, those are cigarettes. She's got a cigarette cigarette holder, that long thing. I'm mm -hmm. guessing. Yeah. Yeah, it was classy at the time. Everybody smoked cigarettes. Um, but she was really pretty. And the pictures that I'm seeing here don't show how fit she was, but she was a 10. Um, but the cigarette thing is a big issue. You would have been smoking in those days. You'd have been just like Don Draper. It was hip to smoke in those days. Yeah, everybody was classy. Uh, I don't know. I don't drink in these days. It's not. It, it was much a much more classy and hip thing to do back then. Yeah, but, uh, I'm gonna tell you this: smoking marijuana is the is like the hip thing to do now, and I don't do that either. I don't do that either. I saw. Um, oh, I already mentioned there. There was a thing in the in the third Cosmos episode about marijuana. Hmm. I, uh, Heather Locklear from the '90s. Oh, oh, not a bad pick. Not a bad pick. So Pamela bad. Anderson before she had any plastic surgery. Any, huh? Yeah, when she's 18. There's photos. <laughs> very, very good-looking lady. Joe? Uh, I go Woody's mom. <laughs> Again? <laughs> you haven't had your fill with her? Yeah, but you're sharing a partner with, like, all of the internet and Call of Duty players. So. <laughs> <laughs> so many you Have you been saving that one up for the last five minutes? I've been thinking about it for a few, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're about three hours and 45 minutes in. Calling it? What, you don't think we can get some more survival talk in here? 
<laughs> you guys go ahead. Go right ahead. April 14th, man. I got to make the hunting thing happen. I need to... Kyle, do you know the next the steps on that? Um, just you, you want to go to like North Carolina outdoor slash gov or something like that. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll link you up. I'll, I'll link you to it. Can you link it in the uh, big chat thing? Well, I don't think you necessarily need it, Wings, because you've already got your hunter safety, safety well, uh, I course. I, I still got to go. I still got to apply for it. Um, I, what I did was I just Googled like Georgia hunter safety um, course, and then it, it led me there. I, I can find it for you if you want. Later. Yeah. <laughs> no, now. We're going to do the application. <laughs> the I, I don't want to go through all the Googling right now, but I, I can find it in a minute <laughs> or two. But, Wings, you just need to... You can probably log in and um, with, with your relevant information, and it'll just give you the card. You can print it out, and then you can use that to purchase your North Carolina small game license, which you'll need. Um, but Woody, on the other hand, needs to actually take the course before he can apply for the license. Mm. Not that it's an application where you like, you know, maybe I get it, maybe I don't, but you know, to go get buy his license. I barely remember that thing. I was so young. Yeah, I was the same exact way, and it was funny when I logged into the system. Um, I still use a similar password to what I used back when oh, I was thir thirteen. It's it's similar. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to give away any of my passwords, but right. it's a similar ki type of thing. My passwords are secure as hell. I use an online system that generates them, and I won't give you any hints as to what they're like other than it kind of looks like I fell asleep on the keyboard. <laughs> like, <laughs> you are scared of, like, forgetting that shit, though? I, I, ha I have to remember a password to all my passwords, and that is, you know, written down and stored someplace secure and... Um, and I actually have forgotten it a couple times, but I refer to the right written down version and look it up again. But yeah, I'd be screwed. But I, I also am in a spot where you know a lot of people try to hack my accounts, and I need good passwords. So, uh, do you think that Tacoma can make it through the uh, Yawari National Park? It has many times. <laughs> yeah. Is oh, a truck man. required for that trip? I would honestly rather drive my car if there's no like off-roading to do. I not at all, not at all. There are off-road trails that you could take your truck on if that kind of thing appealed to you. But um, I, I would imagine we're going to pull up in a gravel parking lot and walk. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to drive my car then. Yeah. All right. So painkiller already? 173? There it is. Yeah, make your videos. Put them on the uh, subreddit. Boy! I look forward to them.